G-Flow Cycling and Cayo Cargo. Cayo Cargo. In, in collaboration with the Cycling Federation of Belize, proudly present the fifth annual Ernest Main Mount Hope Classic. <laughs> All I do is win, win. No it's all going down on Sunday, March 19, 2023. All primetime riders will take off from in front of Leslie's Imports at 8 a.m. sharp. Travel west along the George Price Highway, all the way to the top of the infamous Mount Hope in Unitedville, where they'll make a U-turn and head back to Belize City for the big finish in front of Leslie's Imports. This is the final opportunity to test those legs before the big, big dance. I'm, I'm, I'm number one. Catch all the action live streaming on the Cycling Federation Facebook page. It's the 5th Annual Ernest Main Mount Hope Classic on Sunday, March 19. Proud sponsors, G-Flow Cycling, Cayo Cargo, m and Engineering, Brother Sabet, Digi, and the Cycling Federation of Belize. Don't miss it! You gotta get get. get. G-Flow Cycling and Cayo Cargo, Cayo Cargo. In, in collaboration with the Cycling Federation of Belize proudly present the 5th Annual Ernest Main Mount Hope Classic. <laughs> All I do is win, win. No what. It's all going down on Sunday, March 19, 2023. All primetime riders will take off from in front of Leslie's Imports at 8 a.m. sharp. Travel west along the George Price Highway, all the way to the top of the infamous Mount Hope in Unitedville, where they'll make a U-turn and head back to Belize City for the big finish in front of Leslie's Imports. This is the final opportunity to test those legs before the big, big dance. I'm, I'm, I'm number one. Catch all the action live streaming on the Cycling Federation Facebook page. It's the 5th Annual Ernest Main Mount Hope Classic on Sunday, March 19. Proud sponsors, G-Flow Cycling, Cayo Cargo, m and Engineering, Brother Sabet, Digi, and the Cycling Federation of Belize. Don't miss it! You gotta get 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 get. G-Flow Cycling and Cayo Cargo, Cargo. Cargo. In, in collaboration with the Cycling right. Federation of Belize proudly present okay. Okay. Yeah. A pleasant good morning, a pleasant good morning Cycling fans um, and supporters welcome to the Jamaican, the 5th annual Jamaican Monk Hope South Indian Classic uh, Usually I like doing the prayers, so I want to say the prayers for you know for everyone the cyclists to be safe on the road good morning i'm here with mr ortiz all right uh, Paul. yeah all right no problem so i want to start the live with a prayer heavenly father i want to give you thanks this morning for another day thank you for giving us health and strength this morning we ask for your guidance and your protection upon the road and i pray that everything goes according to your will and save me all. Your presence being our mates. Thank you. Thanks to Mr. Donis for being out here. And I pray that everything goes well today. Thank you. Yes, Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that's the prayers today, folks. A welcome. Beautiful mornings. Nice and cool. There was a hard show last night, folks. Today is the final big test for the upcoming Holy Saturday Cross Country Cycling Race. A total of uh, about 55 riders taking part in today's event. The riders out here warming up, signing in. I'll give you some names in a short while, give you the names of the sponsors. So we want to welcome each and everyone. Continue to share the live. We are live on the CF, CFB Facebook page. We can share the live, folks. Today, a monster, some 120 miles of pain, leg pain, stomach pain. Lungs, legs. No, you ready, young man? Elston Martinez. Huh? Elston Martinez. Okay, oh, you right for Mr. Matt? Okay, young Elston Martinez. You say what? Your second race? Third race. Young Elston Martinez will be taking part today. He comes out of Georgeville. Yes, as the riders are out, you can see the highway patrol cyclists. You know, getting their bike together, pumping up their wheels. You know, they're all out here, beautiful day, like I said, the final leg, I mean the final test before the big, big one. Um, let me, um, I'll get some, give you some station prizes and then I'll try to give you the names of the cyclists taking part in today's event, a beautiful day here in Belize. We are here in front of the Leslie's Imports on the George Price Highway, folks. 
fall right as in the back. So let me have a seat and then try to get the names of the riders. Police, policemen are out, barras are out. Good morning, Mr. Anderson. Try get a seat here and get some names of the riders taking part and the prizes. Riders are still signing up. I said I start eight o'clock, but I don't. I don't think I'll be eight. Belize always late. Belize always late, Joe. Yes, a beautiful morning. Good morning, my brother Bernard Sanchez. I know you're up early. Want to shout out my brother there, Glenn Young. Yes, a beautiful day. A beautiful day here in. The country of Belize, it's cycling season, we call it, because uh, a lot of um, race going on this morning is there. Of course, the um, Ernest, the fifth annual Jamaican Monk Hope Cycling Classic. You know, pay tribute to our cycling hero, two time cross country champion Ernest Jamaican Man, the Golden Boy. Okay, so I'll get some names of the riders taking part in today's event. Just going through my phone to pick, pick up that. Um, let me see. As we go through, I want to wish each and every one a safe, a beautiful day. Looking for the names of the riders. Where Bang's gone? Guys, no obscene language in the background. Tell a man how long the obscene language. Yeah, let, let, me, um, let me give the um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell Bang to a second to me. Uh, oh, God. Yes, folks. So, um, good morning. Um, so station prize given in today's event is 120 miles of pain on the tarmac. So the first station prize is at mile 10 going that present prize is sponsored by digi it's a digi card worth 50 dollars big up digi at rockville it's a uh, hundred dollars fifty dollars from g flow and uh, kayo cargo plus fifty dollars from mr glenn young out of new york so definitely that price would be a hundred dollars total is 50 from g flow um g flow and kayo cargo and fifty dollars from mr glenn young at cheers a fifty dollars cash prize by Brothers Habet. The fourth station prize at mile forty one at the memorial site for Eddie and Banks. It's a fifty dollars by Mr. Charles White. I think Mr. Charles White is out of California. We want to big up the California crew. Um, at mile five, I mean, I mean mile five, the fifth and final prize station prize heading in that direction is at uh, Rolling Creek uh, Gabbard Station, and that's a a fifty dollars uh, phone card donated by Digi, and the return at mile fifty one, what we call Old Man Hill, a fifty dollars cash prize by M and M Engineering at mile forty one. Eddie and Banks Memorial again is a fifty dollars cash by Mr. Charles White at mile thirty two and a half of that little climb just before you reach Cheers. It's a Digi phone card, fifty valid fifty dollars given by Digi. At the Belize Zoo, another $50 by um, G Flow Kayo Cargo. At Rockville, it's a $50 by Mr. Glenn Young. And at Hattieville, it's a Digi card, a phone card, $50 by Digi. Those are the station prizes. Um, those are the station prizes for today. Uh, I, I want to list the riders there. I think they depend on the phone or something like so. that. Uh, yeah, I think they want to buy me share it. Uh, um, today is um, the finishing prize for today. The following, the following prizes will be awarded. Elite Open, first place, $600 plus a trophy. Second place, $400 plus a trophy. Third place, $200 plus a trophy. Fifth place, $100, and fifth place, $50. In the Masters, it's $250 plus a trophy. First place, second place, $125. One twenty-five and a uh, one twenty-five and third place seventy-five in the masters four five. It's two fifty plus a trophy. One twenty-five second place and third place seventy-five. Juniors born two thousand and five. 
it's $75 plus a two fee. So those are the prices, uh, the prices today. This is like a warm up, like I said, for the final test for the upcoming Holy Saturday Cross Country Cycling Classic coming up in just about three weeks time. The big monster, I hope the cyclists will, you know, take this race and see where the yeah, condition is. Immediately, huh? yeah. um, the, um, the, the track to, uh, yeah, we will we try to get start list of the riders, but um, uh, public will give you. Um, are you checking my my phone? My phone had it. Yes, cycling fans, but definitely today will be a long haul. The beauty is real. It rained last night, and it's um nice skies, but it's nice and cool. Not like last week, the for the West Rock Belmont Cycling Classic that was extremely hot, but today it's nice and cool, so the riders will have a um. The riders will have a um a better day for them today, a cooler day. That riders can survive. We'll see who's in condition. I have some announcement to make, but um, let me just go through this. I want to thank each and everyone who joined the live. All the cycling fans who are out every time. Turn it on on your big, uh, big screen TV. They always come here and say excitement on the tarmac. And that's what's going to happen today. Is some 55 riders taking part in today's event. And riders are still pulling up, signing. Huh? Yeah, well, I've done the live, so I can't eat. <laughs> that's all to me. Uh, um, yes. Um, a big, big announcement I get yesterday. I was visited by the Honorable Anthony Mala. He dropped by the shop yesterday and he said, um, he gave me a message and asked if I could share it on the, the live. And I said, of course, go ahead. So we want to big up Mr. Anthony Mala and the BTB. He said that the first place, aside from what is being given, the Honorable Anthony Mala and the BTB will give a ten thousand dollars cash, folks. You hear it? A ten thousand dollars cash prize for the first, the winner of the annual Holy Saturday Cross Country. Also, added to it, it's five one thousand dollars station prize. Um, the location are not um, given as yet, but it's fifteen thousand dollars added to the upcoming Holy Saturday Cross Country Cycling Race. OMG! There will definitely be some fireworks on the tarmac. Definitely will be some for those prizes, and that's that's from one person. That's from one um one contributor. We want to big up the honourable Anthony Mala and the BTB, the Belize Tourist Board, for giving that awesome prize. So again, folks, I repeat, coming up holy Saturday, the honourable Anthony Mala, along with the B, uh, with the Belize Tourist Board, the BTB will give a huge prize. The first prize in ten thousand dollars cash for first prize only, and then they will have five one thousand dollars station prize along the road. That's awesome. I also got a call from my nephew uh, and um in the in the um in the um for for remembrance of my dad, Mr. Abel Donas. He's sending them a thousand dollars that will be split into four, so we'll have another four station prizes of another four station prizes of um two hundred and fifty um, dollars each. We will, you know, I'll talk to the federation. I mean, the second federation, and we definitely know that two will be um where the f family farm is at nine. The last year, I think we get my ten because of the. So I think somebody gave a prize there earlier, so um, we might do that, Malton, but I will talk to the Cycling Federation. So my nephew, Jamil, then with my sister, the Cayman Islands, you know, their donors family will give to add to prizes. These are early prizes in coming in uh, a lot of, um, I've got a lot of call from people who want to donate prizes, but I, I give them the phone number for the president of the CFD, Miss Alicia Thompson, because you know sometimes people like one like the media, they, the media run the, the, um, this thing here. But I think I, you know, I'm just a live streamer, so um, I just forward um, Miss Alicia number to them and tell them get in touch with her. So a lot of people are giving prizes. I know um, I have received a um, fifty dollars cash prize from 
the Saint, um, uh, Princess Margaret Drive Taxi Association. They are giving a fifty dollars station price right there where they are at the taxi stand. The cyclists are starting to line up, folks. So shortly we'll be on the way. I get the names of the riders. Like I said, we wanna welcome each and everyone to the live. Please share the live, folks. Here's my driver come. Man, bring food from the able to feed the food there right now. Right there. So we'll be on the way in a short while. The officials are out. Like I said, some 50, some 50. Um, huh? Cycling, um, the CFB, Cycling Federation of Belize, the whistle is blowing. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to add another station price. Mm -hmm. um, Linda Dawson just gave $50. $50. And we have put it at uh, the, the um, Garbots with uh, the phone cards. So, so at the Garbots, at the Garbots, um, mm -hmm. the, with, along with the, the guard and the, the, the phone card from DJ, a $50 from Miss Linda, Linda Dawson. Dawson. Okay, big up Miss right. Linda Dawson, giving a station price there at Garbots. So that, um, it's a $50 um, and then card. This, and, this would be Kyle Cargo. One of the sponsors there for today evening. Okay, okay, these are yeah. Kaya Cargo, one of the sponsors for today's event. Banks, I need to finish my back. Hold this thing up quick for me. No, um, wow. hold it, come on. <laughs> <Pull it up? laughs> All right, folks, like I said today, um, Kaya Cargo for Kaya Cargo, Belize Shipping Online Service. We offer a wide range of service to meet your shipping needs for available um, for reliable service. You can always depend on us. Call us today. Los Angeles three. Let me see the number there. Los Angeles three two three nine seven three zero zero seven three. New York three three four eight 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 six four zero one six. Arizona six zero six zero two. Two one four five seven five seven Miami three zero two four seven seven four nine two two Houston two eight one seven three three zero one nine eight and in Belize you can get them at um, eight two four three eight six four or six seven six seven zero thirty two forty six we want to big up Mr Glenn Flowers the man behind this are uh, the riders so we go over and you can hear the um. The cyclists in the lineup and the riders. You have a helmet, Banks? Okay. So we put up the round of first two and then we have to drop to the tail and do to the inner to get service. Next thing you want, next thing you want, Mike. So we are moving along some 55 riders line up in today's event. Give your give your name again. What the, what Mar yes, Martinez. Yes, Martinez. Martinez, right? Okay, you're yeah, a new rider. Check the name. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I try to get somebody else's name. I don't know somebody else. Yes, sir. All the riders. No, it's a but I'll probably share the ask me some shit on it. Yeah. Here again. Yeah, here again. Sean cut his back. Big boys. Young Jive in. Yeah. Big boys. 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 I'm sure. Uh, I got a new correct now. Dylan. Dylan. 
Coast Guard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coast Guard. No, no, no. Lone Coast Guard, man. <laughs> Lone Coast Guard, man. Mission is again, you know, Giovanni Lovell, Greg Lovell. I'll be the commandant of the police Coast Guard to have us out here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, person back, but back, back again. Yeah, person back again. The, 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 man, the man after, but him run no race. The man go ride the bike now. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> Ryan, yes, morning, morning. Ryan Bradley, skinny. Yeah, White right, Lopez. So, okay. yes, man. You give me a name, young man. I know my name. Neil. 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 The fifth running after Ernest Main Monko Classic, some 120 miles of brutal miles. Joshua, oh yes, uh, Joshua. Yeah, Joshua. Yeah, Joshua. Yeah, Joshua. Yeah, Joshua. The riders are off, the riders are off. They are off, folks, they are off, they are off. Bumps! Grab a helmet for me, grab a helmet for me. Grab a helmet, the helmet, the helmet, the helmet, the helmet. That's what, that's what it's kept. Yes, I can find the race is on the way, so we make our way towards the race. I'm here with my keeper and driver, as always, Mr. Banks. One of the big Mr. Banks. Yes, yes, Mr. Here I do with me to do along with uh, Mr. Thompson. So we we'll have two cameras out here today. Oh, uh, yes, yes, thanks. Yeah. So we are off, folks. We are off. We are off. We are off.
for folks eh. The mic look at you pull out or something like that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. The mic, good thing Dr. Sam tell me um, to check my mic. It was popped out of the, the phone at the high speed. These guys are doing yes on the front. The mic is okay now. Great, guys. Great, great. Thank you all. Thank you all. You know, I love when the fans interact and, you know, they let you know what's going on. It's, it's a tough job sitting on this motorcycle for hours and hours holding this phone. You know, I made a lot of contraptions to keep you guys in tune with what's going on in Cycling the Middle East so you could watch it on your big screen TV as we approach. Yeah. So we are just approaching the Burton Creek Bridge and it's young Henry Lee on the front being followed by Brandon Mark and there is Shane Jones. Here is Liam Stewart coming up to join them along with Fernando Rosado. Sharon Walker, Smoke Sladden, Darwin Gonzalez. Nation is getting taken no chance today. There's a young Asian hard young um Sean Sean Cad is back. Sean Cad is back. I don't say no no more back. Sean Cad is back. He also was out of the country and he's back. And immediately on the front of the base, um going up the bridge is more than Nation is Gary. Folks, it's early, it's early in the morning. This is that uh, my son there, Dian the Erdonis from Chicago. He said, Dad, can you use this phrase? I tell, of course, just give me the phrase. And the phrase goes like this Chew and spit out like a used chewing gum. So, you hear that? When, when the guys get popped I say, He's been chewed up and spit out like a used chewing gum. And another, my friend, that spits the old palace, Joseph, gave me this phrase. No flies, um, no fly, um, no fly zone. The guys ain't have them. Um, they can't fly. So, Palas gave me that term. Oh, flight risk or something of this sort. Yeah, I think that is say. They can't get them on the plane. They, they have no fly. They can't fly. In a while, you know, official Palas Joseph gave me that as we just over the bridge heading towards mile seven. Some 55 riders, like I said, line up in today's event. The final leg, the final big event to test the legs of the riders who will be taking part in the upcoming Holy Saturday Cross Country Race coming up in just over a three weeks' time, folks. Yes, some 55 riders, like I said, two major teams not here the Balboline and the Imani's team, but they all have. Their program set out for them, so they know what they're doing. It was a two uh, experienced team, so we are still here with the leaders. It's young Eric Chop just uh, on the front of pace here comes Jocelyn Jr. riding for Fall there. The riders are all paying attention. We have like a slightly headwind, uh, and the garment is saying same 80 miles an hour. There's an attack by there's an attack by Terry Cano. He's been marked by Ramon Cad. Sharon Roka, Nishin Isigiri, Prince joining that group, uh, Wasani Kasho, there's a young Sherwin Budna riding his way across, Liam Stewart, there is Jaiben Gonzalez looking smooth like a pro, on the wheel of Jaiben is no other than Shane Jones, and the group coming back, I can see young Dijan Hyde, and the pace is up to 25.5 miles an hour. Like I said, I have on this beautiful garment donated to me by no other than Mr. Member of the Alfred Parks Memorial Family. We want to dig up the Alfred Parks Memorial Family. They continue to support cycling. They gave me a whole lot of prize to give away on the show as the wheel turns. So we want to thank up. Thank all of them. It's Rita Thompson and family here in the East do a whole lot of work, raise the bar of cycling. As the riders, they fly past us, the pace is picking up. It's up to 24.7 miles an hour, 26 miles an hour. So let us see who will be chewed up and spit out like a used chewing gum. Yes, who will be chewed up and spit out like a used chewing gum. And on the front again, it's no other than. Diving Gonzalez.
Alex riding for G Flow, G Flow, Caracalo, the biggest one that in today's race, the fifth running of the Jamaican Monk Hope Cycling Classic, 120, uh, about 120 miles, just short of the uh, about 30, uh, 50 miles for the annual whole such across country. I think the across country is somewhere around 15, 135 to 140 miles. There is driving up his hand, attack off the front. Sherwin Thomas, aka Pestis and the Pierce, he's been followed by 12, Mr. Sherwin Roker, Byron Pope, there's Nishi Nisigi, there's Wasani Castro, there's Greg Lovell, Tariq Kano, e Ed and Jocelyn Jr. A shot gap have opened up, a shot gap have opened up. To the main field of riders, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten riders in this main group. Ten riders in this break as we just pass mile eight in front of the the prosa, the prosa, and the way they shouting at them, organize, organize, organize. There is Nation is here on the front way number center forward. The way on his wheel, there is Wasani Castro going across to the wheel, going across to. The two riders, Nation is here pushing it on the front, doing some 25 miles an hour in this headwind. Definitely a headwind, like a slight knot. It did rain last night. I think the weather changed. I heard the hard rain. And so it definitely have cooled down the day for these riders. I, I was happy that, that the rain came to cool it down because if it was like last week, with all these miles these guys had to do, they will definitely have a whole lot of suffering today. But definitely some will be chewed up and spit out like a huge chewing gum. Thank you, the and the Erdones, my son here in Chicago, at the Erdones bike shop there in Chicago. True folks, you know, people all over the world watch this thing indeed. When I hear people from Sweden, uh, Switzerland, I know in Carlton, Carlton Florida, his son is in Switzerland at this moment, so he probably tune in. We have Mr. Tillett there in the UK, we have Mr. Darwin there in Japan. And you know, we have people all over the world tuning in to the cycling here in the ladies, the beautiful sport. Look at all the colorful jerseys we got in kit now and all the beautiful machines. Yes, yeah, so there's a three beautiful Canon machine, all for the speed Shimano electronic disc brakes. OMG, these guys have some beautiful machine here in the ladies. Yeah, it's Mr. Erson Butler. Erson Butler wants the. Uh, President of the CSB, CFB in the hunt, taking part in 120 miles. So I'll give her some kudos. The only man got time for training now. There is young Elson Martinez. He rides out of Jardville. The man just getting at it. He just started to race. I think he's like third race and he's doing awesome. Um, he was introduced to Mr. Denfield McNabb. Mr. Denfield McNabb, a former president of the Cycling Association, a former cyclist, former bike shop owner. I want to big up all these guys. Yes, yes. you decide the, the first, first station price come up at mile. The first station price come up at mile 10. Mile 10, the first station price come up at mile 10. We'll try to catch, get that price. Mile 10 is the first station price, and that station price is a $50 phone card the phone card value of 50 lads given by DJ wanna pick up DJ we we're just behind beside the riders on the front is still nation is Gary he's been marked by no other than Sean Card riding for G Flow young Christopher Wade riding for G Flow G Flow have a beautiful kit beautiful kit they have up there and I can see a rider hitting them hard on it you know, side and it's no other than Mr. Thomas aka Pest hitting them where number eight is been marked by number 14 young young Christopher Wade and Greg Lovell, where is number two riding for Team Lovell? Greg Lovell, yeah, come Shane, Shane Jones coming across there, yeah, riding for Kano. And you know, a station prize is coming up. There's still no other than Pest, there's a headwind, like I said. These guys are doing some 26 miles an hour in the headwind, that's awesome. It's early in the race, we still have over 110 miles, about 110 miles there. Shervin Budna, Shervin Budna hitting them, Shervin Budna riding for Team Father, where is number 31. Is riding away. Let us see if he will ride to uh, get that prize. There is Cello Cello and his zip. We are number 18 riding for West Track. I see he's running for the wheel of young Sherwin Budna. 
and taking along a whole heap of riders. Folks, there is um, Sean Cardi in third place, followed by Kaden Pinello, Gregory Lovell, Jasmine Gary, Carlton Robinson, Fernando Rosado, Liam Stewart, Person Butler, and they are all in the hunt. You can see the 10 miles is just about half a mile away where the first prize will be given, the station prize. Who will get the prize? And Smokes Glenn have hit them, must send the five strokes that ride for culture slash SPD. Smokes Glenn have definitely hit them. Let us see who will respond. There's no response. It seems that Smokes Glenn will ride away with that prize. Smokes Glenn hit them hard and he's heading up the highway. He have opened over 20 bicycle lengths and the group is still here and it's Smokes Glenn. It's all Smokes Glenn as he makes his way towards 10 miles here on the George Price Highway in the fifth running of the, the um, Jambian Monk Hope Cycling Classic sponsored by G and Kyle Cargo along with M&M's, DJ, the CFP. Here we have beside Smokes Gladden, Ken Rye, Smokes Gladden, as he makes his way towards the first station prize of the day, a $50 phone card by, given by DJ, big up DJ. DJ helped bring it live into your living room there. Is the officials that Smokes Gladden have came that first prize. The sun is starting to peep out. The sun is starting to peep out, folks. So we are heading towards mile, just past mile 10, heading towards mile 11, and it's all Ken Rice Smokes Gladden. We're number 75 ride for Culture SPDs. SPD Smokes, you know, is a, is a um, master rider. And this man put in a lot of work, like I like I said, from folks. It's not easy. I mean, everybody's sitting in their, their living room, in their air conditioned living room, ice boat. Um, this is a lot of suffering out here. And to come on the, the tarmac to, to, to provide you with entertainment, these guys are the, the, the warriors of the highway and want to give them a big round of applause, like I said, coming up. Is the annual whole is such a day cross country race coming in about three weeks time. A huge event. Let me give you um, again. Your Belize shipping online service. We offer a wide range of service to meet your shipping needs. Reliable service you can always depend on. Call us today in Los Angeles. Three nine seven three zero zero seven three in New York. It's three four eight 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 six four zero one six in Arizona. Six zero two 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 one four five seven five seven in Miami. Three two three four seven seven four nine two zero in Houston. It's Seven three three zero one nine eight in the four three eight six four or six seventy thirty two forty six and they have cut up to to Smokesland and I can see the land Levy on the front. He's been who is who is there? There is uh which rider that that's not like young Christopher Wait. They fly past my camera so fast. Um, I can see it seems like the riding style of no other than young Henry Lee. He's been Marked by young man Elwin Humes. Cross, there's another, um, oh, there's Fernando Rosado there in that group. And there is Sean Card. Sean Card taking no chance. Sean Card dancing out of his spell, riding across to these guys. We passing mile 11. There is Shello and the wheel of Sean Card. And here are the riders. Look at Hollister Baptist Hubbard telling his mouth, and he's, he's, he rides for what? You have a G4 jersey? All the stuff Baptist wearing G Flow jersey. I, I say, what the who the G Flow rider? It's Hollister Baptist wearing number 82. You know, the man make sure you have, this this week you have on a jersey with pocket and already have a jelly name out. He's been followed by number 21, no other than Sherwin Roca, aka V12. Yeah, is Mr. Gera out of foreign drop. Kudos to this young kid in this event, in that colorful jersey. Yeah, is Shane Jones and they have caught up to the lead six riders. They have caught up to the six um, lead riders, and it's still young Elwin Humes on the front. Young Elwin Humes, right for Team Guns, 
I believe yeah, it's young Tijan had coming across riding through rolling shutter. And he have come to a slow, yeah, doing some 21 miles an hour. Like I said, I can feel a little headwind, so like it's a little not last night, I guess that's what happened. A beautiful, beautiful day here in the country of Belize. I want to big up my family at home, my beautiful wife, like I said, who always allow me to come out on this motorcycle, you know. And my, me, I want to thank my driver, Sir Wilbert Banks, who definitely traverses highway, make sure I'm safe you know, while I capture the excitement here on the Tamar. I want to thank you, the fans who tune in, always give you. I just give those call me and give me um, <clears throat> those encouraging words to come out. You know, they always said, continue to do what you're doing. You definitely was made for this. Work like crazy. Normally on Saturday, I only work half day, but I was there all day trying to finish some bikes. And an attack after front is being done by another than young Gerson Lovell from Team Lovell. Gerson Lovell attacking out as we approach mile 12. And there is young, um, seems like this young Carlton Robinson who is going across. There is young Rain and Cad. I know him by the color of this bike, the red bike, Rain and Cad, out of his saddle. He's been marked, no other by Brandon Morgan, Rain number 32, right for fall. Here comes at least. Lozano, Adi Lozano riding for Roland Shutter, closing the gap. He's been joined by no other than Anthony Marin riding for the Cabral Marin. Anton Marin wears number 113. Anthony is out here to stretch. She's like he said today, you know, that it's tough. He's just making back, but Anthony big up the Cabral, fam uh, the Cabral Marin family. There is um, another master, Ken Bob Gabriel in the hunt. Young Christopher Wade and the all the riders lined up. Stretch out like stretch me butts here on the tarmac as we pass mile 12 heading towards mile 13. We have caught up to the wheel of young Gerson. It's Gerson, no, it's not I say, make sure, yeah, it's Gerson because the brother does a favor too. Gianlino, or Gianlino, riding for Team Jack. Gianlino wears number 125 out of his saddle. He's been joined, no other by number 91. Young Dijan Hyde. Here comes Brandon Morgan. Fernando Rosado, and no one is allowing anyone to escape as we head towards mile 30 here on the Judge Price Highway in today's fifth running of the Jamin Mongkok Cycling Classic. The final test before the big one coming up. Will such a cross country cycling race, folks? I know. It will be a monster. You see the great prizes already coming in. Like I said, we want to pick up Mr. Anthony Mala on the BTB. And definitely rush for first place and five one thousand dollars prize. Awesome, and that's just from them. So you know, other people are giving prize. Like I said, my nephew is there in the US, Jamil Van Weber, even spent on thousand dollars in station prizes. So my guys. You have to get there, you have to make sure they know where these prizes are given so they can fill up the kitty. And they know where I have the foreign invaders who will come in when they hear about those prizes. The foreign invaders will come to try to take those prizes from our oh, and guys. But lots, lots of our teams are already they are training hard. And that should be a lot of excitement. We'll be right here bringing you live into your living room. The excitement and the tarmac as the sun is coming out. It is beautiful Sunday here, the 19th of March. Going 23 as we head towards mile 30 here on the Judge Price Highway in the fifth running of the Jamaican Mongkok Cycling Classic. Yes, there's the mile 30 course up in the distance. Nobody gonna get through up on still like you stream going here. So we are with the excitement. We are just over. We are just under 100 miles. We just passed, but we are passing mile 13. So we have still have some 90 odd miles of pain here on. The Judge Price Highway, folks. Yes, Nation. ECGV looking at the man feeling good. The man bring out the baseball back this morning for Lash, a man for the leg, too. Nation ECGV pulling down the front, rain number 974. Fitzgerald Joseph, good morning, my brother. There, I guess if your um, man said, if I roof, I hear not jump off on the whole roof when I hide anything. <laughs> Fitzgerald Palace Joseph, I want to pick up my 
as a return family, the whole crew, the Arduinus bike shop family, definitely want to big them up. I want to big up Mr. Glenn Young, my brother there, even prior to the day. I want to big up Bernard Sanchez. I want to say he must sleep when we have to come up and he will be out here at the time. I want to say he up early. Tell me so much time. Here comes, uh, yeah, who is on the front? A D floor rider. Yeah. No other than Sean Cat turning up the pace. I'm going to get my in the headwind. As he pull off the pace, everybody come to a lull. They are looking back to see who will come. So I tell the folks, the headwind is rough because you can't hold up, yeah, like, 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 so we push it back. Here comes Young, here comes Young, Wendell, Williams, Junior, where's number 37? And the pace has been followed by, who have moved up number one, the road king, the, the, the Belize national road champion, no other than Giovanni Lovell, right, for Kim Lovell, as they pull up front, they spread across the road, five, six riders spread across the road. And the front now is the master. Bob Gabriel being followed by Shane Shankard. We see Sherwin Buna moving up. We can see Ryan Bradley moving up. Byron Pope moving up. Liam Stewart, Fernando Rosado. Like I, I talked about this kid, Fernando Rosado. Definitely, really, definitely, the man gets in you know, a man mature. He's always up in the, the head of the group. He's always chasing gaps of Fernando Rosado. I think. He's about 23 years old, rides for team four guard. There's young Dijan, and next another young, great athlete, young Dijan and Hyde, ride for the rolling shutter. Everybody, the top key watch, Greg Lovell, top right team, the win. I can feel it when you can hear the win in the helmet. And it's still Bob on the front doing some 25 miles an hour in this headwind as we approach mile 14 here. We, we're just about a mile from Hattieville, and the sun is starting to come up. So now there will be some. Definitely, some people are starting to suffer there. Gianlino, Gianlino dancing on his fellow, wears number 125 right for Team Jaggers. Gianlino open a small gap, a small gap to the people of others. It's Gianlino on the front, folks. Gianlino on the front. As we, we just passed mile 14, heading towards Hattieville in today's fifth running of the Jermaine Monko Cycling Classic, some 120 miles. Like I said, we want to big up G-Flow, Kaya Cargo, sponsoring this event today, along with the m and Engineering, DG, CFB. Here comes young Ramon Card, that's Ramon Card, the brother of Renan Card, and the front rides for G-Flow. He's been marked by Nation Isigiri, young Christopher Wade. So G-Flow have two different Colour jersey the new kit and the old kit are out. There is young Goran Gabriel, where is number 86. He rides for Kano along with his teammate, Kaden Pinello, paying attention again. Mr. Thomas, Sherman Thomas, aka Hess, Sherman Thomas, attacking them where number 80, and he's open a small gap. He rides for Kano, and the guys are leaving him to fry out there. There is Lovell, no, 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 Giovanni Lovell, uh, Greg Lovell, Greg Lovell, Greg Lovell attacking across, that's right, Greg Lovell riding across to, um, Greg Lovell riding across to, to Sherman Thomas, open a small gap here, here comes Sherman Buna, Sherman Buna in the front, where's number 31, Sherman Buna, there is Justin Jr., number 28, seeing the move, Moving across as we approach Hattieville, two riders up front, Greg Lovell and Sherman Thomas, being marked by Justin Jr., Justin Javaria Jr., moving across to the two lead riders. Here is young Dijon Hyde, number 91, riding for Roland Shatter, moving across also as we are with the Tech de la Porte, the front of the race, folks. We're heading to Hattieville, four riders just after the front, the main field is just behind. so. They're waiting for more excitement on the tarmac. It's starting to heat up. A beautiful day. The sun is coming out. The skies are clear. It's a beautiful day in the Jewel of Belize, folks. I hope you're all up enjoying this beautiful weather. I mean, you're uh, enjoying this beautiful weather. We are enjoying the beautiful weather here in Belize. When I hear my voice struggle because we're over there, there are bumps here on the tarmac. But, you know, like, like I said, I'll be out here, whatever it takes, to bring you guys live action 
of any races going on. This is the earnest fifth running of the Jamaican Monk Hope Cycling Classes as they make their way around the roundabout here in Hattieville. The group is all together. Watch for the lineup. Watch on the around the roundabout. All line up. Yes, there is, there is the motorcycle crew, Mr. Guy Neal, Errol Thompson, another guy there. They are out here this morning looking on, on the race. I mean, I know Errol Thompson, a guy Neal, farmer, cyclist, love the sport. Those guys are right back in the 70s. Big of all, or cycling legend. And as a rider's pass us here, we just come to my description. Smithereens. Yeah, smithereens are ready. Young Jafari, Kasha, Hala Smithereens already. There's yeah, a young Elston, there's yeah, a young Elston, a young kid, Mr. Martinez, right now, of Jarjeville. For tuning in to this beautiful event, the 120 miles, the final test for the upcoming Holy Saturday cross country race coming up in just about three weeks. Tarmac will be on fire, like I said. Some huge prizes will be given away, like I said. Go on a big up. The Honorable Anthony Mala and the B2B for those huge prizes. You know, like I said, he set up $10,000 cash for first place and five $1,000 prizes will be given along with other prizes and other people are donating prizes. Like I said, you know, so much people contact me and say, Andrew, uh, who can I? I said, I gave them the number of the, the president of the Cycling Federation, Mr. Bishop Thompson. No worry, they're off the road, so I have to be careful. <laughs> they're off at the edge of the road, the, the cyclists and company with sides of banks, my careful driver, come off the road, so you know, hitting off the rider, so you know, big kudos to this gentleman, Mr. Banks, taking care of me while I watch the race. You know, he traversed the highway to me. Is young Eric Chop just on the back of the ride of the race as we make our way over the bump here in um, Hattieville heading towards mile 16. All riders teams are still in this, they're still in the hunt. All the riders are still in the hunt in this 120 miles monster. Folks, we move up along the rails, we move up, we move up along some stretch out on the tarmac. They stretch out on the tarmac. View of the race, um, Alicia Thompson, along with Gilbert Lewis, there at the back of the field. So we'll keep up front. The guys are stretch out, they are doing some. They are beside the riders heading towards mile 17, and I can see on my Garmin 30 miles an hour. As they all stretch out as we go along the path, there's miles down there.
one last request in the haunt is being marked by the two and that's driving Gonzalez in his beautiful kit, his beautiful specialized machine, all electronic districts looking good. Henry Lee again on the front, Henry Lee past the riders and he's on the front. Everybody's looking at each other to see who will each other immediately. He's been marked by, it seems it's Carlton Robinson, I believe that is. Shankar riding across to the two lead riders. Shankar moving, riding across to the two lead riders, doing some 25 miles an hour into a headwind on this long stretch at a mile 18. Out of his house, hitting that by brutally is no other than V12, showing Roca close in the gap. V12, functioning hard, making a cross to the three lead riders. He's been marked by no other than Rain and Cad. Fernando Rosado, young Jack, Ryan, Bradley, right here. So they are all of it. They have passed up to the riders. On the front is Carlton Robinson riding for, for West Shop, race number 19. Same man has about three bananas in a, in a shirt. But Carlton Robinson on the front, Carlton Robinson on the front, followed by Sean Cad. Here comes a rider. Smokes land hitting them, smokes land hitting them. He's been marked by Justin Jr. Here comes Flying Glass versus Cello. Young Rain and Cad, sir. They see the move. Where's number 13? But it's not a bad, a bad looking number. It's a looking number today. Young Rain and Cad. And here comes Gerson. Where's number Four Gerson riding for Team Lovell. Four brothers riding this um, race. Four brothers, Team Lovell. That's Gerson. He's number four and he, he rides across to the four lead riders. A small team, Sean Cut again. Sean Cut riding for Defro, making a cross to the break. And it's Smokes land in the front, followed by Justin Jr. and Sean Cut. Spot. On the tarmac here in Belize, doing his thing as he rides across. We just passed mile 19 heading towards. Uh, we, we are approaching mile 19, so we are approaching mile 19. Just about quarter mile from mile 19. And it's Gerson Lovell on the front, followed by no other than young Renan Cad. And a whole bunch of riders. No one is has been spit out like a huge chewing gum so far. And this young Rain and Cad out of his saddle with number 13. As he hit them, small gap open up. So, Justin Jr.
wise rapping, holla loan, yeah, the gap behind, I don't think these guys will catch Eric, Eric will ride away with this prize. Young Eric Chuck riding for West Truck and the truck as we head towards Rockville. There's a hundred dollars prize there, fifty dollars given by T Flow, Kyle Cargo, and there are fifty dollars given by Mr. Glenn Young. We want to big up these people for giving this prize. So Glenn said he always support cycling. Both of them, Glenn, Glenn Flowers, Glenn Young, these Glenn now definitely helping. We want to big up Mr. Glenn Flowers, like I said, the man, big, big support for cycling. He gives a lot of prize. He sponsors team. Well, the second we are on is being given to us by Mr. That's Glenn what you call a as, technique. Uh, the, the two is uh, cheering on the riders. Mr. Richard yeah, Santiago the just made the, adjustments yeah, to his saddle. For the station prize at Mile 21. Within the race. The rappel, and young Eric Chappell claimed that $100 today. So he's putting the prize in his basket as we're making it away. Eric Chop crossing the, the line there in Rockville claiming that hundred dollars prize kudos to young Eric Chop riding for West Drop. So West Drop is soon and we can see the bunch of riders coming in the, the distance. Young Eric Chop, young Eric Chop doing some point two miles an hour in the head wind as he pour water over his back but keep it cool. Yep, to report them at this moment. Eric Chop riding it where the next station prize come up at Cheers. Next station prize come up Cheers. It's uh, fifty dollars given by Brothers Habit. Fifty dollars at Cheers given by Brothers Habit. Numbers for Kaya Cargo. But in Los Angeles, it's three two three two two three three two three nine seven three zero zero seven three. In New York, it's three four eight 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 six four zero one six. In Arizona, six four two six four two two one four five seven five seven. In Miami, it's two or three four seven seven four nine two zero. In Houston, it's two 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 eight one seven. 330198 and in Belize it's 8824-3864 or 670-3246. Yes, we are beside young Eric Trapp making his way towards Mile 22 here under the choice out. Here comes the bunch of riders being led by no other than young Christopher Wade, young Christopher Wade bringing back young Eric Trapp, young Christopher Wade and young Goran Gabriel and young Eric Trapp. Young Wayne and Cad, Young Wayne and Cad, bring back Eric Chopper's fast mile 22 here and uh, Philip Abin and the Judge Fight on his highway starting to warm up over the sky. It's beautiful here in the field of the beauty. And it's no other than Ramon. Cut. Ramon Cad wears the mark. Where are the mark? Right. Ramon Cad riding for Tito after front. Tito is doing what after last week. Tito after front. There is a Here comes young Brandon Morgan. Brandon Morgan running for fall, looking smooth, looking good as he as he's about to catch up. Mm -hmm. His spelling style, nice and smooth. Where's number four, 10, 32, rise for King Fall. He's been joined no other by young Fernando Rosado and young young brother jump onto the Glory main main hand cut. So two no. cut brothers are up here, four riders just up front. You can see the main two brothers at the back. It's two cut brothers up here. You are among the two brothers, Ramon and. Rain and cut oh, in the brain folks in the G4 in the G4 cycle in the um in the current in the Jamian fifth running you're right you're right you're right from top class you're right from 120 miles like I said final test before the big one the big hole is actually across country race coming up in a few folks I hope you are in enjoying the live we want to see some more fireworks but as the race gets um longer and it progresses we we'll definitely 
some 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 gums will be chewed up and spit out. We head towards some of these, like as I said, fl uh, flight risk. These riders are not allowed to get on the plane and fly away. They are on flight risk, so they will be taken off the plane. So we are here on the stretch, heading towards mile 23. Four riders up front, four lead riders. It's been led by two, two brothers, two twin brothers, Renan Cad and Ramon Cad, along with Brandon Morgan and Fernando Rosado. Two G Flow, a fall rider and a West Track rider. All young guys doing some 21 miles an hour in a headwind, heading towards just past mile 23, heading towards mile 24. In the fifth running of the Jamaican Mount Hope Cycling Classic held here today, the 19th of March 2023. You can see fans on the side cheering on the riders. There's the fans cheering on the riders. Say, let's go, Brandon Morgan on the front, followed by Fernando Rosado. Brandon Morgan wears number 32, Fernando wears number 23, Renan wears number 13, and Young. Ramon, you get the number there in the back. Two brothers are talking. Seems like number 15. It seems like number 15, young Ramon Pon is wearing. It's four riders just up front. We can see the main field all the way at the back. G Flow won't chase. They have their two riders here. And I think um, West Truck will give. Fernando a run, so they will leave him. So the riders, the team that is missing out, like Lovell and Team Lovell, they will definitely have to chase. And Rolling Chat will definitely have to chase. They are not represented here. Like I said, two big teams are not in this event today. The Falvali cycling team and the Imani cycling team are not here. Those are two other teams that will make a lot of excitement, but uh, uh, provide you a lot of excitement. But you know, they have their goals, they know what they are doing. And you know, Oscar is out of the country riding with his team there. The Miami Blazers, big up Oscar Curious representing Belize. Cyclist there, Oscar. Good morning there, my brother Oscar. If you are tuning in or maybe you are racing at the same time, I'm not sure. We're here with the four lead riders, folks, as we head towards mile 24. Slight incline there, the little climb at mile 24. Like I said, the next prize coming up is at Cheers. And that's been given cheers, and that's been given by brothers Habit, the fifth last cash prize at cheers. But we are still a few miles from that, and it's all Brandon Morgan on the front, followed by Fernando Rosado, Rina Ancad, and Ramon Cad, two twin brothers. Uh, some you know, I'm see that two brothers. That these guys won't, don't want to be separated, they want to stay together. <laughs> Big up the CAD family for producing some awesome at least huge cyclists. So we have three brothers, you know, we have um, Renan, Ramon, and Sean CAD in this event today, and they all rise for the same team, G Flow Cycling Team. Big up the CAD brothers, like I said. The dad called me, said, Mr. Donis, Renan, I want on the red bike, and Ramon, I want on the blue bike. They ride two world rides specialized, but Blue, so when I didn't make sure that what I want to have blue bike with blue jersey. And folks, a new wrinkle some someone have come across and who is no other than West Rock have come across. Look at look at young um Carlton Robinson pushing it hard and he's he's mad, he's pushing it hard, he he's doing some twenty five miles off this climb, he's been marked by his teammate and West Rock is out here to make a statement today, folks. West Rock is showing these guys we are not out here to play. We went to the camp to enhance or per, uh, to make sure we are okay. And, and ready for the upcoming, and it's two teams on the front, they have come across, they have opened a gap, it's no other than Baron Pope, we're number 17, and his teammate, Carlton Robinson, as Carlton Robinson have his, a mad look on his face, like, I'm going to hit you hard today, I'm going to make you feel pain, I'm going to chew you up and spit you out like a used chewing gum, and it's the two teammates in Baron Pope and young Carlton Robinson, as they make their way to mile, mile 25, as huge gap have opened up, not huge gap, but a gap have opened up, so it's two West Rock riders, Driving it, doing some 25 miles an hour in this headwind as we make our way to mile 25. I want to big up Mr. Lincoln Phillips who gave him this beautiful garment computer.
and uh, attached to my to my um to my gadget here, so I could bring you accurate reading as these guys make their way to mile mile twenty five in the fifth running of the Jamian Monko Cycling Classic, sponsored by G Flow and 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 Kayo Cargo, folks. Hope I don't run out of breath today, but I'm here out there to bring you live action of this event. Fans, you know, I'm being powered by the fans. The fans keep me going. So I'm going to give you like, give you feedback from some other people, but the majority of the fans, 99% of the fans are good ones to keep you going. So you know, you know, as of them, I'm going to be out here to bring you guys live action. And who's taking out that? It's no other than Jaden Gonzalez. Think about to have rode across a long distance this year. Jaden Gonzalez showed that he came up with some serious firepower as he rode himself across the two lead riders. And these guys are doing some 25 miles to help him more than that. He's been joined by no other than young nation this year as they make their way with just past mile 25. <laughs> Jaden Gonzalez coming across all alone, a long quick. I mean, they came across with their mission is scary and it's still barren hope and the sun as there's a uh, is there a station surprise? I don't think there's a station surprise oh yeah no, no, I'm supposed to surprise that man right so cheers Mark by no other than was folks today is the final big test for these cyclists call for the upcoming holy Saturday. It's the Jamian Monko Cycling Classic 120 miles. Still have, yeah, have to go all the way to Monko here and then head back to the city where we start at Leslie's imports and we are still out front, we are still out, we are just waiting the traffic to, to, to wave through so we could be beside the riders and it's no other than cello on the front, cello on the front, riding for West Truck as they are waving through traffic, they are waving through traffic they got my family there at home who you know pray for me when I come out on this road? Like I said, I always pick up my driver, Mr. Banks, who make sure I am well taken care of. We know what can happen: one slip, one bad move, and it can be definitely terrible. But we are here on the George Price Highway, bring you live coverage of the. Jamian Monk Hoops Cycling Classic, 120 miles. We just passed mile 26, heading to mile, mile 27, and we are, we are amongst the riders. Here comes young, here comes young Kevin Gentle, right for G Flow. Young Kevin Gentle doing some 22 miles an hour. He's been joined by Nation Isikiri, Greg Lovell, the bullet, Byron Pope. Byron Pope always got focus. You have another shade, so can't see no one here. Uh, Byron Pope. You know, making it over to the wheel. So, folks, this race definitely you will see when it comes to the final, like 20 miles, you will see who are ready for the upcoming World Cycle Cross Country race. Because definitely a lot of riders will be chewed up and spit up like used chewing gum. And young Kevin Jenner out of his saddle again, young Kevin Jenner hitting the, the pavement, hitting the tarmac. He's been joined by number 28, Jocelyn Jr. Here comes Dean Stewart, Dean Stewart, a, a master. I'm sure it was number. 87 as he makes his way over to the team riders there is Byron Pope paying attention 
Yeshin Isigiri, Sherwin Roka, aka B12. Gerson riding awesome fall. Team Lovell there is Sean Cud and a um, the bunch of riders coming at the back. And let us see who the Sean Cud hitting him again. G Flow. G Flow the 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 you should drop some bombs, a lot of missiles to jump from the G Flow cycling team. They wanna break this apart, they wanna blow up the whole field. <laughs> but this on the front is no other than Sean Cud. Like I always mention once race that Sean Cud is in that race, you definitely hear his name. He will give his all he keeps the excitement on the tarmac and this is what i like when there's excitement you don't like the boring race that's the only way you can keep the excitement here on the tarmac with the riders as they make their way here at mile 27 on the dodge price highway in the earnest million monk cycling classic fifth running sponsored by g flow and kaya cargo along with m&m's CFP, DJ, Wasani Kasho, dancing on his spell just now with Wasani Kasho, lift the pace, and five riders just off the front, Wasani Kasho, Dylan Levy, Liam Stewart, Nietzsche Nisigiri, Nietzsche Nisigiri, they pay attention, but we're hoping to burn out of the legs before, you know, it comes to a, a um, in the latter match, as we are definitely there will be a lot of suffering a lot of bodies will be scattered over by the tarmac so so far the main field is still together the main field is still together there is Liam Stewart and Greg decide that he will hit them Greg number two and immediately young number 22 Eric Chop hitting him again up inclined by mile 27 Eric Chop hitting him again uh, Greg Lovell going over to the wheel of young Eric Chop there is Sean Card paying attention there is Brandon Morgan there is uh, Cello and Young kid in Pinello, as he made as a free wheel, make up this little incline here on the Dodge Price Highway. Here comes smokes flooding. These guys are hitting each other with bats. Yes. They're hitting each other legs hard. That's who leg will be break today. That's who will be chewed up and spit out like chewing gum. It's Brandon Morgan on the front. Brandon Morgan on the front. Followed by Caden Pinello, followed by no other than Sean Cudd. Share the live, folks. Continue to share the live in this beautiful race today. The fifth running of the Jamaican Hong Kong Cycling Classic, 120 miles event. Brutal here on the Dodge Price Highway, this very tarmac in just over a week's time, we will have some close to 100 riders. We'll have the foreign invaders that will come in. And like I said, big, huge prizes. I know we'll be given. I know the Honorable Anthony Mala told me yesterday when he visited the bike shop that with himself and the BTB, the Honorable Anthony Mala and the BTB will give you $10,000 cash prize for first place. And that's beside whatever. The CFB was given, so they will definitely give up ten thousand dollars cash prize for the first winner of the whole set across country. That's huge, along with five, five one thousand dollars prize. And he said, "No one the prize, no split up in that." He wanted if he said ten thousand dollars, ten thousand, and if he said one thousand dollars station prize, say no. There will be war on the tarmac. I mean, a lot of fireworks from the whole set across country. We are here at mile twenty-eight. We had mile 28 heading towards mile 29, and this sudden incline going up towards the zoo. And who is on the front is no other than young Henry Lee, young Henry Lee, and he's been marked by the young Fernando Rosado. There yeah, was Nation this year again, Jaslyn Jr., Wasani Castro, Big, Big Bob Gabriel, Dylan Levy, young Christopher Witt, young Christopher Witt, young Christopher. Wait, we'll hit them. G flow again. I said, bump, dropping some bombs. Young Christopher Wade, we number 14, hitting them, going up this lane climb. Young Christopher Wade hitting them. Here comes Chelo flying past us. Here comes Nation Isigiri. Young Fernando Rosado, Jocelyn June again hitting them. Yeah, these guys are not alone. Here is Javin Gonzalez, where's number nine. Javin Gonzalez back in the, the country. Big up the Jan uh, Miss Jennifer and the whole Kanaki family. Yeah, die hard G4 fans. Well, of course, <laughs> um, but yeah, again. Um, judge will, the race now retreat, the judge will, and then I'm going to go. 
Pag Republic ako, nung tumungo ko pang watch it pass, and the wheel of driving is more other than Carlton Roberts in paying keen attention at their close in the gap and young Christopher Wade as they make their way up this little incline towards the zoo folks in the fifth running of the Jamian Monk Oaks Cycling Classic. Mr. Kayo Cargo for your shipping and online service. We offer a wide bit variety of service to meet your shipping needs. For reliable service, you can always depend on us. Call us today. We're making a way to top of the little climb here. It not seem like a climb, but it's brutal on the legs, and when the guys hit you, you definitely won't feel pain, you'll suffer. On the front is no other than Jivin Gonzalez, folks, that we give you the numbers that you can contact for. for. In Los Angeles, it's 323-973-0073. In New York, it's 348-886-4016. In Arizona, it's 602-214-5757. In Miami, it's 323-47-5757. Four nine two zero in Houston is two two eight one seven three three zero one nine eight in Belize it's eight two four three eight six four or six seventy three two four six those are the number for Kaya Cargo as we just approaching the zoo we're just approaching the zoo. And the front is no other than Sean Card riding for G Flow. He's been marked by Carlton Robinson there, is Nishan Isigiri, Dustin Jr., Bob Gabriel, Young, Renan Card, Asani Kasho, Javin Gonzalez, Henry Lee, and here comes, here comes Dylan Levy. Here comes Dylan Levy. And the front, race number 30 as he's sitting the tarmac. He's been joined by Nation Isigiri, Wasani Kasho, as we are moving up to the Tech de la Cour, I mean, up to the next station prize. Here is young um, Green and Cattle closing the gap to the three riders. Bob Gabriel heading down. We are doing some 40 miles an hour. This is young Nong. We are heading up a little slope here in Democracia, La Democracia. We are here with the four riders on the front. It's no other than. Jafari Kasho, we make our way up this little incline. We call sleeping policemen, huge sleeping policemen. They are the beautiful motorcycle, the beautiful motorcycle, Mr. Guy Neil and the crew. As we make our way towards chairs where the other prize will be given. And you can see young Sean Cad on the front as the riders approach us. Here comes Cello here. Here comes Cello in our view. Good morning, Mr. Al Smith out of Atlanta, Georgia. Al, hey, Mr. Mala say visit your shop and it's that beautiful trek machine you have there. Big up Mr. Al Smith out of Atlanta, Georgia. On, on a beautiful bike shop there, selling some beautiful track guys, that beautiful machine that you always put on your Facebook, beautiful machine. When I win a lot, so I buy one, I'll love the tricks. Yes, we pass number 30 here, my ML30 here, it's three riders up front. The V12, Sharon Roca, along with Angel Zip and Sean Cad, a few bicyclists ahead of the crowd. We are not too far from the next station prize being given at mile, at, at cheers. Chairs a station prize been given by Brothers Habit. It's a fifty dollars cash prize given by Brothers Habit and it's three riders out front. You can see young Richie Rosado training on the side. You can see more riders doing their little exercise. The, the underdog, the underdog, the underdog. There's Barney Brown, there's John Burns, they are the little ride um, the big man there from um, Ivan Tesukum from BTL, big up, DJ Ivan Tesukum. 
riding his DJ jersey, one of these sponsors to be bringing a live straight into your living room. Three riders out front, three great riders in the likes of Sharon Roca V12, Angel Zip Cello, and Sean Cad. Three riders just out front. You can see the main field of riders coming at the back. Let us see which one of these riders will claim the prize there at Cheers. It's $50, like I said, given by Brothers Habet in the fifth running of the Damien Mount Hope Cycling Classic. Here's the official Mr. Wendell Williams Jr., who keeps tabs on the time, the time gap. But it's not significant for us to give it close for Mr. Scott. Don't worry, the, um, the gap is close. I want to pick up my son, Alex, making some pies today, those delicious pies. I want to pick up my son, the George, and the guy. I just run the thing behind as he returns to India and Chicago. Boom. Taking care of you. Boom. Making delicious meals for me when I return after these hard legs. I have to give her, she's my rock. It's no other than V12 taking over the pace. It's Hill zip, so you might have the banana in the back, and then pay attention. These guys don't have to eat. If you not eat, they will definitely feel the pain. We, we pass in front of Mahogany Heights, and there's still the three lead riders. We can see chairs right up in the distance, and it's Sean Cut on the front. He's looking back. There is um, E12. Look again, banana in the back. Price to give our chairs. Our oh, price to give our chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Still with the three lead riders just past mile 31. Here comes other riders. And the three riders, I don't know if they realize that I'm prize again. And no more prize again there. We will see the official waving the flag. Yes, the officials are there waving the flag. And if the three guys wait, somebody could come across and steal away that prize from them. You can see the official with his flag at the entrance of chairs waving that flag. And let's see who will win that prize as the, the group is fast approaching them. The group is fast approaching them. Let us see. If they will allow anybody to steal a prize out of their, their hands. Sean Cad looking back. Sean Cad out of his saddle. Sean Cad hitting them hard. Sean Cad going for that $50 prize. Sean Cad open a small gap. He will claim that prize. Sean Cad will claim that prize. He claims the prize here at Cheers. Sean, Sean Cad claiming that prize for G Flow. So G Flow gets someone a one prize today. Sean Cad looking good. He's back and doing his thing as he normally does. Here on the tarmac, here comes. In Roka, and the field is make is bring back the group. Just pass, heading towards mile 30, that's 31, heading towards mile 32 here on the George Price Highway in the fifth running of the Jamin Monko Classic. Here comes number two, there's Greg, the bullet level, and young. Dijan Hard riding for the rolling shutters as they make their way towards the three lead riders. Here comes Jaiven Gonzalez. Silver Buck is back. Silver Buck is back. Looking smooth and that beautiful machine, man. And kids have to have some beautiful machine. Here's young Goran Gabriel. The tall figure of young Goran Gabriel. Here comes the whole field is back together, folks. The whole field is back together. And out of the saddle is no other than Gaden Pinello hitting them. He's been marked by Carlton Robinson. There. There's Jocelyn Jr. There's um, Henry Lee. Out of the saddle dancing is Gavin Gonzalez, not allowing anyone to escape. Make sure you scratch it up before you get on the, fl the, the flight. There, there, are no, um, there are flight risks. There are flight risks, so they can't escape. They can't go on a plane without his permission. Here comes Giovanni Lovell. Giovanni level also. Here comes Baron Pope. Baron Pope out of his saddle hitting up this in the crime. By Baron Pope hitting them. Number 17, he's been joined by young Green Card and Nature Isigiri, three other riders. They're asking for, you know, chop the kid's hand. Go ahead, go ahead. Here comes Brandon Morgan, telling his mouth, seeing the move as we approach mile 32 here on the George Price Highway on the wheel of Brandon Morgan. Then it's no other than young Wendell Williams Jr. riding for Eminem, Cello, Greg Lovell, Liam Stewart, 
Alana will see me. I see Alana will see me paying attention. But if you if you watch expression and these guys move their mouth are wide open, they are sucking for all the oxygen that they can. And this is early in the race. You know what? There's a lot of suffering. Three a gap have opened with three riders. Gap have opened with three riders. Uh, Greg, they said this is it. This is it. Three riders just up front nation. You see Gary Young and Cat and Byron Pope. They have been joined by by Zib, Liam Stewart, Alana Will, Jocelyn Jr. And here comes Greg Lovell. And behind his main field of riders. Greg Lovell is the hell of something as they come to a little lull, a slight lull, this incline. And immediately responding to that is no other than Nation Isigiri and Young Wayne and Kad. As they are coming back together, the field have come back together. Here is Young, Young Dijon Hyde. And again, again, Baron Pope hitting up this little time. Baron Pope is not allowing them. He's hitting them on their, their legs with, with a bat. He's hitting them on their legs. And the man that we always carry about last week, Young Nation Isigiri, paying attention. He takes the bat for Baron Pope and dash it in the bush. Uh, nation is on the wheel of Byron Pope, followed by Young Rain and Card, followed by Liam Stewart, Jocelyn Jr. Here comes Young Dijon Hyde, Sherman Thomas, given the, the, the peace sign there is Young Windell. Here comes Dylan Levy, J uh, Young Ital figure of Young Goran Gabriel. Here comes Christopher Wade, and the bunch have come back together. Here is Wendell Vernon, a.k.a. Skinny. There is Jiven paying keen attention. Like I said, he's right at the, the door of the plane, and a lot of these guys are on no flight. They can fly without his permission. They are young, green, and card hitting them hard. They are doing some 48 miles an hour. As we approach, we, just, we approach mile 33. Young, green, and card on the front, green, and card. He wearing number 13. Whereas for G-Flow, he's looking back to see who is coming across Rain and Cut is looking back and the wheel of Rain Cut is a young, young Dylan Levy and young Golden Gable have moved up. If you can see the concentration on these guys' face, they are all concentrating. And definitely I can, can see some mouth open up so I know they are sucking for air and we still have a long way to go in this monster event. The final tests before the big holy Saturday cross country second race coming up in the distance. I know the foreign invaders must and watch this race and say which one of the Belize and they have to, to, to stay close to. But definitely there's a massive attack by no other than Mr. Levy, Dylan Levy, a massive attack race number 30. Dylan Levy come out of the south from the cultural capital. We want to big up the Griga cycling too. Always, you know, they are definitely making a mark. They are training hard, bringing out the young kids. We want to big up Griga cycling, getting back into cycling and Young Dylan leaving rise for fall, making a statement here under George Price Highway, along with young Green and Cad, young Cad, the Cad brothers, like I said, awesome group of brothers, always providing you with entertainment here on the tarmac. Here comes Wasani Castro, Wasani Castro, the, the poor guard, all is out there, is um, Liam Stewart, smokes that have come across. It's one, two, three, four, five, six riders. Small gap on the group of riders. Six riders leading the charges. I'm sure I'm sure pull off there is was on the They are looking back to see who is in the break and if the gap is worthwhile. They know it's a long drag ahead of them. And if these guys you know, escape, they have to make sure that they can walk right all the way to Mount Pope and back the infamous Mount Pope. Front, still with Young Green and Cad on the front, followed by Wasani Kasho. They pull off, and Young Cad is looking back and he continues to pedal, doing some 20 miles an hour in his head. When I was just passed, we just about to pass mile 34 here. And the judge by himself, Wasani Kasho, jumping out of his saddle and going straight over to the wheel of Young Green and Cad. He's been joined by Dylan Levy and Kaden Pinello, where is number 107 rides for Team Carno Oaks. A beautiful race. I hope you guys are enjoying. I'll try to stay here all for the full coverage of the race and bring you live action into your living room wherever you are. 
I know people all over the world is tuning in. We see people from Switzerland, from Sweden, from the UK, from Spain, all over the Caribbean, all over the US, of course. All the US states are tuning. Knows tuning in. This is the fifth running of the Ernest, I mean, if the, of the Jamian or Hibalit Ernest Main Jamian Mount Hope Cycling Classic area to pay tribute to all, all cross country champion icon. This man who won the cross country twice, the golden boy, as he was called, continued to sleep in priest. Ja, it was like a something to be. This race is held in his honor and it's been sponsored by G4 Kaya Cargo. We are heading towards mile 35 and it's Nation Isigiri on the front. The people who are making this possible today, like I say. G Flow, Kyle Cargo, DJ, CFP, MM. Here comes Javin Gonzalez looking back, looking good. Javin, if you're looking at it, you look for an expression from Javin face. The man look, the man look, um, how call it? The man look, the man look good, the man pay attention. There's no sign of any kind of suffering. He's looking back, he's on the pace, looking back to see who will join him. So, and there is an attack. He pulled in front and there's an attack by Sean Khan. There's an attack by Sean Khan. His teammate has been joined by Dylan Levy. Nation is Gary Young, Young Dijon Hyde, Angel Zib, and Liam Stewart. And a small gap to the main field of runners. And who is bringing it back? It seems like it's no other than Bob Gabriel, Bob Gabriel there. And here comes Cello hitting them. There's Levy, Levy making signs. Mission is secure and the wheel of, of Cello as we head towards mile 35 here on the Judge Price Highway in, in this 120 mile monster. The final test before the big one. So after this, the guys have to turn in and slow down for the miles to make their legs recover. These races will definitely take its toll. This is a final to test your leg, like I said, to see if you're ready for that grueling event. I know when the foreign invaders come in, they bring a new hype to the race, a new you know, razor level. Some serious guns will come in, especially here now, with those huge prizes that will be given for the upcoming for the Saturday cross country race. But today, it's the Jamaican Monk Cycling Classic held here. And the beautiful. Beautiful Dodge Price Highway or beautiful jewel. Look at the weather, it's so perfect. Oh man, a lot of people that want to come to the keys, it's very cool. There's Wasani Castro. I want to say happy birthday to my brother today, Sean Duncan. He celebrates his birthday today, so I know he's tuning. Happy birthday, Sean Duncan, rides with Weekend Warriors. So, there's a crash, there's a crash, there's a crash. There's a crash at the back. I heard the noise. There's a crash. I see cyclists flying over. So I hope Alicia Thompson get that. There's a crash at the back and some riders off the front. Off the front is no other than Javin Gonzalez cranking up the, the pace. He's been marked by Wasani Casho, Yeshi Nisikiri, Justin Jr., Kaden Pinello. Um, and again and again hitting them is Javin Gonzalez. He's hitting them with that back. He's hitting them with that back. He's hitting their legs as he's looking back to see who will join him. It's Javin Gonzalez on the front, followed by Wasani Casho, followed by Richard Isikiri. Greg Lovell is here, uh, Henry Lee is here, and Greg Lovell is saying, let's, let's rotate, let's rotate. And immediately, uh, Henry Lee, seeing that he has lone big guns, Henry Lee on the front, Henry Lee on the front, asking for no help. Henry Lee rides for a rolling shot, a small gap of open up, the guys are looking back, but Henry Lee is riding up the same incline, heading towards mile 36. Henry Lee, and these guys have opened a gap here, comes Nation Isikiri. Nation is scary, and we can see a whole bunch of riders. There was a crash at the back. I don't um, know who got involved. I saw cyclists flying all over the place. I'm not sure 
who were involved, maybe um, Alicia will get that on her camera to see who is involved with that crash that happened in the main field of riders are here. They hear the crunking noise of bicycle hitting the pavement. Here comes young Rain and Cad along with was on the as they caught up to the wheel of Henry Lee. Nation is here, they're all here. We're just about to pass mile 36, heading towards Mount Cook, where we'll be the halfway point of this race. So a lot of miles, a lot of miles remaining in this event today, folks. So we'll be here countless hours. There's no break to report on. They are all joined back together. They are all back together, except for maybe the few that was involved in that crash. But we are up front, so we can't get those um that information. It's a vehicle to come there, so we gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. It's young Dijon Hyde on the front. Young Dijon Hyde on the front. Uh, the traffic will pass through. It's young Dijon Hyde being joined by Nation Isigir. I said the highway is not closed, so whenever traffic is passing through, you hear the officials blowing your horn, telling them the riders to stay on their side, and that gives us a warning that the traffic is passing through. We have to allow the traffic, as you can see them pass, as they traverse the highway, can't lock up the highway. It's not closed. One young, it's young rain and card, young rain and card, number 13 rides for GP flow. He's open a small gap of this incline here at mile 37. Here on the Judge Price Highway in the fifth running of the Jamaican Monk Oak Cycling Classic, folks, held here today, the 19th of March 2023. Yesterday, we witnessed an exciting um, professional race there in Europe, in Milan, San Remo. The guys ride over 200 miles. Imagine that 200 miles. How come it is all well, the Southern Cross country races so have about 140 miles or so? And ride one of these races. If you were a cyclist, or you are a cyclist, you know what it is to suffer. Here comes young Fernando Rosado, have made it across the young G Flow rider, young Rain and God. This young Fernando Rosado, I tell you, this kid, if he continue, this kid will definitely be a force to reckon with. He's, he, the expression in his face, he look, he looks very um, he look good. He, he, he you know, so no sign of suffering. Young Fernando Rosado, looking great, looking good, as he made his way across he's on the pace this is a tech that approach the front of the race there's two riders just, just up front fernando rosado and young green and cut green and cut taking a sip of his something he have in the bottom of the water or the, um, <laughs> some kind of energy drink but it's young green and on the front followed by fernando rosado and here comes the group at the back The front edit is farm here on the George Price Highway. Now I'm starting to feel the heat. Here comes Sean Cad is on the front. Sean Cad on the front. Sean Cad on the front. Another G Flow rider, and that's no other than um, Hollister Baptist is wearing the beautiful kit of the G Flow today. The man makes sure. The man makes sure. I see pockets full of stuff. So so um, Hollister Baptist make sure today that. He's not left, he's not in a skin suit today. He's making sure that he brought his groceries on the highway so he can sit on um, his bike and eat. So, Hollister Baptist wears number 32, hitting the tarmac, doing some 25 miles an hour. He's been joined, no other than Jocelyn Jr. I can see some young riders cheering on the riders. Uh, there is young, there is a uh, Jocelyn Jr. on the front, Jocelyn Jr. in front, along with the Baptist and riders have come across. I can see Wasani Castro, I can see no other than Jivan Gonzalez, Silver Bullet, who is back, and he's back with a ball of fury. A lot of, he have brought back a lot of missiles with him, so he's going to drop some missiles in the punch today. Jivan Gonzalez, looking good, just returned into the country after training, taking part in some race, doing very well there. 
in the US spot looking good. And they have come to a lull, they are doing some 60 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, they are all bunch up. But like I continue to say, a whole lot of miles left remaining in this event. And you know, with all these attack, these guys would be at dearly. We see attack here by Snowden and Smokes Gladden. Snowden and the master Smokes Gladden, Smokes Gladden is out here all the time doing his thing, looking good. He's been joined by Greg Lovell, number two rides for Team Lovell. Here comes Chelo. Here comes the young man, young Christopher, way out of Kaya. Christopher rides for G Flow. This young man just come up to the League of Elite and he's doing awesome. Race number 14. Past mile 38 here on the Dodge Price Highway heading towards here. Is Cello telling let's let's rotate, let's rotate. It's four riders just up front and he's telling let's rotate, but the main field of riders are coming at the back. Up on the main bunch of riders are here. Yeah, here is Greg Lovell on the front, Greg Lovell on the front, followed by Smoke Sladden. So there's Brandon Morgan, there's Christopher Wade, and just behind the main field of riders on the front, no other than Smokes Land rides for Culture slash SPD as we make our way towards mile 39 here on the Charge Price Highway in the Jamian Mount Hope Cycling Classic, being sponsored by G Flow Kayak Cargo. prize will be given out at mile 41 that's at the memorial site of Edison Usher and Kadeem Banks. It's a $50 given by Mr. Charles White out of California. I believe I think Mr. Charles White out of California. I'm big up the, the whole California crew who probably is joining this live watching it and uh, you know looking forward to the upcoming all Saturday cross country race. I know a crew from California will join uh, the PMA crew looking good they will they will uh, come to the, 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 the homeland to take part in upcoming all such a cross country race. I have the names of some of those riders. You know, I mentioned it and as they will turn Thursday night. Um, you know, definitely about seven riders coming out of California and the PMA team, the PMA team to do the race they were here last year. I think Mr. Pierce got a prize for four, five or masters or something. But yeah, they will come again to take part in the whole Saturday Cross Country race. Big up the LA crew and the riders coming in, take part in the event. Up front it is Jocelyn Jr. followed by Wasani Kasho, followed by the Road King, Giovanni Lovell have moved up there is um Vishen and Sigiri. And we see we see teeth, we see we see mouth open up so I don't know. The suffering have started, the suffering have started and we are not even we know the rich but we just some we just some about going to 40 miles in this event, just about 40 miles going to this event. And the front is no other than Giovanni Lovell, riding for Team Lovell, having a conversation with Northern and Nishi Isikiri, Carlton Robinson. The big fish are moving up, the big fish are moving up. Here comes Lee Long Short. They have come to a slow, they are doing some 18 miles an hour as they are about to cross the, the River Dam Bridge here at mile 40 on the Judge Price here. Out of the saddle is the master, Bob Gabriel, followed by young Christopher Witt, Osani Castro, Nishin Isigiri, Jocelyn Jr. The young girl and Gabriel, the tall figure of young girl and Gabriel, it's easy to make out he's, he's such a tall kid. Is Christopher Waite, we number 14, along with Los Anika Show. There is Bob and his seat dancing again as he makes his way up this little incline. Bob Gabriel riding for culture slash SPD, marked by Nation Isigiri. And Bob again hitting them, Bob again hitting them, and immediately the circus are responding to that move. Bob hitting them, he's been marked by Nation Isigiri, Carlton Robinson, Justin Jr., Henry Lee. Rain and Cad, Liam Stewart, here comes Cello, here comes Sean and Cad riding across the gap. You can see Dijon Hyde just behind as they have come to a lull. 
So they, 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 they think clock shooter again, 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 Bob hitting them, again, Bob hitting them. We are number 70. Bob Gabriel and Martha doing his thing out here on the Dodge Price Highway in the fifth running of the Jamaican Monco Classic. So I'm counting on 20 miles of pain and suffering. So a lot of riders be chewed up and spit out like a huge chewing gum. Here comes uh, the B12 Sherwin Roker uh, rides for Fall. He's been right behind him is his teammate, no other than Jocelyn Jr. There is Sean Cad. There is Brandon Morgan, the young Dijon Hyde. I can see what expression on Greg Level face. You can see the man is soft air. Still on the front is no other than the master, big Bob Gabriel, who is turning up doing some 21 miles an hour. Obviously, in Canada, he pulls off. All the riders will look around and pull off too. On the front is young Green and Cut. Again, Bob hitting them. Again, Bob hitting them. Bob, Bob come out the front with a sledgehammer this time. Now we're going to be a with a sledgehammer. We hit them. Bob is up front as we about to pass mile 40. So in one more mile, there's a prize given by the memorial site for Edison Usher and Kadeem Banks. Beside the riders in some 55 riders started this morning, some 55 riders starting this morning. The fifth annual Jamaican Monk Hope Cycling Classic with five riders started this morning. All riders that will be taking part in the upcoming whole Saturday cross country race, along with other riders from other teams. Like I said, the Valvoline are not out here today. No, Brandon is recovering from a flu. No, Oscar is out of the country racing with his team there, the Miami Blazers there in Miami. I'm not sure if it's Miami, but he's out of the country right now. Pasnos is no other than Fall Rider there, Brandon Morgan. Yeah, he's young Dijon Hyde on the wheel, chasing for the wheel of Brandon, young Rian Ankad, Jason Segeri, Henry Lee, Sonny Castro, Sean Cad, Bob Gabriel, Liam Stewart, and the rest of riders behind. Still on the front is Brandon Morgan looking good, looking smooth on his beautiful BMC machine. The guys have some beautiful machine here in Belize. Just imagine some of the vehicle, some of the bike cars more than a lot of people vehicle that they are driving and uh Wasani Castro hitting them, Wasani Castro hitting them. He's been joined by young Green and Cardi, young Dijan Hyde, Nishin Isigiri. There is Mr. V12, there is Henry Lee. They're all dancing out of their cell. There's Liam Short in a high cadence, trying to close again. There is the young Carlton Robinson. There is Sean Card. There is D Way, D Way to move up. He would have something in the back of the left or ice pack or something. He would have moved up there. Is done. Um, look at the expression on um, Byron Pope and Pump Fusion. A huge gap this incline. Byron Pope in a huge gap this incline. There's a little incline going into the um, into mile 41. And he's been joined by no other than Sean Cad. There's a prize given at the crash site. So we move up to the. Uh, yeah, I mean the, the memorial site for Edison Usher. We move up to the move up to the uh, um, where the prize will be given. We like to pay our respect to our brothers Edison Usher and Kadeem Banks. Like I said, who man who gave the ultimate price for the sport they love. As you can see, the officials lost in the distance. We get up and we'll like, take a little stretch and uh, pay a tribute to our brothers again, Edison Osha and Kadim Banks, who lost their life almost a year ago, bringing new life coverage of the female cross country. And we are here at the memorial site for these guys. Don't get a chance to stretch my little legs. Because it's tough getting off. Huh? We are here at the grave site again. This is Osha. Kadim Banks. And here comes the riders. Let us see. We can see 
I can see it seems like it's um it's two who's who's up. That's no other than Carlton Robinson. Carlton Robinson off the front. And other riders flying past us. Yeah, comes a there's a group, there, there's a break, there's a break about about twenty riders, about twenty riders, about twenty riders. Just off the front here comes here comes the rest of riders, here comes the rest of riders. I can see no other than um Giovanni Lovell in this there's smokes gland, there's young Gore and Gabriel. A gap have been opened up and some riders have been left behind, but it's, it's not out of if it's not out of touch. And uh, all the all the riders, all the service vehicle passing us, we get back on the motorcycle. Yeah, see um young Kevin Chaplin you know the service vehicle for G Flow, the man he'll made us now. So we get back on the motorcycle and we make it back. We make our way back to the tech, the la course, the front of the race. Like I said, we are between heavy traffic as we make our way back to the front of the race. Like I said, I'm here with my experienced driver, Mr. Banks. We're just behind uh, there's Mr. Jack, but behind the ambulance to make our way through heavy traffic, trucks heading towards something on the red bike. I said, if you want my red bike. As we make our way there is Mr. Chaplin. Federation. Making our way to, I can see Windell, Windell off the back. Windell Williams Jr. just off the back. I see, can see Giovanni off the back. I'm not sure what happened to Giovanni. Lovell, but Giovanni is off the back. We are number one. Giovanni is off the back. I'm not sure the expression on his face. You don't see something. I'm not sure something, um, oh, it seems like he's changing his wheel. Something with um, Giovanni. You can see a rider there. Jaggers. I'm not sure what happened to Giovanni, but he's just off the back as we head into Cotton Tree Village. And you can see the race is starting to break up into pieces. Start to shatter like skittles. There is all the back. This young Christopher Wade. Yeah, um, Eric Chop the Pass, spear bike. Eric Chop is not on his bike, something happened to his bike, so he's on a spare bike. There is Sherman Thomas, there is Richard Santiago, Caden Penel, Dwight Lopez, young Elwin Humes, um, Del Vernon, Gerson, there is Gian Lino, Alana Will Jr. driving this space, Alan Will driving this group, young Alana Will Jr. rides for Team Budget as he drives the, the group. This is a group just off the back. And there's a main field, the, 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 the tech that goes right up front there. It's, it's still um, reachable there is young Gian Lina taking over, rides for Team Jaggers as he makes his way. As he's making his way, he's trying to get, try to reach back. They're all helping to, to, to close that gap. Now it's uh, Windell Vernon on the front trying to close that back as we pass through the village of Cotton Tree. Windell Vernon here comes young Elwin Humes, Kaden Pinner, as they are trying to make their way back. We are doing some 25 miles an hour as we pass through the village of Cotton Tree. There's Gian Lino, there is Windell, Vernon, Dwight Lopez, Pess, as they have joined back the Tech de la Course, the front of the race. Most of the riders are still here in the hunt. Most of the riders are still here, and that shows that they are, they are good for at least 50 miles an hour. So as the race progresses, we'll see who legs, who, legs are being, who legs are being broken, who are being spit out like chewing gum. But we are back with the main field of riders, the Tech de la Course. We are long, the riders on the front driving it is no other than Angel Zip being followed by Justin Jr., Henry Lee, Javin Gonzalez, Rain Ancad, Bob Gabriel, Byron Pope, Sean Cad, B12, Liam Stewart, pass in front of this gas station. Here comes on the front. Jocelyn Jr. riding for Team Fall. Here comes Henry Lee with a big button in his back, tucking his arm. He's, he's, he's in his, his drop. Here comes Javin Gonzalez on the front. Javin Gonzalez on the front looking good, looking smooth, looking fit. Uh, as he look over to his teammate. And let me see if they take a little lull as we make up this little incline here, heading towards mile 42 or 43. Uh, not mile 43. We're heading towards mile 43 here on the Judge Bice Highway again, uh, Bob, I see Bob 
Jumbled up his saddle up, this is an incline, this is a little incline. He's been joined by Baron Pope there, his V12. And the front is no other than Sherwin Roca, aka V12, and the front driving the pace, doing some 90 miles an hour opposite incline. It marked by no other than Liam Schutt on a nice high cadence. This is a master rider. Liam Stewart looking good today, wears number 87 in an all full black jersey. Young Carlton Robinson wears number 19 as he makes his way up this little incline. Here comes Bob Gable closing the gap. Here is Nishin Isigiri, here is Wasani Castro, along with young Fernando Rosado. Here comes Brandon Barnard dancing out of his saddle, making his way back to the front of the race. Bob Gable have hit them, Bob Gable have hit them. Look like this master man. Have Ali Hamato, Ali Minimal already hitting guys. Bob Gable hitting them hard. Open a small gap. This only the person that is closing the gap is Carlton Robinson and Nation Isigiri have closed that gap. Here comes Brandon Morgan along with Wasana Kasha trying to close the gap. And these three lead riders, so it's Bob on the front, followed by Carlton Robinson, followed by Nation Isigiri. Brandon Morgan have come across here. Wasana Kasha, Wasana Kasha, let me see. Wasana Kasha, he wants to hit them. Wasana Kasha riding straight up, straight by. Wasana Kasha riding straight by. We are. About to crest it, they climb this little here at mile 43 and a quarter. Was standing on the front driving it, doing some 20 miles an hour. He's been joined by no other than Brandon Morgan and Nation Isigiri. If you notice, Nation Isigiri is paying a whole, he's doing a whole lot of work. He will definitely pay for this if he continues like this. He have to rest a little and pay attention. But um, he's trying to cover all the brakes, and that's when you get, it's get dangerous. Whenever you try to cover all the brakes, you will pay for it down the road. But on the front is Brandon Morgan, followed by Wasani Kasho, who takes over the pace and a whole bunch of riders coming back. So, folks, at least it's not scattered like skittles right now. They're all tuned, they're tuned down. Let us see who will be chewed up and spit out. It's still Wasani on the front, followed by Brandon Morgan, Machin Isigiri. Here comes Sean Cad and a whole bunch of riders. I think Sean Cad will hit them right now. Sean Cad, Sean Cad on the front. Sean Cad move up to the front of the race. Sean Cad and immediately um, Nation Isigiri and the wheel of Sean Cad. You see Nation Isigiri chase everything. And that's what's going to get dangerous. Here comes Jocelyn Jr. Jocelyn Jr. seeing that Sean Cad and, and uh, Nation Isigiri up the road and he taking no chance. Here comes Greg Lovell with number two. Greg riding pretty good. Just returned to the bike and he's doing good as these guys come to a lull. Here comes the field coming back to the front of the race. Folks, we want to thank. We want to big up the sponsors. Like I said, we want to big up. Kaya Cargo, G Flow, for sponsoring this event today. As the riders they come across there is Wasani Castro on the front, followed by Nation Isigiri, Nation Isigiri, Sean Cad, Justin Jr., Liam Stewart, Young Goran Gabriel riding for Pano, have made it across. Young Fernando Rosado, there is Ishan Hyde, and a bunch of riders just back way. And this stretch here heading into mile 44, 45, passing in front of the circle R Rice factory here on the Judge Paisa. We are not too far from Belmont, just a few miles from Belmont, and then we will hit the first little climb here in Rolling Creek. And I think there's a station prize at the Garbats. You can see that there's a station prize at the Garbats. Yes, station, and it's a 50 dollars digit card. And I think uh, this, this morning, Miss Alicia Thompson, yeah, just missed on the paper though. Um, better than the name gave a $50 station prize. Just put up the, uh, probably put up the thing on the, the um, in the um, Raja. So I remember that lady name that gave that prize at a $50. You know, Sylvia something, I don't remember exactly who had a $50 station prize. I remember mentioning it at the start of the race, but you know, so then I remember not I can't remember everything I never did right on that. Alicia did say someone at $50, so it will be a $50 gift, a um, $50 phone card there by DJ and a young lady um, giving a, at a $50 cash prize there at the Garbat. Station here comes Carlton Robinson. He's been joined by no other than Young Green and Cat. Carlton stepping up to some 20 odd miles an hour. 20 miles an hour. Here comes Hollister Baptist, joined by Henry Lee. Small gap. The riders are starting to stretch out. There is 
Justin Jr. as these guys are tearing up the time up. We head into we head towards mile 45 here on the Dodge Vice Highway. We are not too far from the, the Rolling Creek area where I said the first climb, first little hill will test their legs. And it's five, five riders just out front. You can see the main feet of riders. It's five riders out front being charged by Carlton Robinson, Young, Green and Cad, Young Henry Lee, Hollister Baptist, and Jocelyn Jr., Jocelyn Chavaria Jr. 2G flow. <laughs> and look at these guys are playing uh, Carlton and Carlton and um and Hollister. Yeah, each one tell the next one chase and they allow the three riders to just ride away. Young Rain and Cad, Jocelyn Jr. and Henry Lee have opened a gap and the rest of riders, the next two riders, three wheel and gone back in the group. And it's Justin Jr. on the front, followed by number 10, number uh, one, what the young, um, do I get number number one, number three, or whatever, young Henry Lee. And the two riders have come across back. That's Carlton Robinson and Hollister Baptist have come across back. Well, I think they're going to have the uh, mutual vehicle. They're going to mutual vehicle. Yeah, this is a mutual vehicle driven by Mr. Bruce Berger, the mutual vehicle servicing the, the guys up front. When you as a break, you know, they always have a mutual vehicle that service the riders because um, when the gap is not too uh, too big and they need to give um, riders need at least service, the mutual vehicle provide service for these guys up front of five riders, Rain and Cad, followed by Jocelyn Jr., followed by Henry Lee, Carlton Robinson, who have come across. It's no other than Jiven Gonzalez who have come across. Jiven Gonzalez again, we're number nine coming across. Here comes Waxani Castro and Smokes Gladden, Kenway Smokes Gladden. Look. His, his eyes fixated and, and, the, and the rider in front of him was Sani Kasho, looking good as they make their way towards mile 46 here on the Judge Price Highway. We are entering Rolling Creek in a short while, folks. We are entering to the rolling hills of the Cayo District. The feet, you can feel the heat. The heat is coming on now. It's starting to, it's starting to get hot, folks. Beautiful day here in the country. The jewel of Belize. I hope a lot of Belizeans will visit our, 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 our homeland, come to visit, spend some money. The hotels enjoying the whole Saturday grass country race. Those are the keys. Take, dip, take a dip in the beautiful Caribbean Sea. Like I said, I want to big up Mr. Anthony Mala and the, and the BTB. Like I said yesterday when he visited the shop, he said the, uh, he, the B, uh, Mr. Mala and the BTB will give a ten thousand dollars cash prize for the winner of the whole the Saturday grass country race. And he's also providing five one thousand dollars station prices along the road so you know the foreign invaders will pay attention to that when they hear about that you don't know the race will be war when the cyclists hear about they will put up on their stem and they will see which price they want to collect so some riders could win one station prize and they are good for the they could win a thousand dollars and they're good because maybe when they finish this finish the um some of the prize not be that good but it's richard Santiago who have moved up front followed by V12 followed by Carlton Robinson, Jocelyn Jr., Liam Stewart, Wasani Kasho as we make our way towards Rolling Creek. Here comes Henry Lee along with a whole bunch of riders as Richard, <laughs> Richard Santiago said we're not ready for cross country. Richard Santiago just said Mr. Adonis, these guys aren't ready for cross country. So as we have pulled to the side to allow traffic to pass through. We are just in front of the main field of riders. So we head into Rolling Creek. Some 50 ride riders started this morning in this event. And we're heading towards Rolling Creek. We are, we'll be in the Rolling Hill. So you guys will get at least sneak peek of what these guys will face coming up all the Saturday. We are heading towards the infamous Mount Cope, folks. Not that high anymore. The guys in Flop Mount Cope nowadays. Not that high, but it definitely will break some legs because the guys ride much faster. When the foreign invaders come in, like the Guatemalans, the Americans, Mexicans, the guys they have mountains in the country land, so they know what it is for climbing. But these are short country climbs. One welcome each and everyone to the 2023 Ernest Jamian Monko Cycling Club. Classic 120 miles of pain and suffering here on the Judge Price Highway. As we see fans out, we see fans out here in Belmopan, heading towards Belmopan. We're just at the side here are the fans as 
they cheer on the cyclists. We can see them at the George Price Boulevard. It's Liam Stewart on the front, followed by no other than <clears throat> D12 Sherwin Roker. Here comes my brother, Mr. Castillo, Dr. Castillo. Melin, Melin, there they are. And the fans are out, paying attention, cheering on the riders. Still on the front is Dean Stewart. Here comes Nation Isigiri and a whole bunch of riders. Here comes Hollister Baptist, Sherman Thomas. As they have come to a lot, they have, the players have dropped down to 17 miles an hour. As we are not too far from the roundabout, here comes an attack by Fernando Rosado, rail number 23. Fernando Rosado hitting them. He's been joined by Hollister Baptist and Jocelyn Jr. Yes, we are heading into Belmont, into, into Rolling Creek. And the front is doing a step up the pace to some 25 miles an hour. The government is at 24.9 miles an hour. It's young Fernando Rosado. Here comes the, the pace drop a little again, but a little incline here. So there is Justin Jr. on the front, Justin Jr. on the front, pushing it some 21 miles an hour. Justin Javaria pushing some 21 miles an hour as we pass in front of El, El Palicio. Rosado riding for West Truck again, driving the pace. We pass mile 47, 47 in front of El Rancho. We take this run down. And when we take this run down, we go over the bridge at Roque Matos, the M&M &M Engineering built. Roque is in this race. I don't see any more, though. Roque is in this, in this race. Maybe he's at the back with the main group of riders on the front. Justin Jr. on the front, followed by no other than Fernando Rosado and Hollister Baptist. The three riders up front heading down this run down into Rolling Creek, the pace will pick up to about 27 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour as we head into Rolling Creek. It's young Ferdinand Rosado followed by Hollister Baptist. Like I said, it's time to make sure you have pockets that people have food and I say food in your pocket, so I don't think you're bummed today. Here comes riders coming across. There is Liam Shuan coming across. You can see the riding style of young Asian um, Hyde and some other rider coming at the back and out front. Three riders heading into the roundabout here. That normally go to Bangapan or Rolling Creek. We head west towards Rolling Creek. And here comes Liam Stewart coming across with young Asian Hyde and young Christopher Waite riding for G Flow. G Flow always have riders in the take the course in front of the race. And the front again is young Fernando Rosado taking over the pace is Hollister Baptist. Here comes Liam Stewart race number 87 as we are just about to enter into the wrong about here and onwards to Rooney Creek. There's a station prize being given at um, the Garbats. A station prize to give the, the Garbats. So we we'll head up to come on this one about because it's dangerous on this one about the riders. We head up towards Rooney Creek along along the about. So that we can still, like, there's no policeman there, and you can still decide to come around the wrong boat while the riders are coming. Here comes the riders here, the common riders. We head up to cross the bridge, we cross the bridge, we cross the bridge, and head up to the garbage. That's the station where the prize will be given. This is cross country turf, cross country turf. We are heading across the beautiful bridge here, and you can see the riders. In the background, a prize will be given in front of the Gabbard's gas station here in Rolling Creek. It's a $50, it's a $50 phone card along with $50. And here's the official, and we await the riders. I can see a lone figure coming, and it's no other than Hollister Baptist that will capture the prize. Hollister Baptist, here comes young um, Justin Jr. Justin Jr., young DJ and Hyde, young Christopher Waite, Liam Stewart, and Fernando Rosado. Here comes other riders. There's Nishin Sigiri, young Golan Gabriel, Sean Cad. There's Javin Gonzalez, Baron Pope, passing us. Folks, the race is starting to, to break into there. There is um, Henry Lee along with um, Richard Santiago. Here is V12, Gerson, Skinny, and a whole bunch of riders here left in this group. The race have definitely 
chopped in half. Some guys have been chewed up and spit out like you chewing gum. Yes, some riders have been chewed up and spit out. The yes, I can use the phrase now. They have been chewed up and spit out like like you chewing gum. And some 20 riders in this group. I can see young Elwin Humes. I can see Carlton Robinson here is Greg Lovell. And you can see riders just up front. They are stretched all over the tarmac, folks. The way on the front. Here goes um, Bob Gibbon, a monster gear, going up this little incline to the village of Rony Creek. The fans are out cheering on. The riders know that in two weeks' time, the whole Saturday cross country will pass through this village. Uh, something happened to Jivan Gonzalez. He has a mechanical. Jivan Gonzalez lost his, his chain. He put it on back, but he will make it back. Jivan Gonzalez had a mechanical just now. And the gap is closing. Bob Gable have closed the gap to the riders. So look at Bob Gabriel, the master riders, as he's closed his way. He crossed his way back to the tech dollar course, the front of the race. I'm not sure it's the exact front of the race, but to the main bunch of riders. Here goes the riders. Yeah. Yeah. The, the riders are just beside us, passing us. There is young Alan Awil Duna and the, the tail of the, 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 the group there. And the riders are still trying to come back there. I can see um, Eric Chop still on his spare machine along with v12 and smokesland as they're trying to cry their back up to the front of the race the tech de la course here in the running i can see trophy there on the side working out and these guys are trying to ride their way back richard santiago alana will jr sherwin thomas dwight lopez zib young elwin humes dwight lopez there's an attack there is Greg, there's um, Bob Gabriel, Henry Lee, Gian Lino, Carlton Robinson, Brandon Morgan, Wasane Castro, Kidding Pinello. Okay. There's a goal and we'll get names of these riders to be passing. Um, when you have abandoned young, 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 um, young, um, young Turban have abandoned the races off his bike. So something have went wrong with this bike or something I'm not sure there's Mr. Castro. Here is young Elvin Humes race number 64 riding across to this mare. This pack of about 16 or so rider. There's a kid on a beach cruiser trying to hold up. That's a future cyclist. Yeah, that's a future cyclist. He's on the beach cruiser. Yes, he's on the beach cruiser trying to keep up with these guys. Look at look at the um, West Chuck crew. They are eating um, um when you eat food, yes, but um, um Byron drinking down liquid. We are with the tech that are close the front of the right. Here comes Cello on the left hand side as he passing the group of riders. Justin Jr. saw that and immediately he's joined uh, and he wants to join the wheel of um of um cello here is the shepherd the shepherds yeah and um Greg Glovel making our way his uh, way across as we pass through the village of Kamalota. Here comes Sean Card, he's been joined by Henry Lee out of his dance on his side. There is young he's on hardware number 97. These guys, this is cross country territory. This is where the rolling hills will start. This is where the legs will pee in, where the lungs will scream where the heart rate will go through the roof, folks, as we head up this little incline. It's young Justin Jr. on the front, followed by Cello, followed by Greg Lovell, followed by Sean Card there as well, and Tim Training on the, the highway there is young Dijon Hyde. And the four, four riders just up front. The charge is being led. No other band. Zib Angel, Zib Cello. Yes, the, Justin Jr. Coming up to the wheel of Justin is um, Greg Lovell riding good. There is Sean Card. Here comes um, young Dijan Hyde coming across. Here comes Eric Chop. Eric Chop have joined back the front of the race. He was just off the back. He's still on his spare machine. That's not his um, original bike. So he probably awaits his original bike. His, um, his bike is on a spare machine as we speak. And he's trying to ride his way across to the five lead riders up front. On the front is Greg Lovell driving the pace. Here comes young Goran Gabriel. There's uh, Fernando Rosado. There is Young Christopher Wade looking good. Nation is the Gary Gian Lino. Here is um, Liam Stewart. Dwight Lopez, the master, still here. Pess, Sherman, um, Sherman Thomas. There is Brandon Morgan, his face fixated in front of the rider, in front of it. There is Caden Pinello riding a monster gear of this little incline. There is Byron Pope. Young Elwin Hume still there. There is Carlton Robinson. Alana Will Jr., Henry Lee. Wasani Castro, D Wade, and a whole bunch of riders as they are trying to make up. And we are, uh, the race is back together, folks. They are all back together to the village of Kamalote as we pass mile 50 here. It's Sean Card on the front, followed by Chilo. Look at um, um, Justin Jr. waving his hand. I'm not sure what he's saying. There is um, <clears throat> Nishan Isigiri, Goran Gable stretching his 
is back. There is Fernando Rosado. They have come to a, a slow. They are doing some 20 miles an hour as we are passing through the village of Kamalote, heading towards uh, Tea Kettle and onwards. This is cross country territory. This is the highway. It's beautiful highway. Look at the beautiful skyline. Look at the fans are coming out. And we'll next in the next two weeks, in the next three weeks, the whole Saturday cross country will be on this tarmac. And all the fans will join the high when you look at the fans, they are on the side waving to the cyclists as they pass by. Liam Stewart, the master on the front, Liam Stewart on the front, followed by Byron Pope, who have moved up. There is Jocelyn Jr. Ankad, Nation is Fernando Rosa. Brandon Morgan and a whole bunch of riders here. The fans on the side waving to the cyclists, cheering them on. It's Brandon uh, Baron Pope on the front. Baron Pope on the front. Level, Greg Level hitting them hard. Greg Level hitting them hard. This climb. Greg Level open a few bicycle lengths and the group of riders. Here comes Rain and Cad. His mouth wide open, but he's out of his saddle and he's you know chasing for that wheel off. Greg Level. There goes Jocelyn Jr. again. No other than young Carlton Robinson closing the gap. Here comes uh, Sean Khan looking smooth and his beautiful giant machine. Nation Isigiri race number 74 as they close the gap to, to Greg Lovell who was out front. This is six riders just out front, six riders just out front. And they they're going a slow pace of about 16 miles an hour, dancing on the pedal of this little incline as the villagers are out cheering on. This is where you have the majority of cycling fans in the Kayo district as they wave on the cyclists, looking on the side, you know, waving on the athletes, supporting cycling. Yes, the lady give banana and water, supporting the riders. Justin took a water, spraining all over his body. Uh, um, seems that um, young. Um, when he will get back his bike, as the official is giving back, um, the, the supporters, is, that's that. Um, Eric Trapp will get back his bike. Eric Trapp will get back his bike. There's a West Trapp crew on the side servicing. Still out front is Jocelyn Jr. on the front, followed by young Renan Cad, Carlton Robinson, Sean Cad, Nishin Isigiri, Greg Lovell. Young Dijan Hyde, Liam Short, the tall figure of young Goran Gabriel, Fernando Rosado, Byron Pope, Caden Pinello. I can see smoke standing in the back. I can see Dwight Lopez still there. I can see Bob Gabriel still there. I can see Brandon Marlon still there. And on the front is young, as you pass mile 51, it's young Goran Gabriel. And after the front taking over is Carlton Robinson, folks. We want a big up um, kayak cargo. All Kayakago, your belief is shipping and online service. We offer a wide range, a variety of service to meet your shipping needs for reliable service. You can always depend on us. Call us today. And it's uh, Greg Lovell again hitting them, Greg Lovell again hitting them, been followed by Carlton Robinson, the pace of pickup to about 18 miles an hour. Here comes Jocelyn Jr. riding across to. The two riders here comes Fernando Rosado, young Green and Cad, who, who always ride all over his machine as he's make his way there. It's Liam Stewart and the riders stretch out. Look at young Gear and Gabriel doing a two punch, and he have rode up to the wheel of Liam Stewart. You see the riders stretch out. You can see Nation is trying to come across. Also, it's Rosado making it across to the three lead riders and. Most of the riders are still here. The few that are chewed up and spit out are all the way at the back. So it's some 30 riders, I believe, still in the hunt. There's an attack again by who? No other than Shankad, no other than Shankad. Hitting the front to familiar territories. This is cross country territories. And there on the front is no other than Shankad. This is his backyard. Been joined by Nish Inisigiri, Justin Jr., Fernando Rosado. Young Renan Card, Liam Stewart, Young Goran Gabriel, Carlton Robinson, Greg Lovell, Kadeen Penello, Young Dijon Hyde, Young 
make it across. Giannina rides for, for Team Jagas. As, as we approach the village of Tikel, we run down and we run into the village of Tikel. So we are on our way to the infamous Mount Pope where we'll complete half leg of this event. But at this moment, I believe we have a headwind. So heading back will not be too bad. Um, we will have more like a tailwind. But definitely a lot of suffering. Among up, because if the G fans, um, the G4 fans want to go to Mungo because I know he's not reached all the way to Georgeville, so it turns out Mungo, hopefully they will be there cheering on their team. Like I said, this race is being sponsored by G4 and Kayo Cargo as we head towards Mungo folks today in the fifth running of the Jamaican Mungo Cycling Classic. And Carlton Robin said, you guys are going too slow, you guys are going too slow. And, and he hit the front, red number 19. Carlton Robin hit the front, doing some 28 miles an hour as we go down this run down. Carlton Robinson hit the front. He's been joined by Nishan Isigiri. Top in there is young Ryan Ankat here. He's doing strut. And the wheel of the is a tall figure of young Warren Gable. Here is Sean Cut. Here is um, Dustin June and a whole, whole bunch of riders line up behind the riders. Valvoline riders today, and there is young Eric Chop as he has received back his machine, and young Eric Chop have blown past them with a missile, he has blown past them, young Eric Chop in a top position as he's flying up the highway, Eric Chop flying up the highway right for a rest truck, he has intensified the space, there is Jocelyn Jr. trying to make it across, young Goran people have joined them with young Ryan and Kat as, as, um, as Eric takes a look back to see who have joined him, it's four riders up front, Eric Chop, young Goran Gabriel. Young Renan Kad and Justin and paying attention is the rest of it. Here comes Javin Gonzalez along with Carlton Robinson as these guys are hitting the pavement as we are through the cross country territory. There is young um, Carlton Robinson from um, West Rock hitting after prepare for the bomb. Yeah, young um, Carlton hitting them and Javin have moved up to the front. The tech del of course. Yes, Javin Gonzalez wearing number 39. This is his backyard. It's a uh, Carlton Robinson on the front being gone down by the young Renan Cut. There is Justin Juna, Javin Gonzalez, the next tall figure of, of young of young boy Juan Gabriel, Eric Trapp. And we are heading to, we are just passing through the village of Tikel, and it's all Carlton Robinson out front race number 19 rides for, for West Rock. And he is being gone down by the young guns of the G Flow. Team, young Ryan and Card closing the gap, and he has an attack by another. And it's Eric Chop again. Eric Chop hitting them hard with a baseball, but he's hitting them hard. Eric Chop out of his hand. He's driving that machine hard. He has opened a small gap. Let us see who will close that gap. It's young Eric Chop from West Truck. West Truck is hitting them left, right, and center. They are spilling oil all over the tarmac, folks. Riders have been chewed up and spit out like chewing gum. Yes, it's young Ryan and Card still on the front, looking focused, looking at his spray in front of him. It's no other than young Eric Chop. Up front, Eric Chop have opened a small gap, but Ryan and Kat is not panicking. He is just driving the pace, doing some 31 miles an hour. As we pass through the village of Tea Kettle, there is the sign right there. Tea Kettle in the background, and young Ryan and Kat closing the gap to young Eric Chop as we're heading towards what we used to call Brick Wall, the infamous Brick Wall tool, a little step. And it's young Ryan and Kat riding his way across to Eric Chop, who's looking back, and he was seeing that young Ryan and Kat is cranking it up and not panicking. Taking over his leader, that's young Ryan Cad. Big up to the Cad family. I said they produce some super athlete cyclists. Three brothers taking part in this event. Young Ryan and Cad, Roman Cad, and Sean Cad. All guys who ride awesome as young Ryan Cad have cl cl have closed back the gap. He have he have thrown over the fishing line. And here comes another West Truck who's trying. It's Carlton Robinson. The West Truck are throwing all over the highway. Carlton Robinson hit them. Carlton number 19 have hit them hard again. A small gap have opened up. And young Cad still on the front. Let us see who will make a chase. It's young Carlton Robinson wears number 19 as he hit them as we make our way around brick wall in cross country territory. Folks, in three weeks' time, this highway will be light up with cyclists and they will be hitting the pavement. There will be smithereens. There will be, there will be cyclists scattered like skittles all over the high mark, um, the tarmac. There will be riders spit out like. Use chewing gum. Yes, it's all Carlton Robinson.
is on the front. Uh, I, I think he, he slipped by, he, Carlton slipped by the radar. Um, he get on the plane without permission, and he has opened the gap, he has opened the gap, he has opened over 25 bicycle lengths and the bunch of riders, and it's young Carlton Robinson on the front as we make our way around brick wall. It's all Carlton Robinson wears number 19, a young kid driving on the front, pushing it hard, doing some 28 miles an hour all alone. Carlton Robinson, he's taking a look back to see who's coming, and the gap have opened up. Let us see if these guys will make it back to Carlton. When you went in on a single rider, you, you have great chest on back, but you know when it's a group, but Carlton Robertson feeling good today, maybe testing his legs for the upcoming whole Saturday cross country cycling race. Yes, folks. This is the fifth running of the Jamian Monk Hope Cycling Classic, folks. I hope you all are enjoying this race today. It's on the CFB page um, today um, as young Carlton Robinson up front. This is the Tekla Gold. Because he is leading the race, and we can look back and we can see the riders in the distance. The gap has opened up a little more. Let us see if Carlton will go all the way to Mongkok by himself, or he will be caught before we reach the infamous Mongkok here on the George Spice Highway in the fifth running of the Jamian Mongkok Cycling Classic, folks. A beautiful day, like I said. Next weekend, next weekend is the Ju is the Juna Cross Country. The Juna Cross Country. Hopefully we have quite a number of juniors. I know in the Belmont Pan you had 22 juniors, so that's that's good. At first it just be like only 10 or 15, uh, 10 or 12, but now 22 riders. And then the following week is the female cross country, and then the next Saturday is the big pole is Saturday cross country race. Let us see if the defending champion will return to defend his title, and he is a teammate of no other than our very own. Oscar Curious, they both rides for Miami Blazers. And so this is the first gap of the day. And it's young Carlton Robinson as we pass in front of Warrior Head. And this beautiful highway, George Price Highway. It's all Carlton Robinson out front. They have hit them with a baseball bat. And he's out front. He's focused. He's looking on the highway and just riding some 21 miles an hour. He takes a look back way to see where they are. And if I turn my camera, you can see the riders way in the distance. Will he be caught or will he be left out here to fry for a while to burn out his oil? He used that probe oil, oil in his machine. And it's young, young Carlton Robinson as we head towards Antaro Village. Tune in. Thank you guys for tuning as fans cheer, wine on the glass, and cheer the cyclists on. This is young Carlton Robinson out front, and we can see a lone rider broke away from that field at the back trying to chase the wheel of Carlton, but it's still Carlton out front. He takes a look back way to see where the riders are as he continues to ride some 21.5 miles an hour. It's all Carlton Robinson riding for West Truck as he makes his way, as he makes his way. Towards Monk Hope, the halfway point of this race. Like I said, a long day in the saddle. I spent a long day here on this motorcycle with my driver, Mr. Banks, who is making sure that I am well taken care of. Mal, meet a guy with a mal, do some push ups, so keep the so call this, um, this gadget up for countless hours. It's not an easy task for us. Anybody I could give this and come out here, I make all kind of things so uh, to help me along as I traverse this highway holding up this gadget in my hand, hopefully down the road to get uh, some kind of equipment a better things we can look about. So now do my best to keep you guys in tune, keep you guys live. Like I, I said, this beautiful garment meter I have here is donated to me by more than Mr. Lincoln Phillips out of New Hampshire, the man, the family behind the great Alfred Parks Memorial Race that went just over a month ago. We want to big up that family. They continue to support cycling. 
we can take them to give prize. And as a return, so we want to big them up the entire Alfred Fox Memorial family, Miss Rita here in Belize, and her entire family who, you know, are cycling lovers. Like I said, yeah, are the fans, the fans on the side supporting. And it's all Carlton Robinson up front. It's all Carlton Robinson up front. And the gap seems that it's closing. The gap is closing. I can see the riders in the distance. But it's still all Carlton Robinson up front riding for West Jockey, dancing on his pedal. And looking back to see where the riders are. See, they are closing the gap with every pedal stroke. They are closing the gap to young Carlton Robinson. And let's we'll see if there will be another attack from one of the West Chuck riders. But we can see the riders coming in distance. I can see the jersey of a fall rider. Let me see if that's um, Jocelyn or it's V12. Let me see who the rider as they approach us. And it's no other than Sherwin Roca V12 along with Sean Cad, Sean Cad and V12, you know, trying to ride away across there is Nation Isigiri coming in our frame. Good morning, my beautiful wife, Deborah Ardones watching. Thank you for always allowing me to, to come out here to provide excitement. My wife is my rock. She, she takes care of me, my every needs. So I want to give her kudos. She's the one that is uh, responsible to make you guys see this thing because you know she allows me to promote every time. So thank you, my beautiful wife at home. She's probably watching, making some delicious food for when I return. As we approach, just approaching Antaro village here, Dustin Jr. have attacked out after the um, Dustin Jr. have attacked out of that group and trying to close the wheel of young Carlton Robinson. Justin Jr. as he rides his way across to the wheel. Kaboom training, kaboom training on the highway, Herman Rekena training on the highway, just passed in the opposite direction. And, and Chav Jr. have made it across to young Carlton Robinson. He have made it across to young Carlton Robinson. And the main, the main field of riders just in the distance. So, like I said, these guys have not escaped yet. They still got to go playing ticket before they sit in their seat, as this is a they are in a no-fly zone right now. Here comes Nation Isigiri. Nation Isigiri coming across. Lead by Cello. And the, the man where they control, the man where they, where they, where they hold, the, the man where the security today is Javin Gonzalez. He's making sure that they won't escape. So Javin Gonzalez, he is the key security there to allow nobody to get on that plane to fly away. And here he comes here. There's no other than Javin Gonzalez. The security, as he closed the gap to the riders and he's taking them off the plane. There is no way you're going to take kind of off this flight today without me, without my permission. But Jocelyn and, and um, Carlton is still trying to stay on the flight and driving, send his younger bodyguard, his younger security, young Rin and Kato, to grab, the, they, they grab these guys, grab the door so that they don't close the door to get and sit in their seat. There is young Rin and on the front. He have closed. The gap is on the front. They have caught up to Carlton Robinson. It's young Rain and Card on the front. Miss Jennifer, the team looking good. The G Flow guys have come out to play today. They have come out to represent the G Flow cycling team. Big up Mr. Glenn Flowers, the man behind the race, the man behind the team, the man behind this motorcycle. Big up Mr. Glenn Flowers, the man always support, put his money where his mouth is. We want to big him up, showing the love for the sport of cycling. So the bunch have come back together. There is young Goran Gabriel. There is young Gian Nina looking good as the, the pace have slowed to 17 miles an hour, 17 miles an hour, the government is saying. There is Liam Stewart stretching his back and all the riders have come there. We are in the village of Blackman Eddy. We're in the village of Blackman Eddy. So we are not too far from the infamous monk up there is Blackman Eddy. In the background, it's Fernando Rosado on the front, followed by young Goran, uh, young by young um, Renan Kad. Here comes uh, Baron Pope speaking to his teammate, Baron Pope, on the front. Move up to the front, Baron Pope, move up to the front. And there's a sneak attack on the outside by no other than young Eric Chop. Young Eric Chop, 
sneak up on the side and young and young, young um young Reynard seen the move, Dustin seen the move, uh, they, uh, I think young Eric Chop they tried to jump on the plane without nobody see, but the guys in Sian and they close back the gap. <laughs> young Eric Chop hitting them, the man jump off for the thing straight past the security and trying to jump on that plane, but he's not he's 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 a flight risk, so he will be caught by the security and you know taken back off the tarmac and he's been caught young Eric Chop have been caught and, and the front is no other than young Wayne and Cud along with Justin Jr. Here goes Bob Gabriel riding a huge monster gear Bob Gabriel a huge monster gear we are not too far from Mongolia heading towards along the whole here that takes you to Spanish lookout should be right here, heading towards the, from the boat here, at the entrance of the Spanish Report, huge construction going on, gas yeah, station. Go around the wrong boat. Here comes Bob Gable on the front. It's got Bob Gable on the front, so we're not too far from the infamous Monk Hope. It's all Bob Gable on the front, Bob Gable on the front, all alone as he passes us. Bob Gabriel on the front. Let us see who's coming there. Here comes Liam Stewart, followed by young Goran, uh, young um, um, young Reynard, followed by, by Fernando, followed by Nishin Isiki, Gianlino, Greg Lovell, Goran Gabriel. Um, so we so Bangs like Alicia, but can we move up to um, um, to Baban to Tapa Mongko? I see the riders come there. So um, we just decide the riders, Alicia is back here, so we move up. There's Bob Gabriel on the front. Got, got Bob the front there. Bob Gabriel on the front driving it. Let us see if Bob will, will, will crest the top of the infamous Monkopia just about a mile. We can see the lower slopes of the Monkop just in the descent. So we are just about to reach a halfway point of this event, folks. We're just about to reach a halfway point of this event. The infamous Monkop just in the distance. It's all Bob Gable on the front, all Bob Gable on the front looking back as he's in a top position. You are you, um, rider number 77, riding for culture slash SPD. He's looking good. He's a master rider. And this guy definitely is a tough. He had a nasty broken collarbone some, some while back when he was racing. And he have returned to his bicycle and he's doing awesome. As you can see, Monk Pope right in the distance, the infamous Monk Pope. You know, look the bad fan camera, but there are the fans. If the, the Monk Hope is lined with fans, the Monk Hope is lined with fans. As Bob Gabriel making his way, looking back, you don't see anyone, but it's all, Monk, all, all Bob Gabriel. As we can see, the fans line the Monk Hope as we are on this, the, the lower slope of Monk Hope. This, it doesn't seem high, but it hurts a leg. It will break a leg. Um, we could go all the way to the top. Uh, I'm watching Kong. Uh, and it's um, Bob Gabriel out of his saddle, Bob Gabriel out of his saddle. As he makes his way up the infamous Monk Hope, you can hear the song of the engine. So you know the climb is steep. We look back and we see the riders coming, but it's all Bob Gable. I guess he will make it to the top um, at the turning point, and he will lead. He will be the first rider to the top and make the turn around here on the infamous Monk Hope. As we see fans lining in Monk Hope, it's all Bob Gable. As you look back, we're looking back, we can see the main field, and it's Bob Gable as he doing some 13 miles an hour. Here are the fans on the side cheering on the riders. All the riders here, here are the fans cheering. There's Bob Gabel, they're cheering on Bob Gabel. There is young, um, the riders cheering on. All the fans on the side cheering on. So that's the halfway point. In a short while, Bob will reach the halfway point. We are almost at the halfway point here. So that's the turning point. The official is there. So tell the riders turn there comes the turning point, the halfway point. Bob Gable, the first rider, the first rider, the first rider to make it here at the halfway point. Yeah, it's Mr. Lennox Spence, one of our big supporters of Lennox Spence. And we await other riders. We await other riders. Here comes here comes um, Sean Card. Here comes Sean Card as he makes his way around the turning point. Here's the official Sean Card. Along with Wasani Castro, here comes uh, Jocelyn Jr. 
Here comes Carlton Robinson, Renan Cad, Fernando Rosada, Young Guran Gabriel, Caden Pinello, Davin Gonzalez, Dijan, Dijan, um, um, Dijan Byron Pope, Liam Stewart, um, Brandon Morgan, Hollister Baptist, Alana Will Jr., a whole heap of riders, uh, more riders coming, Smokes Gladden, um, Dwight Lopez, here comes, um, here comes Eric Trapp and, um, and Sherwin Pess, um, Sherman Thomas. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Lennox, Lennox Spence, one of our big time supporters, Lennox Spence out here. And there's the fans on the side waving on. There's the fans. See Mr. Siri, let us know as we make our way back towards the race. Young um, Gerson just off the back here, young Gerson riding for, young Gerson riding for, for two levels as we make our way down the infamous map of the meter. He's saying we are doing some 50 miles an hour down this, this um, trying to get back to the riders. They are completely half the distance. Uh, there's no one I'm going to see who's coming. We'll get some riders who have been left behind, have chewed up and spit out. There is young Christopher Wade. Something must have what happened. Young Christopher Wade is all the way back. Um, as he head towards the halfway point, we have met up on Eric Chop and we can see the riders stretch over the time of folks. We see, I can see the riders all stretch out over the time of folks. I see the main field of riders just in the distance. We are coming up and young Eric Chop. We two traffic heading back. So the tech fell of course at the front of the race. Here comes Eric Chop. I'm not sure if he had a mechanical again, but um he's still on his original machine. Here is a group of riders all the way at the back. All the way at the back. I can see the um, VV there, I can see Ramon Car there. I see some other riders. There's no way they will make it back with the tech fell of course at the front of the race. We are just there beside young Eric Chop. Passing young Eric Chop, we are heading back to the main field of riders and get to some names again, like I said. Today is the fifth running after Jamin Mongkok Cycling Classic sponsored by Kaya Cargo and G Flow, along with the CFB, DG, MM Engineering. And here, young Eric Chop had to go on the sidewalk as the vehicle made up on the highway. And Eric is riding his way back to that group of riders. Young Eric Chop just passed us. We're number 22 riding for, for, um, West Shop as he makes his way back towards the main group of riders. Get one, get one, get one, get one, get two. As we make our way back to the tech that are of course. Somewhere around about 20 riders. We can see riders just off the front. We can see riders just off the front. We are here with the main group. We are there with the peloton, as it's been called. I can see Pess at the back there. That's Sherman Thomas. I can see Smokes Dan. I can see young, young Elwin Humes. I can see uh, Joe White Lopez. I can see Greg Lovell. I can see young Dijan. Um, as we move along, I'll give you some more names. I can see, as we make our way up this, um, Greg Lovell there. I can see Hollister Baptist. I can see um, e Ewan, Donald Morgan, D12. On the front is Byron Pope. Here comes uh, Richard Santiago, young um, Goran Gabriel. He changes Gary. Here comes Dijan Hyde passing us. As Pope giving signal to Rosado to cover those back. Rosado out of his saddle, biting his teeth, but hitting the camera card. And these guys, whenever they see the camera, for some reason they get fired up. We can see the riders up front. That I can see that it looks like the riding style of um, Sean Cad, Jocelyn Jr. And Wasani Castro, I believe those are the guys. I'm not sure if anyone is up front more. Yes, I can see a rider out front. I think well, that's Bob Gibbon. I should have got Erson Butler, Erson Butler, and when in the pass, heading in the direction, Elton Butler. We're here with the main field of riders. There is Liam Short on the front. And more guys up front. There's Richard Santiago, Richard Santiago. Out of his saddle and trying to keep chase the gap. That Alicia the front, right, Banks? That Alicia the front? That Alicia, that Alicia the cover the front, right? All right, okay, cool. Yeah, so we are here with the main field of riders. So Alicia the cover the front. Um, 
We are here with the main, uh, the, the PS, the, the, this group is being driven by no other than Richard Santiago, young um, Warren Gable out of his saddle now, trying to, to chase the wheel of um, the three riders just up front. I think that is what Sandy Castro, um, Jocelyn Jr., and Sean Cudd. And these guys have, three guys have broken away from the main field of riders that's young Warren Gable, that's um, Javin Gonzalez and Carlton Robinson, I believe. Yes, they have broken away. Silverback is having none of it. Here, pass, here has passing us is Ryan, Ryan Bradley, just passing us. And young Goran Gable is closing his way back with every pedal stroke. He's been followed by the, 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 the head of security, um, Javin Gonzalez, who told these guys, you not allow on that plane and just fly away. I have to be on that flight along with you to make sure I. Um, the head of security to make sure everything goes right, and they have made it back to the three riders, Youngbo and Gable chasing back. So it's six riders, and just up front is a one lead rider. That's Bob Gable. So we have two G Floor rider, we have two um, West Rock rider, a Fall, a Kano, and up front is a um, a um, Ultra SP, um, SP, um, SPD. So Alicia is that front group. We, we stay back here with the main group. Alicia is covering that front group. Here comes the main field at the back. Here comes young Henry Lee. Young Henry Lee. Henry Lee being joined by young Wayne and Cad as they are trying to close back the gap. And the, the lead race, lead of the race, it's Henry Lee closing the way, closing the gap. He's asking for help. There is Cello. There is Brandon Morgan. There is Kaden Penelo. Here comes Hollister Baptist. Here comes Fernando Rosado. Here comes Liam Stewart, Nation Isigiri, young Alana Will Jr. Big up young Alana Will Jr. doing his thing. There is Richard Santiago. There is young Dijon Hyde. B12, Sherwin Roca. What you got? What you bump? Okay. Um, Dwight Lopez, um, um, Baron Pope, D Wade, young Elwin Humes. Best smokes button and Greg Lovell. So the race have blown to smithereens, folks. A lot of riders have been chewed up and spit out like a huge chewing gum. D, that's your phrase, D. Yes, they've been chewed up and spit out like some huge chewing gum. They are all the way off the back. There's no way these guys will make it back. This is where the winner will come from. This is the tech that, of course, the main, this is the front of the group. Um, this main. The group have almost catch up to the seven riders up front. They are just um, in front there is Brandon Morgan out of his saddle, driving it hard to close the gap on the six lead riders. Yes, so it's all, it will be all back together in a short while. And it's seven riders just up front, Chav trying to close that gap, but the guys still have a few bicycle lengths on them. I can see the young man, Elston Martins, on the side of the road. I'm not sure if he had a mechanical or something, but um, he's out of the race. Servicing on the front, Liam Stewart seeing the danger, seeing that he can make it back. And Liam Stewart on the front driving it some 29 miles an hour, being followed by Nishan Isigura. There is Fernando Rosado. There is um, Chelo, Richard Santiago. They are trying to close the gap. Liam is doing all on his own. He's asking for no help. Liam, the master, where is number 87, closing the gap with every pedal stroke to the, to, the, to the seven lead riders. And they are about to make contact. They are about to make contact. Okay, so the official is saying low, the um, traffic to pass, asking us to pull on the side. And these guys have come across to the lead group. They have come across, and the whole race is back together, folks. It's back together. It's one huge race. It's back together. There's Jivin. There's young Alana Will Jr. doing an awesome job. And all the riders are making it back to the Tech de la Course, the front of the race. It's Wasani on the front, and they are. I'll stretch out on the tarmac in the fifth running of the Jamin Monko Classic. Yeah, that is Richard Santiago. There is young Dijan Hyde. As we make our way towards Big Wall.
guys are stepping up at the charging so others about the Irish I can't take off the helmet the bobbing out now coming back this morning yeah it's one of my gun as you see seen the danger small gap have been open up on all the riders are together Dean Stewart nice high cadence as we make our way around a curve or what we call brick wall heading back as the halfway Point we head back towards the city where the race started. We finish at Leslie's in quotes, but we still a long way from the finishing of this event, folks. Long way on the front driving it is no other than Liam Schwartz, the master rider on the front driving it. As we see our security forces on the side, the BDF as we pass the BDF. Yeah, we pass on. See how the hill cut down is uh, what we call Bikwal. And here comes Richard Santiago. Richard Santiago attacking here is Baron Pope on the front. Baron Pope on the front attacking. He's been marked by no other than Justin Jr. The top mark, they are stretched out. They don't want to be spit out like used to in gum. So they are stretched out. They are, they are hanging on. They're hanging on. It is Baron Pope on the front driving. Baron Pope on the front driving up. Um, you can see uh, Javin Gonzalez paying keen attention, Dustin Juno paying keen attention, Richard Santiago, Henry Lee, Bob Gabel, Young Boran Gabel, Ishin Isigiri. The first prize heading back is at uh, the Old Man Hill, they call it. Liam on the front driving the pace is still Liam on the front driving the pace, followed by Nation Isigiri, Carlton Robinson, Sean Card, Jocelyn Jr., Dijan Hyde, V12, Young, Alana Will Jr., Fernando Rosado, Bob Gable. Kevin Gonzalez, the tall figure of Gorian Gabriel, Dwight Lopez, the next master here. There is uh, Cello, there is Henry Lee, Baron Pope. They are all Baron Pope. They eat some food, so he makes sure things are up. So if you look on the guys, my guys both to the chew and they have to eat. If you not eat, they will suffer at the end. The niche is the as we pass inside the cyclist. And the front driving is Kaden Penelo, rider number 107, rides for, rides for Tano. Back out of New York, Ruben Rock, a big supporter of cyclists. Cycling, always give the prize. Big up, Ruben Rock. Hope you are enjoying the race. Guys, prepare. This is the final test for the upcoming goal. It's such a day cross country race. After this race, these guys will know where they stand, how their legs feel. As we talk about the front, I've just returned, but he's riding awesome. As we are passing through the village of Tea Kettle, we are passing through the village of Tea Kettle. And I think there's a prize on the top. There's a prize on the top of this climb. And the prize is being given by. M&M's Engineering, so $50 cash prize by m and Engineering. We're just behind, beside the cyclist. That's Liam Stewart on the front, followed by Carlton Robinson, V12. But I'm going to detail correctly, because some people understand what a V12, V12, a Sharon Roca, Richie, um, Fernando Rosado, Sean Khan, looking smooth, Sean Khan, look very, very, very settled on his bike. No signs of, like, you know, no signs of expression show that he's under any kind of pressure. Shankar looking smooth there is Goran, concentrated. There is Jocelyn Jr. There is Cello. There is um, Smokes Gladden. We are doing some 90.5 miles an hour as we, as we are climbing up this little incline here. Who will win the prize here? The prize has been given, like I said, no other than uh, m and a $50 prize given by m and Engineering. Still on the front driving it is Liam Stewart, followed by Carlton Robinson, Sean Cad, Fernando Rosado, 
Jocelyn Junior, Goran Gabriel, Cello, and he'll see chewing away at something. There comes smokes down his eye fixated. There is um, when he eating an apple, um, nation eating an apple, he has smokes pull up the other side and step up the pace. As he step up the pace, Justin Jr. seeing that move. Immediately, Justin Jr. on the wheel of smokes land as Carlton Robin still continue to on that pace. And a small gap open up to the two riders, smokes Gladden and Justin Jr. Let us see who will take a prize. That prize. There's Baron Pope, Baron Pope, Baron Pope. Oh. Uh, they are blowing them to tell him to keep on the right hand side. The riders need to keep on the right hand side. Baron Pope closing the gap to the two lead riders. Baron Pope closing the gap to the two lead riders. And I believe there's a prize should be at the top of this climb. That's what's Mark and the thing Baron Pope and Young Win and Cutter have joined back the two riders. As we make our way up, we call Old Man Hill. It's a gradual climb up from Tikettle village into Kamalote. So we can see the riders right in the distance, folks. Running off the Jamaican Monk Hope Cycling Classic, some 120 miles of suffering. Legs will be screaming. Yeah, I can see the officials. I think I believe I can see the official waving his flag just up front as the riders come into frame. Yes, there's the official with the, the flag. Let us see. It's Smokes Gladden, Smokes Gladden, who have passed us. Smokes Gladden, let us see. If Smokes Gladden drive for me for that prize, Smokes, let me see if Smokes will get it. If, if um, when he will grab that prize, it's Smokes Gladden, it's Smokes Gladden, it's Smokes Gladden, it's Smokes Gladden. I think Smokes Gladden got that prize away from um, Justin Jr. Smokes Gladden got the prize. Here comes Fernando Rosado along with Rain and Cut. As we are approaching Kamal, we are in the village of Kamalote. We are in the village of Kamalote, so we're heading back, back towards Rolling Creek. We're heading back towards Rolling Creek, out front. No other than Jocelyn Jr. and Smokestan coming up here is young Rain and Cad and Fernando Rosado. And a small gap back to the main field, young Cad. The Cads never show expression of suffering. They always look in their faces, they always look focused as young Fernando driving it, trying to close back the gap to the two lead riders. Here, the two lead riders, the likes of the master Smokes Gladden and Smokes Gladden and um, <laughs> Justin Jr. Through the village of Kamalote, we see some riders stringing on the highway. Let me see who those riders are. I can see young Devin Asweta. I can see other riders giving a sweater training there. Here comes, here comes um, Justin on the front, Justin on the front. I see Mr. Mark on the side there yeah, is Smokes. Then I'm just behind the two riders coming across. Here yeah, the fans cheering on the riders as we pass through the village of Kamalote, heading towards Rolling Creek. It's Smokes on the front doing some 26.6 miles an hour. Smokes and there are the fans on the side with the pouch water, giving the riders at their speed. They have to run because they, they miss those um the drop. There are more more fans giving the riders. See the young lady, the smart she she run and so and Chav was able to get that 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 bag water. He sprays himself, keeps himself cool. And the two riders have made it across. Fernando have made it across along with young Rain and Cardi have made it across. So it's four riders up front, four riders in the lead of the race. Say that Sean Card for the win today is solo. Okay, that's his prediction. Let us see who the be on the front driving the pace is no other than Fernando Rosado taking over his young Rain and Card as fans. There's the fans on the side waving on the riders as we make our way through the village of Pamlote. So huge sleeping policeman and the tarmac here as we head back towards Rowan Creek. Fans are out cheering on the riders. There are the fans as they cheer on the riders. It's four lead riders up front. Justin Jr. driving it, doing some 30 miles an hour on the front. 
followed by Fernando Rosado, followed by Young, by Young Win and Cad and Smokes Gladden. So these are the four. This is the Tech de la Cruz, the front of the race. And take a look back where there's a little gap. And so they, they are communicating and they are driving. They are, they are, they are sharing the pace like a well-oiled chain today. Sharing the pace. The four lead riders as we head into the rolling. Quick. They're here with the four lead riders. Smokes, Gladden, Dustin, Jr. Green and Card and Fernando Rosado as they all get in service from the neutral vehicle. The neutral vehicle, that's the vehicle that provide the riders. That's a neutral vehicle. So when you mean by neutral vehicle, they service anyone. So normally, because the gap is not far and too far, um, the service vehicle of each team can make it over here until a certain gap. So in the meantime, they provide service for all the riders, give them um, water or whatever is in the vehicle. At this moment, they are handing out pouch water to the red as the smoke sticking on too and they are spraying it all over themselves. Keep them cool. There's Justin you know, handing over his bottle. They will fill his bottle and return it to him. There is Fernando receiving two, two pouch water too. So when they're up front, they get a get good service. There is Mr. Wilhelm Owe Senior you know, handing out pouch water. As we are approaching really quick, they fill the bottle. I can see Erwin on the side there training Erwin. Milton rides for Iman is on the side training. So Helen Ramkam is saying G flow, G flow for the win today too. As we are almost in the village of Rooney Creek, I can see a jersey that has the jersey of Herman Rickenna training on the highway. Kaboom training on the highway. These guys are about to catch up to him. The heat is coming down here. Are the shepherds here? Are the shepherds brothers? Rodney. Waving at the cyclists as we are headed into Rooney Creek. It's Al Chavaria on the front, Jocelyn Jr. on the front, followed by Fernan, Fernando Rosado, young, going here, a young, um, young, green and card, and Smokes Gladden. Driving on the front, Jocelyn driving on the front as we make our way through Rooney Creek there. Is young David Tarabad servicing his rider for Nando Rosado and he had a lead. Yeah, he had a fans. There's another prize that's been given at Eddie and Banks Memorial site. Yep, so next station prize come up mile 41. We are here with the four lead riders heading into Rolling Creek. The pace is being driven by no other than Jocelyn Jr., the son of the great Jocelyn Sr., baby Chav, the two sisters that ride, Patricia and Parlita, the Chavaria family, a family of cyclists who always light up the tarmac, making it exciting. Now we have young, more young Chavarias coming out. One day is a lot of them sadly. So, uh, big up the Chavaria family, I said, Jocelyn. Got some young junior riders coming out as we run down the run down into Rooney Creek and then we head on to Belize to make a way along the wrong boat as we head towards the wrong to Rooney Creek. It's still the four lead riders up front. There is young party that training on the highway, young party that they just up out there and just passed by the highway training for her event coming up with team across country in two weeks' time next weekend. It is the green across country as we approach the Garbats gas station. It's the four riders out front, Smokes Land in the front, followed by Jocelyn Jr., Fernando Rosado, Young, Goran Nibel, and folks, it's not over. Riders are coming across. Here comes V12. Here comes Sharon Roca, along with Lynn Schwartz, Byron Pope. They have come across. They have joined the ranks. So it's seven riders now. Seven riders. Another um, West Truck rider have come across. So you have two Fall riders, two West Truck rider, a G Flow rider, a Culture SPD slash, and an Attach rider in Liam Stewart. They have come across, and we can see more riders coming across. You can see more riders coming across. But now it's seven riders strong, seven riders strong, as you make a left turn around the wrong boat and head towards the city. So we head east into this Jamie. Fifth run of the Jamian.
Imanis. Here comes Greg Lovell. Here comes um, Kaden Penelo. So more riders have come across. Let me see who all have come across. We have um, Sean Cad is here. Greg Lovell is here. Richard Santiago is here. So we have the it have swelled to over 10 riders. They have swelled to over 20 riders up front, making our way. We just make our way around the around the boat here in Rolling Creek, heading towards the airstrip, the Hector Silver airstrip here, and the Judge Fire Service. So we head east. Folks, the heat is coming now. I can feel the heat. It's kind of humid, but very hot. The riders are dousing themselves with water, keeping cool. Look at young, young Reynard. Hey, man, say hot. <laughs> man, say hot. And the front is no other than Richard Santiago driving the pace as we head up this little incline and onto in front of the airstrip, yeah, the Hector Silver airstrip, yeah, being taken over the, the pace, followed by Baron Pope, followed by Fernando Rosado. Liam on the front, still Liam Stewart on the front, driving the PS, doing some 23 miles an hour. Liam Stewart riding his Cervelo machine, followed by Byron Pope, his teammate, Fernando Rosado. The big V12, Jocelyn Jr., Smokes Gladden, and the other riders in this group as we make up this little incline and, and pass in, in front of the Hector Silver airstrip here in the Belmont area. Folks, you want to big up? Kayo Cargo, your shipping and online service. We offer a wide range of service to meet your shipping needs for reliable service you can always depend on us call us today so we are here with lead riders and you can see more riders coming across we get names as soon as they come across um, see fans line in the highway at the intersection of the judge price boulevard It's all Liam driving on the front, followed by Baron Pope, followed by Fernando Rosada, as we see riders on the side looking on on the event. As we head towards yeah, the policeman there, the fans cheering on. Oh, something I'm to drive in. Yes, Mr. Yeah, yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Dr. Kass, Mr. Kass, yeah. We got the man who showed me up. Yes, um, something I'm to drive in by because I see um the teammate of um I see um, Tevin Chaplin, Tevin Chaplin um having drive in a main bike, so he probably had a mechanical a flat or something and he had to change machine, but he'll be back on his main machine. The front is being driven by no other than uh, Richard Santiago, who who is waving on the guys who is telling him, let's go, Richard Santiago. Waving his hand and telling them, let's go. Um, taking over the pace is Fernando Rosado. Here comes um, Liam. <laughs> uh, this could be funny. The man saying, but that train come for what? You know, uh, PS? <laughs> uh, but then, but they have the thing, Richard. If that's your opinion of those guys. Oh, wonderful. Uh, so, on the front is Liam. Taking over is Fernando Rosado. There is uh, Liam. And the V12 Sharon Rook, uh, Smokes Platin, Sean Cad, Kidding Penelo, Richard Santiago, Aaron Pope, Henry Lee, Greg Lovell. Here's Sean Cad on the front picking up the pace, Sean Cad doing some, still doing some 28 miles an hour. Sean Cad on the front taking over. Is Kaden Penelo, Richard Santiago, give it up to like 20 miles, 20, 29 miles an hour. Here comes young Henry Lee, 
12 and these guys have decided that we will work together. Miss Jennifer say, silver backup problem again. Uh, Miss Jennifer, I see your son, he man, man fancy bike. I'm going to say, um, Kevin had it, so he looked like, and maybe he had a flat and change the tube and, um, and replace batteries. He have one of the nice, the new bike where have all these brakes, electronics, so that have to use a special wheel. You can't use any wheel. It's not like the old days. These machines are high tech. They use special wheels, special stuff. So um, when, when they get the machines, they get flat. You have to make sure you put on the correct thing, but just can't put like the old time, put on any wheel. But it's Greg Lovell driving on the front. You see um, Windell Vernon on the front. He probably abandoned the race, maybe had some kind of issues, but it's Greg Lovell on the front. Greg Lovell on the front, open a small gap on the riders. Um, <laughs> Richard Sander, where the man is well from? Well, Joseph Pala said, why he told like overlap wheel? I think you never pay attention Pala and, and lean pull off the, the PS sudden. On the front, here comes Henry Lee on the front, and they try to reach him on the messages. I have the lead, I have the lead, few say, well, not few, but the lead discussion. Because they try to tell Baron Pope, make writers go in front, Baron Pope say he need to do what he feel like. He have numbers, he feel in a shape. On the front, uh, Liam the drive, Liam Schwartz driving the PS, the master driving the PS, followed by Fernando Rosado, Henry Lee, Sean Cad, Smokes Glad, Sherwin Walker V12, Bob Gabriel, Jean Hyde, Greg Lovell, um, Renan Cad, Baron Pope, and I can see the back there, Justin Jr. Who are Palace? Who have today? Who you pick today? Who you got for the big double lot of the pal? Make your prediction. Edmund Kamal, Edmund Kamal say he have he have Sean Cad solo in for the for the for the win. But Sean is looking smooth as he pays attention. I know Sean Cad hit the um, data down down the road. We just out of the somewhere around mile forty six here on the Judge uh, Price Highway. Mr. Jennifer said, all the way. Shots fired. <laughs> Heading back towards the city in the fifth annual Jamin Monko Classic. Some 120 miles, like I said, this is the final test for the guys to see where their legs, where, where their legs are, how they stand for the upcoming all such a cross country coming up in a few. Like I said, I want to big up Mr. Anthony Mala. Man stopped by the bike shop yesterday. And um, the man said himself and the DTB will give a $10,000 cash prize for the winner, along with $5,000 station prize. Yes, I repeat, a $10,000 cash prize for the winner and five. $1,000 station price. So you don't know the foreign invaders will listen to this and these guys will hit the term up like crazy come holy such day. Yeah. A lot of fireworks will be on the term up for those great prizes. Uh, like I tell you, my, um, my nephew called me and he said he will send money also for Agway with my, my boy Opals. So, so Palace is set out that Kopi and win back to back. Let, let us see. Palace said Kopi going back to back. Yes, uh, my nephew there um, sent in a nice money to give nice prizes to station prizes. So, the hey, Erdunas, the hey, Jamil Van Weaver family, Marta, Marta Watla, Ota Kingman, you know, um, they have about four station prizes of $250 a piece. So, some guys are full in the kitty. Also, um, the guys from, the guys from, um, they don't give me a prize to give the Federation. They give a $50 station prize from the Princess Margaret Drive Taxi Association. They don't give me a, a $50, they put that in an envelope, drop it off at the bike shop, and hand it over to 
the president of this CFP. So Nico put his people name on the list of this and prize comes up. Now I'm sure I think we will give the prizes for uh, from the Arduino school, I guess two prizes, one going and one coming definitely at mile nine. So I put it in at mile nine where the from the farm is and then maybe give at maybe mile twenty five going and coming back out. We'll work on that. And I'm not sure what part the one thousand dollars prize will be given by Mr. the annual Anthony Mala and the BTB who is supporting cycling big time. And again, kudos we want this upcoming whole such a cross country will be a blast, will be a one, I don't know, thousands or thousands of fun will be stay in tune. I know the guys from PMA will be in the leads to take part in the race, the whole such a cross country race been running from 1928. We are closely approaching 100 years of racing. So with about five, and about five years, because it's 2023, and we need like five more to make it 100. So this year we'll make 23, and then we have five more years to make it centric. So I don't know if that time for the still on the ride bike. And the front is no other than Byron Cope as you run down into the, the, the village of Cotton Tree. The rider still out front, Byron Cope on the front, followed by no other than Justin Chavaria. Fernando Rosada, young, young Wayne and Cut, the master there, Bob Gabriel, Lee Short, B12, Sherwin Roker, driving that new Huntsman, the Monsagia. But I have to give um, B12 a, a, a props to the man just returned to bike and the man they ride pretty good. So I have to give B12 a props. The man strong. So I just return the man they ride excellent. Up a bit. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. So it's um Fernando on the front, followed by Young Green and Card. Here comes the master himself, Liam Stewart. Liam Stewart on the front in the fifth running of the Jermaine Mount Cope Cycling Classic sponsored by Yannick Avan Tailwind because see the um for the trees in the door. Yes the fifth running of the Jermaine Mount Cope Cycling Classic some hundred and twenty miles and the heat is on but the guys have like a tailwind so um it's much better than when you're done your legs don't tire your lungs are scream it's much better to have a tailwind and right into the headwind up and so far so actually a tailwind you could look at the trees and you could see the in a blow in a direction. So the guys have a tailwind, they are doing some 24 miles an hour. So that do tell you that um, they have a tailwind because normally they won't ride that speed in the headwind. The front coming out the front is no other than Bob Gabriel taking over the pace. It is young Dijon Hyde riding for rolling shutters. There is young Fernando Rosado, young Win and Card. Moving up to the front is no other than Justin Jr., Henry Lee. And it's so as we cross the bump here in Patton Tree. So Javin Gonzalez is back. The heavy security have returned and his beautiful machine that are the beautiful machine I tell about. So that this brakes are used through axle, hydraulic brakes, then by get a high tech now bike like I was seeing the fronts. Uh, and more riders have come across. I see young um I see young Alana Will Jr. there. Some more riders have come across. It's up swell. These are the main group of riders. This is a tech that are the front of the race. Another prize coming up is at uh, the other prize coming up is at uh, mile 12. Site in the world site for um, Edison Usher and Banks. So um, Justin Jr. just off the front hitting me. The pavement, Justin, just after front hitting the pavement, he's been followed by more than Fernando Rosado, Liam Short, but in a whole bunch of riders at the back. Liam Short on the front driving it some 24 miles an hour, just in towards mile 42. Thanks again, it's that they are. 
So we had but we had we had we had to watch the we had to watch the memorial site for Eddie and Banks and we have a chance of drinks on liquid. So we had to watch, you can see the official in the distance at the site of Bolivia. Yeah, that's the site coming up right there. So there's the official shortly we see the weather that's coming to get yeah, here at the site where another prize will be given. We'll look right here at the site. Who will get a prize? Let me see. It's Jocelyn Jr. Jocelyn Jr. getting a prize. Jocelyn Jr. getting a prize. There, yeah, here comes the riders. Let's see, fly. Pass us folks what the speed when we're going and let's stretch off like stretching guts. Police come up, Minimata, the school come up. Huh? <laughs> What come up, man? What come up, man? No, slap this on me. Oh. <laughs> Chop way off the back, Eric chop way off the back, something uh and want to my feet. So come to all them the attacks we make. So we chop all the way off the back as we make our way from the memorial site. We head back to the tech de la course. I think Alicia the front to cover that part of the the race. No? Um, we make our way back. We leave the memorial site for our brothers there, Edison Usher and Kardin Bangs. Who are I you know are looking down and cheering on the race and praying for a safe return to the city. In the fifth running of the Ernest Damien Main Memorial is there is young Eutrop, young Eutrop, all the way at the back books. Stop a hand and leave food and a little drink. So we head back to the technical post. Thank you guys for joining the live today. Wanna pick up all the fans tuning in. It's a beautiful event. It's what it's three weeks away from the whole it's actually a sponsored cycle race. The big monster coming up in two weeks time, like, like I said, I wanna pick up with the Anthony Camina of the Hannibal, Anthony Mahala, and the people who are providing Providing a huge cash prize for the upcoming school today, he said first place will be ten thousand dollars first place, and there will be five 
$1,000 station price along the highway. You know what it will cause? That will cause some serious fireworks. So I'm to Eric. Eric has been chewed up and spit out like a chewing gum. He was taken away. He was able to make it on that flight. And you can see the riders up in the distance as they come up against traffic. They're heading towards the Tech de la Force front of the race in the fifth running of the Damien Montauk Cycle Classic. We're approaching the Villa uh, Dam Bridge here and uh, the Spice Highway. See Michelle Cano there training on the highway. The pass to traffic heading up the Tech de la Force out here. Uh, young, we are passing here. We are passing for the Baptist number here. Two her sub Baptist passing. I'm not sure if you had a mechanical. It's off the back. Look, these huge oil rigs here on the thermal. I want to big up my family again who allows me to come out. My all my kids and grandkids and their wives. And of course, there's not a beautiful wife at home. I want to big up my brother here, Bernard Santos, who and I'm saying the early morning to turn for the to look at the race, always supporting me big time. Prizes, you know, what kind of prizes here? You know, I'm not going to race you on bad prizes. And we are just about to catch up with the peloton. Then I find some traffic, we move up, we move up, and I get the names again. As soon as we can see some 20 riders or so in this group, I can see Brandon Morgan, I can see Bijan Hyde, I can see Smokes Gladden, Bob Gabriel, Byron Pope, Caden Pinello, um, I can see D Wade, I can see Sean Cudd, I can see young Elwin Humes, I can see Greg Lovell, I can see Goran Gabriel, I can see V12, I can see Cello. Sean Cudd, yeah. I can see him. Um, Alton Robinson, you can see Javin Gonzalez, Giandino, Alana Will Jr., big up Alana Will Jr., I can see um, Wasani Castro and driving the front there is no other than Richard Santiago, but I believe there's rather in between, I can see um, Henry Lee, so there's, the, there's a group up front, I guess um, Alicia is that group, but we're here with the main field of riders, we're here with the main field of riders, here comes um, yeah, is Henry Lee, Henry Lee in no man's land, Henry Lee waving his hand, putting up his hand. But there's definitely right that's off the front. But let me see who's missing from here. And I see Byron Pope in this group. So Richard Santiago calling for enforcement. There is um, Wasa, Wasani Castro just sitting there. There is young, big up to this young kid, young Alan Will Jr. riding awesome. So you can see the flashing lights, so riders are all the way off the front. You can see the bunch of riders off the front as we pass over mile 38. You can see a bunch of riders off the front. There's young Goran Gibble there. Taking over the pace is young Alan Will Jr. followed by Gian Lino, Carlton Robinson, Sherwin Roker. Young Goran Gabriel, Wasani Castro, Richard Santiago, another bunch of riders. Still Alana Will Jr. driving the PS doing some 29 miles an hour. This kid is riding awesome, man. Big up the sun, Alan. There is Giannino looking good, the man the smile. The man look like he feel good, the man the smile at the camera, doing some 27 miles an hour. On the front ride for Team Jaggers, and we can see the bunch of riders. We can see about five or so riders up front. In the charge here. I need to front, I know I'll be able to move up front to see 
Ich würde gerade sagen, ob schon, also man sieht da, also da, wenn ihr den Scooter macht, ja, aber der Scoop, mein Liebchen hat, ist schon auf der Fläche, das ist schon gut, also die Make-A-Way-Pass da von Alice Village. This is where the guns are, the guys that are heading back towards the city. Let's see if I can get the bus will make it across. I can see a father jersey. And the radical of Justin Jr. I can see Liam Stewart. I can see Young. You can see Young. Um, and there's still riders up front. This is not really, at least this is the front of the race. Uh, oh, yes, this is the front of the race. I can see um, four riders up front. Yeah, yeah this is a technical course. This is the front of the race. Um, we have on the front, we have Liam Stewart pushing in the front. Fernando Rosado, what I tell you about this kid, Fernando Rosado on the front. There is Justin Juna, the man eat banana and drink water at the same time. Look at the banana mash up in the hand, but the man put down that fuel. Um, and young. Young Win and Card. So the technical of course, who is on the front? Liam Stewart, Jocelyn Jr., Fernando Rosado, and Young and Young Win and Card. The man threw away, stretched the back. He represents the, the G Flow crew up here. So but it's Jocelyn Jr. on the front, followed by Fernando Rosado. I told you about Fernando Rosado. This man is maturing, he's looking good, I guess. I am Baron again around today. Make sure the man see if he can win. But we're here. 45 seconds. 45 seconds is the gap, folks. So 45 seconds is the gap. 45 seconds is the gap. 45, 45 seconds is the gap. It's been charged right now by no other than Liam Stewart, Jocelyn Jr., Fernando Rosado, who's putting up his hand. Yeah. Fans cheering on the riders and young Renan Cad riding for G Flow in his new G Flow kit. I like that kit, it's beautiful. And Fernando Rosado waving his hand, but there's no one inside, there's no 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 vehicle inside, no not even the, not even a neutral vehicle is here as he's raises and there's young young Renan dosing himself with water, keeping himself cool, it's but poor cool. Still hot and hazy as these guys are doing some 25 miles an hour, they have a slight tailwind, and it's Justin Jr. on the front, cranking up Justin Jr. looking good out here today. I know his baby brother, Young Finam, will return for the upcoming Holy it's such a cross country cyclist. So let, let us see if the Young Finam will come and, and make history this year. Young Finam doing his thing over there. Derek Chavaria studying in the US and training, riding with his college team there doing awesome. Then Oscar will return. Hopefully the, hope the defending champion will return. The Williams brothers will be here. The PMA team will come. Um, Daniel Lang, I guess, will be com coming. Um, but the Marlins will be coming. So the tarmac will be on fire for the whole Saturday cross country race. At this moment, we are having the in progress right now is the fifth running of the Jamaican Cycling Classic. We have four lead riders out front, namely Jocelyn Chavaria, race number 28, rides for Fall. Number 23, young Fernando Rostado, rides for West Truck Poor Guard. And a touch rider, Liam Stewart, race number 87. And young kid on the block, young Goran Gabriel. Where is number, let me see, number flop over, and I say number, I think I, I think you had number 13, if I'm not sure, early this morning, I think I'm number 13, but it's not a bad looking number, it's a good looking number today. Actually, maybe that's why I flop over, cover the, 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 <laughs> the bad luck, as people are saying, but he's not afraid to wear that when he has we pass, we are about to pass mile, mile 35, and still the four lead riders having some 45 seconds gap on the main field. And still driving the front is no other than Justin Jr. eating tuna away. Smile 35, yes, smile 35. Heading towards the city. 
where the race will conclude in front of the leftist imports. Who will it be today, folks? Who will win this massive 120 miles of pain? There's there's um, there's Liam Liam eating some ba um, eating a banana. Kai of cargo, your Belize and shipping. Cargo, your Belize shipping and online service. We offer a wide range of service to meet your shipping needs. For reliable service, you can always depend on us. Call us today, Los Angeles, three two three nine seven three zero zero. Seven three in New York, three four four seven three um, three four eight 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 six four zero one six in Arizona, six zero two two one four five seven five seven in Miami, get at us three three two three four seven seven four nine two two zero in Houston, two. Eight one seven three three zero one nine eight in Belize. You can get us get us at eight two four three eight six four or six seven zero three two four six. Those are the numbers that you can contact Fly of Cargo for all your shipping needs as uh, the service crew for. Fernando Rosado have arrived. There is a neutral vehicle, so he'll get his, he'll get all his uh, stuff that he need, liquid stuff to eat. There he takes on a sandwich, just drinking water. So this is what I tell you. On the front, you have, you have to make sure that you eat and drink to time. There is official telling the uh, service vehicle you can't meet beside the riders. The riders have to drop at the back, get their service, and then. Uh, on the front back, but Fernando Rosado eating on his sandwich, meals and wheels. Man, you have a meals and wheels, and that's just how tough the sport of cycling is. Uh, yeah, you ride at such a high pace, you're racing, people are attack. But uh, many a times, people throw in a battle, throw in a food when there's an attack, you have to grab onto the hand and dash away in the hand to try to steer the wheel of the rider is in front of them. This is how tough the sport is. If you have a fall, you get scratch up, you get keep. Up, you have to jump on back and continue. You can't get on the sideline and say, pass, um, I don't think I need break. No, there's no break in this sport. There's no break. You ride and you suffer like crazy. But it's a beautiful sport to keep you fit. One thing with cyclists, they eat up and I think they eat ice cream. They eat anything that's a sweet thing, but they get away because they burn it up like crazy. I'm going to calories these guys burn in a day. Wait, what are you saying? One more yet? So the gap have opened up to one more yet, according to him, that we see. I believe it's one way. He said the gap is crying open. One way it was one. It was 45 seconds. So you see, Chav, look at you here. That and Chav get on the pace immediately. Chav get on the pace immediately and um, start to turn up the pace. He's doing some 24 miles an hour. We're heading towards. We're heading towards mile 33. The prize at um, the prize at Eddie and Banks was given by Mr. Charles White. Big up, Mr. Charles White, out of California. I believe he is. Coming up at mile 32 and a half, there's a digi card value at $50, sponsored by Digi. That is mile 32, so we're coming on, up on that, that price in a short while. And the front of the, 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 the PS is no other than Liam Short, followed by young Fernando Rosado, who is still chewing away at the sandwich that he was eating. There is um, Jocelyn Jr. and young Renanka. These are the four riders up front. These are the guys leading the charge into the city. Who will it be? Will be one of these guys from Frontier. The, the gap is, yeah. The gap, the gap. I think the official said the gap was 108, 108 to the, the main field of riders. 108. That's manageable. These guys can still make it back here. 108 is manageable. So you know when the big guns decide that they want to come up, they can close that gap. But it's so easier. It's so easy. But we'll see what happens as we approach closer to the city. These guys have covered just 
uh, almost 90 miles. Eight, eight miles, they have covered. We passed mile 33. We're heading back to less limbs imports where the race got started this morning just after eight. Some 55 riders lined up in the event to test their legs for the upcoming Holy Saturday Cross Country race taking part in the fifth annual Jamin Monko Cycling Classic. 120 miles of pain and suffering on the tarmac here in Belize, in the jewel. It's humid, it's hot. You almost look like smoking in the air now. But driving the pace is no other than Jocelyn Jr. looking good, riding some 22 miles up this incline. There's a prize given up at the top here. Like I said, that prize is a game given. It's a, a $50 phone card given by Digi. After that, there is a prize at the Belize Zoo of $50 by G Flow. Kaya Cargo then at Rockville is a $50 given by Mr. Glenn Young, my brother out, out of New York. And Hattieville again, there is a $50 prize given by Digi again. It's a, it's a $50 phone card. So there is a flag. Let me see if they will allow Lim to get a prize. Let me see if they allow Lim to get a prize as the they will let him, him will ride across, him will get the prize. They have low him. Um, they said not to attack or anything, so they can keep the pace out from that. Jocelyn Jr. is a smart rider. He will encourage on the guys to keep it steady. And so when we get the next time gap, we'll definitely give you. But so far, they said it was 108. 108 was 45 seconds, so they can have pride open a few more seconds. And we are here with the four lead riders up from the four lead riders up from. The fifth annual Jamian Monkhook Cycling Classic sponsored by G Flow and Kaya Cargo along with DJ. And my name is CFD. For the big event coming up next weekend is the Juna Cross Country. We hope you have quite a number of juniors. Let me see if they want to invite some junior teams. And here comes Goran Gable along with Byron Pope. Look at that. As we speak, Goran Gable blowing past us along with Baron Pope and his wheel, and they have joined the four lead riders. So they have crossed that gap of a minute and change. So, like I said, it's manageable. And that's why we are talking about time gap. Remember, Mr. Andre Gap, we talk about time gap. We don't allow the break to go too far. And Baron Pope have come across with young Goran Gable. So now it's six riders, six riders up front as we are about to pass in front of Amigos. And we are looking back to see if any other riders are coming. But well, the six riders up front now, Liam Short on the front, followed by Jocelyn Jr., young Fernando Rosado, young Goran Gear. But this kid is awesome, a tall figure, but he's powerful, he's young, he's, he's focused. There is young Rain and Cad and Byron Pope, the winner of last week, West Truck race. The West Truck Belmont Classic is here. Byron looking good, he has a banana in his back, and we're looking there. There is another rider coming across. Who is it? It's no other than Sean Cad. Sean coming across by himself, Sean Cut riding his way across the gap. So it will be seven riders shortly. Sean Cut coming with a ball of speed. He's closing up with every pedal stroke. Sean Cut with every pedal stroke. Sean Cut is making it back to the tech de la course, the front of the race. Here comes Sean Cut. Helen, your husband, is doing awesome as he rides his way across. Look at him as he shifts his gear. 29 seconds, the gap have closed, but Sean Cut um, earlier, young Gorian. And, and Pope came across, and here comes Sean Cad as he bridges his way. He makes his way over to the lead as we pass in front of chairs. Sean Cad looking smooth. There's no sign of expression on the face of Sean Cad. He's looked super good today. Who will it be, folks? Who will it be? We have two West Truck riders. We have two G Flow riders. We have a Kano. We have a Fall. And we have an Attach rider. Seven riders up front heading into Democracia. We just uh, a uh, half mile from the entrance of Mahogany Heights and his seven tough good riders up front. Two brothers in this, two cut brothers, young Renan Cad and Sean Cad, who have just ride his way across to the front of the race. Justin Jr. on the front, 
No, Sean Card came across and immediately he's on the front piercing. This kid is awesome, Sean Card, an awesome kid. He have rode across by himself as he joined the lead of the race. The tall figure of young Gore and Gable on the front as we are about to pass the entrance of Mahogany Heights heading towards the Pacific. Seven riders up front. Sean Cat, taken by the pace, is Liam Schwartz, young Ferdinand Rosado. Fernando Rosado, young Renan Cat, Jocelyn Juna, Baron Pope, and no other than Sean Cat at the back here. Here is young um, Gore and Gable looking good. Taking over the pace, I think Byron probably tell um, when to step up the pace on the front. Fernando driving the pace some 25 miles an hour as we head as we head towards as we head towards the entrance of the coastal road. It's Fernando on the front, followed by Young Renan Cad. Even the Lee Zoo, a fifty dollars prize by G Flo and Kaya Cargo. Taking what the pace is Byron Pope, the winner of the West Truck race. As they are looking good, Byron, there's no and there's no no sign of suffering. You can look on the face of Byron; they look pretty good. So there's the official stop to take to take the time check. So move up, move up. Left seven riders. But it's stopped by the Banks Memorial, the Banks Memorial, I had a chance to meet up this uh, red pudding to put something on the stomach because my tongue might get empty too. So thank you guys for staying tuned, for enjoying the race. There is the official, here comes the lead. Chuck, uh, but this vehicle. Uh, there's a tropical pull up in a short while. Pull up here at the entrance of the coastal road. Here are the fans. The Bresenios, the young Jalen Bresenio and the family. Young Jalen Bresenio and the family. Here are the motorcycle guys. No, there is Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett there supporting cycling. From the Coast Guard, I think both Coast Guard guys are here. So, so Mr. Right there for a quick second. This is my alternative democracy, democracy, and shortly we should see the riders coming. I want to say, need to take a stretch. And, as I, and then the boss again, Young Gor and Gabriel, Fernand Rosado, um, Justin Juna, and Young Winner, and Cad four riders just ahead of the. He's snapping a half, so four riders and then the three riders coming up, Byron Pope, Sean Card, and Liam Schwartz. I don't know what they're doing. They play cat and mouse and see if they are dropped, but I don't think they drop dropped Sean Card. Sean Card's smart. Uh, Byron Pope, they try to bring Sean Card back, but um, he's having none of it. Right. And I'll get you win the, the zoo prize. Um, I have to wait for my driver to come back. 36 seconds at the motorcycle. Here comes, here comes the main field being charged by no other than Richard Santiago, followed by Carlton Robinson, Smokes, Smokes Glenn, Wasani Castro, Kieran Pinello, Henry Lee, Gian Lino, B12 D Wade. There is a Paul Stapatis is back there, Javin Gonzalez, Greg Lovell, and a whole bunch of riders. As they get back on the motorcycle, make a way back towards the race. We missed that prize there at the zoo. But Banks um, had to stop for the team. As we make our way back, just past the coastal road, heading back towards the zoo and onwards onto the city. Folks in the fifth running of the Jamian Monk Folk Cycling Classic, sponsored by G Pro. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like I said, coming up, coming up is a big, coming up is a big. About to close the gap. What a crazy ride right? because he was all the way off the back. There is young, the young kid there. After getting the kid, he, he kudos the young, um, the young Alana Will Jr., 
young uh, Will Junina, young Elwin Humes also here. The whole bunch of riders, they can see the lead riders right up front. So this gap is manageable. On the front is no other than Carlton Robinson, as we are with the lead, we are this main group of riders. Carlton Robinson on the front, followed by Henry Lee, followed by Caden Penelo, Brandon Morgan, um, Tian Lino. John Hyde, there, there is um, Smoke Slanton to, to ride out a bit. There is V12, D Weird, um, D Weird, um, Wasani Castro, Darwin Gonzalez. You can see Richard Santiago. I can see Bob Gabriel and all the riders as we pass the, in, the entrance to the zoo. We can see the riders right up front. The three riders plus four riders just up front. It's young Dijon Hyde on the front, young Dijon Hyde on the front. Coming up some 20 miles an hour as we pass mile 29 here on the George Spice Highway, heading into the city, heading towards Belize, where the race will conclude in front of Leslie's Imports on the George Spice Highway. There is the mother of young Alana Will Jr. Big up young Alana Will Jr. He's doing an awesome job, folks. He's definitely doing an awesome job. There are some folks saying, guys, we got to pull. If we want to get back, we can't load the gap to open, but it's manageable. It's just a few seconds, not a whole. When you're on Smokes London, the man, the master get on the front and stepping up the pace. He's seeing these guys right out front, so he don't want to make the gap escalate, um, to, to, to open, the, open the gap wide here. It's young Gianlino, you know, Gianlino smiling. Here comes the young, young Dijon Hyde. And you know, still smiling. I don't know if the man is green or the man is small, but look at that smile. Be green. And here comes the You can see the lead group up front in the fifth annual Jamian Cook Second Classic sponsored by. G Flow and Kaya Cargo, along with DJ, along with MM System here, along with JP. There's the official on the side, waiting to give that time. We have to move up to the tech for the whole front of the race. We are approaching three riders just in the distance, and then we have four riders up front. I believe that rider, the three rider, is still by on four, being short. And Shankar, and then up front are the four riders up front. We see there was a young Goran Gable in that that group along with Rina and Garden. And the other two riders, Justin Jr. and another rider. So we make our way we are with. We are with the three riders. Still on the front, still on the front is uh, um, Liam Schwartz in this group. Liam Schwartz driving the train here, Byron Pope and Shankar. Looking back, Shankar still look very smooth. Yes, his young brother is up front. Young Remain Hankar is up front. You can see them just a few seconds, just as they, we are making our way to mile, mile 28 here. And uh, George Price Highway heading back into the city. There's Liam. He has a Coke in his hand. Liam has a Coke in his hand. Drinking that, 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 that quick burst of energy. There's Baron Pope. Battle full up with whatever drinks. Baron Pope looking good. Low and so the only person fears the back of the Liam face, Liam the show sign of suffering, but Baron Pope and Shankar is looking very good. And we can see the four riders up front here as Liam passes close. Baron Pope looking smooth, Shan looking smooth. So Gorian at the rider way, have to ride across and is in that group. So it's Gorian, Jocelyn, um, Jocelyn Jr., um, Green and Cad, and uh, the other rider there up front. Fernando Rosado is the next rider. Fernando, four riders up front. Young Fernando riding awesome. The gap is about 20 seconds or so to the lead riders. I can just measure that. I said about 20 seconds to these three riders. And here comes the main field about another 20 seconds behind. So they are all gaps out about 20 seconds apart. Let us see if these guys will come across. Let us see if Javin Gonzalez will do a mad dash and close this gap. But these, these gaps are what we call um, 
manageable gap so you can know that you can you can put in that effort and reach across it's not too wide it's not too those four or five minutes gap, those are gaps that are because you can see your prayer right in the distance, you can see the riders right in the distance, as you can see the West Shock service personnel coming up to service Baron Pope. Baron Pope will receive service as he picks up his battle. He has a teammate up front. So both Baron and um, and Sean can have a teammate up front, so they will leave Liam to fry. They will leave Liam to do all the piercing, and Liam is doing all the piercing at this moment. Liam Stewart in the front doing all the piercing. Just past mile 27 here, heading towards mile 26. You can see the four lead riders up front. This is the second group on the, the road. Liam Stewart, Byron Pope, and Shankar Shankar. Was waving his hand. I guess he wants some service or something. Yeah, he is waving his hand for service. So he's questioning the, the, the official. So he definitely needs some service. Uh, Shankar is not happy. He's shaking his head. He's not happy. He needs some service. He's shaking his head. So Byron gets his services now, but Shankar, and if, if you don't get service, you have to, to, to try. But Shankar is a tough kid, he's a tough warrior. He's really hanging. There to, to the final moments. Al Shankar, Baron Pope, and Liam, as they leave Liam to pace all the way. And the four riders just up front in the lights of young Goran Gabriel, young Vinan Kad, Justin Jr., and Fernando Rosado as they. Uh, making their way up to mile 26. It's still Liam on the front. And you can see the gap closing at the back. The gap is closing to these three, so it's still manageable. There are the four riders just pressing that they climb up mile 26 there. And the Charge Price Highway heading towards the city where the conclusion this race is not over. It's not over. It's a big drop past us now. I'll rig the approach mile 26 and still Shankar waving his hand, wants some service, needs some service, not want, he needs some service. The moment he's putting up his hand so many times, he needs some service. So as Liam pull off, as Liam pull off the pace, Byron slow, and they continue to leave Liam to fly out. So Pope won't assist Pope. And the group is about to catch up to the, the, the three riders, the group about to catch up to the three riders, so it will be one, it will be just the four riders, and then the main group of riders at the back. So we move up to the tech that holds the front of the race, we move up to the front of the race, where four lead riders out front, young Goran Diabat, young Rubina Kad, Fernando Rosado, and Justin Junior. So all out front, we make our way, we make our way back. The heat is on, a beautiful day for racing, no rain, and we just move up back to the technical course. As we are about to pitch up to the riders, there are the front, as we have made our way back to the front of the race, young go and the on the front is Justin Junior Jamin at the front, followed by Fernando Rosado, followed by Young 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 Green and Cad and Young Gore and Gabriel, four riders just up front. We are approaching mile 25. We are approaching mile 25, and it's the five, four lead riders up front. There's a, there's a prize at Rockville. There's a prize at Rockville. And that prize is given by Mr. Glenn Young. It's a $50 Asian prize. And um, the service crew, the, the service crew is giving um, Young Goran some, um, some uh, Young um, Renan some advice. So that's seven telling him not, 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 not to get on the front because his teammates are coming at the back. His teammates are coming at the back. So he's giving him some, some, some advice, passing him, 
he's getting service again. Young, green, and cut looking good as we pass mile 25 here. And the Dodge Price head, Highway heading towards Rockville. That's Devin and the crew. We are here with the four lead riders as we pass mile 25 heading towards Rockville. So these guys are about to complete. When they reach mile, when they reach mile 20, they have completed 100 miles, and there'll be 100 mi and 20 miles remaining in the event. 100 miles will be completed. That would be like the race they did last week, the Palmapan, the um, West Rock Palmapan Cycling Classic. So they have 20 more miles, and the whole such a race. It's another 20 miles. That's 140 miles. It used to be 144, but I think it's 140 miles now. The annual whole such a cross country race coming up in three weeks. And so we are here with the four lead riders. Will the group come at the back and catch these guys, or will they ride all the way into the city? What the folks think, what you guys think, you think that these four will ride into the city all alone and spring out for the big doubler. So taking over the pace is no other than the young Goran Gable, the tall figure, wears number 86. The 86 marker, yes, number 86, young Goran Gable. Ride for Team Kano, awesome kid, came from the Seaway cycling camp, big up Seaway family, a family of cyclists producing champions like, champions like Ranan Katus, Kaya Katus, all the other cats, we cats still riding. Two more the sun ride, but then riding more, that's Risi and Yanni. Yanni, you know, and Dr. No, but the now basketball hike the man about six eight or six nine tall. We are approaching mile twenty-four here on the Judge Price Highway as we head towards the city. We head towards Rockville. We had another station prize, a prize of twenty fifty dollars, fifty dollars given by Mr. Glenn Young. And I don't know who captured the prize at the zoo because we stopped um at Mal Democracy. So somebody, one of these guys got the prize out front. But um Coming up at Rockville, it's a $50 station prize given by Mr. Glenn Young. We'll get a prize. Will these guys give the rider on the front or will they sprint it out for the prize? Here comes the, here comes the uh, neutral service vehicle to provide the, the riders. Here's my driver. He took on the water. Bunks. That's our pork bunks need for the maximum energy. We just passed mile 24. There's four riders up front doing some. They just do run down. do some 30 miles and run down there at mile 24. We are on the flat back heading towards mile 23. The pace is up to about 24 miles an hour. And it's four riders up front. Fernando Rosado, Young Rain and Cad, Young Go and Gable, 50 seconds. And Young and um, Justin Jr., the gap is 57 seconds. 57 seconds, that's what. Um, the official is 57 seconds is the gap. So here is the service personnel for Young Go and Gabriel. Young Go and Gabriel getting his word of advice from his crew and getting service as they, um, they pass him a bottle, another bottle, and some a gel. A gel been given to him. More bagwad. So much liquid, guys. They are five hour energy drink. <laughs> and they sell out the money. So they are giving him advice. Uh, so they give them a few seconds to get they give the riders, um, give the riders and stuff, and then they have to pull it off. So this um, this the guns, the guns trick. He tell the man enough time. They on the side here comes. He takes a banana. So go run banana, and the man get. The man get five hour energy, the man get two bottles, the man get a bag water or two. So I'll show you how much food you guys have to take on. Here comes another gel. Okay. Go run, go run, fill up with, with, um, with free stuff, you just get service. There's Fernand, um, for, um, Fernando Rosado raising his arm. He wants service. Fernando raising his arm. He wants his service as we pass mile 23 here. And the Judge Price Highway heading into the city. 
Okay, the next prize is at Rockville, and this is where the legs start to hurt, the lungs, the heart, you start to suffer like crazy. These guys are doing some 23 miles an hour as we head back towards the city. The I mean, Memorial Race held here today, the 19th of March, 2023. Hope you guys are having fun. This is a long, long trek, 120 miles, like I said. The final test to see where your legs are, how you stand for the upcoming cross country, which will, which will ride at much faster speed, more riders, so, and a lot of prizes. So there will definitely be some serious fireworks out here. A lot of riders will be chewed up and spit out like chewing gum. A lot of them, they won't make it on the flight. The flight will be closed. I think everybody put the, um, the security man on a check today. So we can see if he will come back and take them off the plane. They have made it on the flight. The flight have took off. So let us see if the security will make that plane come back to the gate and move these passengers, four riders up front, young, Goran, Gabriel, rides number no, 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 86, rides for Kano. Number 28, Jocelyn Jr. rides for Team Fall. Number 13, Young, number 13, Young, um, Rain and Cad. And number 23, Young Fernando Rosado to make our way towards Hattieville. To the four lead riders, four lead riders, Goran Gabriel, Fernando Rosado, Rina Ankad, and Justin Jr. Four riders. The time check was 57 seconds just a while ago by the officials, and we are heading towards Rockville. They didn't hurt their men because they're smoking in the background, they're bushfire. So they smoke, they suck all the oxygen out of the air. So this heat, the breathe when they, after 100 miles almost completed, they get a little suffer as we move up just in front of the four lead riders who will win the uh, prize at Rockville, given by Mr. Glenn Young. The riders come beside us, that's Young, Goran, Gable, and the front followed by. Renan Kad, Jocelyn Jr., and Fernando Rosado. We're just about a quarter mile from Rockville entrance, where the prize will be given out. It's still Goran and front, riding a monster gear, followed by young Kad, who is eating a bar or something. Look at his hand, you see young Renan eating on a bar. The mouth is chewing away. I wonder if they know a prize ever got this prize coming late. So I'm not sure if they know a prize has been given there. Let me see. Oh, yes, the official know that the prize, the official is there to wave the flag. 105 is the gap. 105 is the gap. 105 is the gap. So there is the official at the Rockville. So he knows there is a prize. I didn't mention it. So the official know that the prize will be given. It's a $50 by Mr. Glenn Young. Big up yourself, Mr. Glenn Young. Who continue to support cycling when they give the pig in at the outfit park race. And Fernando Rosado will claim that prize as they allow him to ride across the line there. These guys are working together. Here comes the service personnel of Team Fall. Team Fall finally get, you know, Team Fall finally come up on service. Justin, Justin Jr. Who's taking on all kind of stuff? Bar, water. This is what is it? Water, more water. And they load up. So that's how they get service. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, uh, his crew is telling him to ride smart. He's a senior rider here. So let us see the gap. 
uh, the official said 105, 105, yep, still manageable as we head to mile 20 here on the George Pice Highway. It's Young Gore and Gable on the front, followed by Jocelyn Jr., followed by Young Fernando Rosado, and Young Green and Card race number 13 today is a lucky number 13. It's not a bad lucky number 13, it's a good lucky number 13. As we, we head towards mile 20 here on the George Price Highway in the fifth running of the Jamaican Mount Cook Cycling Classic, sponsored by, by G Flow Kaya Cargo. In my name, Engineering DJ and CFP. Yep, comes the C, here comes the G flow service crew again. You can cut water and juice, so he was receiving and costing himself with water. When Kevin Jen is out of the race. Kevin Jen is in back servicing. Kevin Jen have abandoned the race. Was the race there? He gets uh, a gel. To make a way to as mile 20. It's still the four lead riders up front. One minute, five seconds ahead. Last, the last time gap we got one minute, five seconds. So these guys move away to the front with these guys um, ride all the way to the, in the city to win this event or will the group at the back come over and join for an exciting finish in the fifth running of this race, the Ernest Jamian Monk Hope Cycling Classic 2023 held here on the George Price Highway a test, like I said, for a test for the, the riders, test for the riders as for the upcoming World of Saturday cross country race. So, as we head, as we head um, past mile 20, head to mile 19, it's still four riders up front Goran Gabriel, Justin Jr. Young Fernando Rosado and Young Renan Cad. Fans out there who are tuning to this event, the uh, big screen TV. There's the other camera, that's Alicia Thompson and Gilly. Covering the, the back and forth. So we head into mile 19. It's all young Fernando Rosado on the front. Like I said, this young kid definitely doing his thing out here, making a name for himself, rising in the rank for elite rider, a super domestic with the big guns, Jocelyn Jr. So we have. Three young guys and one, one uh, uh, more mature guys in Jocelyn Jr. The three young riders here are, of course, Goran Gabriel, Fernando Rosado, and Young Green and Cad. So four different teams in the break. Fal, Valvoli, Cano, and G Flo. Will the group catch up to them? Will the group at the back catch up to them? And more fireworks as the race winds down. Or will these four riders ride all the way to the city? So they said the young card. The man said, OMG. The man said, OMG. With a smile on the face, that's young Rain. And he said, OMG, just now. I don't know if they, he's feeling the effect of all day in the saddle. They have already passed the 100 mile barrier. So by this time last week, the race was completed, but you have 20 more miles, like almost 20 more miles to complete in this event. And, and the whole Saturday will be an extra 20 miles. So if, they, if, if they're not ready for that 144 or the 140, it will definitely be pain and suffering, shedding, and being 
spit out like used chewing gum. Young Goran gave a out of his saddle almost an hour like he took at it. He's riding a monster gear, but he's still looking good. Young Goran Gabal stretching his leg, jogging on his bike. As we just passed mile 19, heading towards mile 18. One of big up. Honorable Anthony Mal and the BTP, like I said. Man say $10,000. Dollars, ten thousand dollars cash prize for the first place winner in the whole Saturday cross country race, and an additional five thousand to give us station prize of a thousand apiece. So there will be some huge station prizes of a thousand dollars. So if you know if you win any station prize, you could abandon the race, you could give it the all for one station prize, eh? abandon the race, and your pocket it full. But if you feel brave enough, you can continue. But you know, it will be all out. It will be all out war. It will be all out war as the um it will be all out war as the foreign invaders will come in and when they have all those prize, the tarmac will definitely be on fire. Chava have some kind of mechanical. He was asking for Allen key. I'm not sure what it was his um issue, but um, Chava was asking us if we have an Allen key. We are just media. We have our tools. Though we are like mechanics, and the front is young, green, and doing some 22.6 miles an hour. As we approach mile 18 here, taking over the pace is Goran. Uh, folks, like I said, the, the whole set of cross country race will be a monster starting back in 1928, continues, and um, definitely will be a huge race. We know a lot of foreigners will want to come in when they hear about any prizes want to give out. Um, like I said, a lot of people have contacted me. I forward, I found the information. I give them the present phone number and tell them, you know, the prizes. And I mean, yeah, I'm not part of the, I'm just a media, I'm just a, a live streamer. But because they always see me out there and race, I feel like I, 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 um, I can't show race, I don't. But thank you guys, whoever, you know, giving prizes. Like I said, the, um, the whole Erdogan's family, the Ben River family, they, they give, um, Upon thousand dollars, so we do like four station prizes of two hundred and fifty dollars each. So you see, you have five station prizes of a thousand dollars. You have two, um, you have a um, five station prize of a thousand. You have, have four station prizes of two fifty a piece, and then you have um, <clears throat> a fifty dollars that is done. Then guys, don't give me for the Princess Margaret Drive Taxi Association. So those are guaranteed prizes. Prizes and we hope more people give prizes. The one is like a lot of prizes in their event, like we said, the Alfred Parks, the Moral family they have raised the bar and they have so many prizes in their race. And it's no easy job with these guys riding out here in this vicious condition, this torturous condition, the climatic condition. As we find I say, it's definitely suffering out here. Yep, there's a fans too um, cheering on the riders as we approach Mile 17 here. So these guys are inching closer and closer to the city, some 17 miles, just over 17 miles away from the city where the race will come to its conclusion at this less imports as these guys have slowed, but drastically it's 20, 21 miles an hour. So yes, Rosado here, see his mouth is moving, so he's eating. And Jocelyn seems that like he's having some kind of Issues he was asking for Alan Key. I'm not sure what the issue is, but we are here with the four lead riders and they have the pace of definite drops. So I want to see if the group will come over as young Goran taking over the pace heading into the city. We want to big up all the crew tuning in, all the states in the US. There are so many tuning in. I know my son probably at work at Odoris by Chicago. Have it by screen. Put it on the, the TV in the shop and tuning in. I know some people when when I watch the thing, I say, "Where where where is that? It's, it, it looks so beautiful." And he said, "Oh, that's Belize. That's where I'm from." They say, "Oh man, we wish we could be there." You know, when they're in the cool and they see this beautiful weather, they wish they could be here. All over the world, people love the sport of cycling, and you know it's been growing. Cycling is such a beautiful sport. A lot of suffering, but beautiful. Young Goran Gable on the front, we are just about to pass mile 17 here on the 
judged by say we were heading into well this is actually Hattieville but um, we're ending actually into the, it's the, the village of Hattieville and it's Gore and Gable on the front. The fireworks have died down these guys are trying to work together to reach the city alone so they can sprint out the, I mean within the four riders so let us see if any big cats will come from, from the part of the race if anybody will bridge the gap and see if we'll have some fireworks going into the final leg of this race where it concludes at Leslie's imports and the George Price Highway just about a mile out of the city. And, and it's Jocelyn Chavaria riding for Team Fall, where is number 28. 111, the gap is 111, so it probably opened four more and six more seconds, it was 105, no, it's 111. 111, so the, the, the pace is almost the same. Let us see if these guys will close the gap. If after Hattieville, the wire will start at the back and they will close the gap, or if these four riders will, will continue to keep out front. And print out for one, two, three, four. So, so young Goran Gable on the front, followed by Jocelyn Junior, followed by Fernando Rosado and young Rin and Card. Four riders up front, the Tech de la Course. I want to shout out my beautiful wife at home. Like I said, she's my rock. Allow me to come out every time. Pray for me when I'm out here on the highway. Everybody always tell me, we'll pray for you. I had my, my school teacher, Mr. Demby York, visited me at the, the shop. He said he had to come and see me. He can't believe that I'm the one who is doing the commentating because he said, Andrew, when you were in school, you were so quiet. He said, I can't believe. He said, when my friend said, it's Andrew Adonis, you know, commentating. He said, never. He said, he never used to say anything. He said, but you know, for some reason, it's something that cycling was something that was in my vein from a very young age. I want to pick up my dad who got me into cycling. He used to race way back in the days. He's deceased now, but he left me with a whole lot of experience. So, continue to sleep in peace, dad. My mom, so that you know, my mom. My mom at age 50, she rode 50 miles. She did, no, at age 50, she rode, no, she rode to the East of Tiblan back on her birthday. And that when she was, uh, I think, like 50 years old, she did that. My mom did a lot of riding. My dad encouraged her to ride. And at one spell, she did rode 50 miles from Belmopan to Belize. So kudos to my mom. She's in the Cayman Islands with my sister. So kudos to my mom. Taught me well as we passed through Hattieville. Heading into the city, four lead riders, young Goran Gabriel, Jocelyn Chavaria Jr., Fernando Rosado, and young Renan Kad. Prize is given here, and there's a station prize given here, and Jocelyn Jr. will get a station prize. It's, it's a it's a DJ card valued at $50. We got DJ giving a prize here and had to that's the final station prize of the day, the final station prize of the day. Yes, this race is being sponsored by G Flow and Air Cargo, along with MM's engineering, DJ, the CFP. The fifth annual. I mean, Mount Hope Cycling Classic, the last big test before the annual whole such a cross country is coming up in three weeks' time. Next weekend, the juniors will be out here doing their thing. They will ride from out of Sokots to the city. I think they finished the uh, Leslie's inputs also. Then we have the female. I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly if they have finished the uh, Leslie's or if they go, they go on to, um, to BTL Park. I know the female. Cross country number finish at BTL Park for the for the race that the following week they start in Sagna so also head towards the city. So we have one huge races coming up. We have today it's the Jamaican Monko Classic. Then we have the female cross country next weekend. The following weekend is the female cross country. Then the huge annual all the such a cross country with all the fireworks coming up in two, two weeks time.
we are approaching mile 15, we are approaching mile 15 heading towards the city to the village of Hattieville. Been sitting on this motorcycle for hours and hours. <laughs> Need a good massage. Why if you have a massage on your return home? Coach Hattieville. Yeah, the fans turn on the riders as, as we pass over this bump here. Hattieville, guys, on the side, it sells on nice, delicious coconut water to make our way around the roundabout here. And we head east towards the city, approaching mile 14 in a short while. We just passed mile 15, there's a mile 15 course. And the four riders still out front looking back. These guys are definitely closing the gap. I can see the, I can see the trail of vehicle coming, so the gap is definitely closing. The gap is closing. I can see, I can see the long line of vehicle coming back. So we have to pass. And tell the riders on the right as we pass the riders, as we pass the riders. Step at the hill, heading towards mile 14 here on the Dodge Price Highway, where at this moment the In Jamaican, the Pop Classic taking place at this very moment. I'm feeling the massage. Whoa, I'm feeling the effect of today's. Here comes Jocelyn Jr., followed by no other than young Fernando Rosado, young Goran Gabriel, and here comes the crowd. Yes, like I said, it's not over. I can see Baron Pope and Smokes Glenn coming across and a whole bunch of riders. Folks, it's manageable. Like I said, here comes Baron. Riders that, you know, the gap is closing in a short while. It will be one big race. We can see the, the, the trees line, so it's a tailwind, but I can see Sean Card have dropped back to bring his captain, Javin Gonzalez. Like I said, Javin Gonzalez gave them a little, a little, little plane ride, but he have decided to take away the tickets. So he's um, heading. We saw Byron Pope just, Byron Pope was just in front of that group, along with Spokesland, but Sean Card on the front. And Will of Scandal was his teammate, Javin Gonzalez, was closing the gap with every pen strokes they make. We are passing back to traffic, we pass in front of Grand Swam. This is mile 14 here on the Judge Price Highway in the fifth running of the Jambian G4 Mong Pope Cycling Classic. Young Elwin Hume just off the back, number 64. As we make our way, we can see Giambino in a bit of trouble too. But with these vehicles here, we will probably make it back. We are just approaching the rear of the main peloton here on the Jack Peters Pass, mile 14, heading towards the Tech de la Force. As we pass through traffic, the service personnel make a way to the front of the race. And it seems it's one big race. These guys are about to hitch on as the riders are all here in a one long line. Young Eric Chop making a last effort to take uh, the riders across. There is um, Sean Cad and the wheel of Sean Cad is no other than Javin Gonzalez looking good. Yes, that's a teammate. Javin Gonzalez, teammate Sean Cad taking him back to the front of the race. That's the front of the race. The four riders, they will be caught. It's one big race. Like I said, Palas, Palas, remember when me and Andre got that boat? I am, I am, my, my, my brother, I am Andre Gab, out of um, Jacksonville, Jack, uh, out of Jacksonville, man, say, um, management and Eric Chop, as soon as they hit, Eric Chop attacked them, as soon as they cut, Eric Chop have attacked the four riders, Eric Chop have attacked the riders, as um, the riders are coming across, they have caught the four lead riders, and only Justin Chavaria was able to stay on the wheel of young Eric Chop, but uh, Sean Card, 
is on a mission, he's grinding away, he's focused, he has his eye on, on his prayer, and he has his captain right in his slipstream, that's the driving Gonzalez, Sean Cad, not asking for help as he pedals away, doing some 27 miles an hour, we are approaching mile 13, he's closed the gap, and Eric, Eric is out of his cell again, but Sean Cad does lift the pace, Sean Cad does lift the pace, here comes young Rain and Cad, the, the, the whole G4 crew have come to the front, and they will chase down everything that, that moves and Shankar does lift the gear, it's the speed and they have cut back the two lead riders in young Eric Trapp and Jocelyn Chavaria. Here comes an attack by Baron Pope, Baron Pope unleash a, a bomb there, yes he dropped a bomb on them, Baron Pope wears number 17 as fast, 13 here on the Judge Price Highway heading into the city, the West truck is hitting them with oil, yes and, and all um, Shankar could do is just lift the pace, lift the pace. Sean Cad lifting the pace, they are doing some 29.5 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. Sean Cad lifting the pace, there is Javon Gonzalez sitting on the wheel of his teammate. Sean Cad, who does lift the pace, there is Baron Pope just out front trying to ride away. And Sean Cad dancing out of his saddle. He, he's, he's, um, I'm not sure, but he has opened the gap. He's riding across to Baron Pope. Sean Cad lifts the pace, he ride up. Um, and um, the, uh, Javon didn't respond to that. Javon is in front on the wheel of Darwin is no other than Carlton Robinson. I'm not sure if they're going to unleash some more bombs, but um, Sean Card riding over to the wheel of Baron Pope that showed that Sean Card is very strong. He was, you know, piercing all along front, um, up front, and um, Baron attack, um, Eric attack, and Sean bring back them every time. So we are approaching mile 12. Sean Card chasing the wheel of Baron Pope as we head towards the city. Yes, Baron Pope. Number 17, the winner of last week's West Truck Race. Here comes Justin again, riding over to the wheel of Sean Card. Here comes Dijon Hyde. A gap have opened up to the main field. Four riders up front again. Baron Pope on the front, followed by Sean Card, followed by Justin Chavaria. Kudos to Justin. He was in the break all along and he's still here. Here comes young Dijon Hyde riding for Roland Shutters. Roland Shutters is represented. The man riding a new Conago machine. And we see riders coming across. Like I said, it's not over, it's not over. We are approaching mile 12. Sean Card have cut back, have cut back Byron, Byron Pope, and he's straight on the pace. Sean Card straight on the pace. I'm not sure. Um, he's just selling Byron, you know. Um, I got this under control. Here comes young Goran Gable again. Young Goran Gable riding across to the four riders. Young Goran Gable. Here comes Fernando Rosado. Rosado riding for West Rock coming across to the, the five riders. Here coming across 1-1. One, one. Here comes Fernando Rosado. Two rows to young Fernando Rosado riding up front all along, all day. This kid will be awesome. Definitely make, making a mark. We are doing some 26 miles an hour. That's what the government is saying. We want to big up all the fans tuning in. Yes, uh, Miss Jennifer, there's hope for the um, for, for G Flow as um, Sean pull off the pace and check back way to see where the rest of the riders are. But he's right up front. There's six riders up front. The, the lead, the charge has been led by Dijon Hyde, followed by Byron Pope, followed by Goran Gabriel, Fernando Rosado, Justin Jr. And Sean is looking back to see where his teammates are. He's taking a look back where he's staying right on the tail here to see where his teammates are. We head towards mile, just past mile 12, into mile 11, running and pull off the pace, taking over the pace is Jocelyn Jr., young, um, young um, Dijan Hyde, young Goran Gabriel. So kudos to these two gentlemen too, uh, Jocelyn Jr. and young, you know, the three minute break was four, um, Fernando Rosado, Goran Gabriel, and Jocelyn, they were four up front and they are right here again, as uh, it is six riders, two riders, um, three other riders joined that among the Byron Pope, Dijan Hyde, and and Sean Cud, and we can see the others just in the distance. It's still manageable, like we said. These guys came across like a freight train, but it's not again. So we'll see who will come across. They can see one rider coming, one rider coming, and that's the riding style of Greg Lovell. It seems that the riding style of Greg Lovell, I can make a note um, as he's trying to ride across. This is definitely Greg Lovell coming across. It's definitely. Greg Lovell, the riding style of Greg Lovell. Greg Lovell is trying to ride across to the six riders up front. Greg Lovell, here comes Greg Lovell in our frame. Greg Lovell riding for 
his focus, his eyes fixed on the six riders up front like a hawk, looking down on his prayer. Greg Lovell doing some 27 miles an hour all alone as he crank up the gear even more. He can, he can, he's closing the gap with every pedal stroke. I think he had a flat or something because he had a different front wheel, but it's Greg Lovell as he's inching his way to the six riders up front. Greg Lovell looking good. He's representing today for his team Lovell. Uh, I'm not sure what happened with, um, with Giovanni. I saw him on the back earlier, so something went wrong. I don't know if I'm mechanical or if he wasn't feeling well, but Greg is representing the Lovells here today. The Lovell, a family of cyclists. Like you know, they have um, the sisters as right and now the four brothers right. So another family, along with the Chavaria family, that have um, most of the siblings doing this hard sport as Greg Lovell about to, to, to catch the four and um, the six riders up front, just past mile 11, heading to mile 12. And Greg Lovell riding his way across to the, this guy is a monster. He's a Bolivian bullet, and he's about to hitch on to the six riders up front. Byron Pope takes a look back way, and Greg Lovell have bridged the gap. He's just have a bicycle length or so to make it, and he's on the wheel of the six riders up front. Let me see. I'm looking back to see if I can see any more riders coming. But it's all seven riders just up front. Greg Lovell still just a few bicycle lengths to get on the wheel. He's back in the sled stream and he has rode across taking a drink of water and the front driving it is Fernando Rosado taking over the pace is Jocelyn Jr. Folks if you want to see the finish come out to the list list imports to witness the exciting conclusion of the 25 seconds 25 seconds to the gap that's that's not a huge gap 25 seconds to the gap riders can still come across Greg Lovell rode across all by himself 25 seconds is a gap on the pace is Sean Cudd as we approach mile 10 here on the George Price Highway heading into the city. Byron Pope on his wheel. He's asking, Sean is asking Byron for, 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 to help and Byron said no, no, no. So Sean is not happy. Sean is asking, let's go. There is Dijan taking over the pace. There is Fernando Rosado. There is uh, the young Oran Gabriel. Okay. So Pope, Pope feels that he's feeling good. Pope definitely is feeling good as Pope is not assisting these guys. Pope is not assisting these guys. I think Pope will attack them. He's feeling good. He won the race last week. So he's saying, guys, I just won a race last week. So it's uh, you, you guys to, to, um, to try to win yours today. And it's Byron Pope sitting on the back here. Um, <clears throat> still on the front is young Goran Gebel as we pass mile 10. This is where the zone will close. No more, no more feeding, no more liquid. That's it. When you see the red flag, the red flag, the gap, um, the, the service zone is closed. You can only take on. You can only take on, uh, you only can get a mechanical service, no more food. And there's an attack by Greg Lovell. Greg Lovell, I, thought, I believe he thinks that's a station prize. So that's not a station prize. That's not a station prize. I believe he thought that was a station prize, but that, that's the gap for us. <laughs> yes, he was tricked by that Greg Lovell. He rode across and sprinted for that, 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 that flag, but it was the service zone that was closed. It's not a, 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 a prize. Uh, I'm on a back, so I'm on final, that, 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 is, that is zone closed. Yeah. So seven riders up front, Greg Lovell. Jocelyn Jr., Fernando Rosado, Young Dijon Hyde, Sean, um, Sean Cudd, Byron Pope, Goran Gabriel. And you can see the riders coming in the distance. They're just approaching the climb. They, they, they are communicating. They are, they, are, they are talking. They are talking amongst themselves. So. Um, who has the numbers right here? And Dijan is attacking them. Dijan is out of his alley. He's rocking in. He has raised the, the pierce to, so they were doing like some 22 miles an hour. Now it's raised up to 26 miles an hour. Dijan in the front driving the pierce, followed by Byron Pope, followed by, by Fernando Rosado, Goran Gabriel, Shankar, Justin Jr., and Greg Lovell as they are make, making their way towards mile nine. And nine. It's still seven riders out front. Straight on the pace is Justin Jr. He don't want the group to come back. He's the sole rider for fall. No Byron Pope. Um, free wheels as Fernand jump on the wheel of uh, Justin Jr. Byron will um, free wheel and watch his rider go up the road and then attack him. So Sean Cut have take up that. Sean Cut have take up that um, initiative to close the gap down and Justin and Fernando Rosado. Yeah, he's young Goran paying keen attention in the fourth position. Here comes Greg Lovell. Dijan Hard at the back along with Byron Pope. The way Baron Pope is riding, he's feeling awesome, he's feeling good. You can see the expression in his face when you're out there. You can look at the riders, look in their face, and you can see their body language tell you something. In this climatic condition, it's very hot. 
Sean Card waving his arms so to ask someone to come on the pace. Ferdinand was at a few wheels. Um, you don't want to run up. Uh, Sean Card is telling me, well, the guys will come on back and catch you. Uh, uh, this is fun out here to see these riders as they ride. But kudos to all these riders who come out to ride 120 miles today in this blistering heat, folks. We have to give them kudos. Um, it's no fun as um, young Goran Gabriel say you don't want to pace, and young Goran Gabriel is on the front with a bat. He's going to hit them. And young Goran Gabriel have picked up the pace to about 27 miles an hour. He's driving it. Goran Gabriel feeling good. He's driving it. Young Goran Gabriel, a gap is open up. Goran Gabriel pushing it. He's up to 29 miles an hour. Young Goran Gabriel pushing it hard. He's been marked by Fernand Rosado and Jocelyn Jr. The small gap have opened up between themselves and uh, Greg Lovell. Here comes. Um, Sean Card, how much? 35 seconds, official 35 seconds, 35 seconds, so you open up 10 more seconds. So if those guys don't get serious, this could be it because we are inching closer and closer to the finish line there at the Leslie's Imports where an exciting conclusion of this race, the fifth annual Jamaican Mount Cook Classic, 120 miles, a, a test for the upcoming cross country in just about three weeks' time. Yes, folks, it's still going on the front, cranking up some 26 miles an hour. He's been followed by Fernando Rosado and Jocelyn Tavaria Jr. Here comes Dijan Hyde trying to make it back. Here, here's Byron Pope sitting on the wheel of Sean Card. Sean can see that the gap is opening and Sean Card decides, I will go across Byron Pope right on the wheel of Sean Card. Here comes um, Greg Lovell sitting on the wheel of Byron Pope as they close the gap to the three lead riders as we make our way towards the roundabout here at mile eight, folks. It's getting closer to the finishing line. When he passes, the, the, the finishing line is at, at, at mile one. So if we have mile eight, so it's only seven miles remaining in this event, seven miles remaining. If the crowd, if the group at the back want to make it over, it's time to come over because once they get closer to the finish line, it will be much harder. Much harder. There is Henry Moreira, Henry Moreira there enjoying the race. There is Mr. Richard Santiago as we make our way around the roundabout, passing through the eight miles community. The fans are out cheering there. It's Floyd Williams you know, cheering on. There's the fans on the side cheering on. Take away closer, closer to the city. The fans at mile eight as they cheer on the riders. And Goran Gabriel again on the front driving it. Young Goran Gabriel, the tall figure of Goran. And he's stretching these guys like stretch my butt. He's chewing them and he's spitting them out. Young Goran Gabriel picking up the pace some 33 miles an hour. I see on the garment. Yes, the garment is saying 33 miles an hour. Drop down to 30 miles. Goran Gabriel stretching them. Look at them. Um, um, Fernando is trying to fight to stay on the wheel of Goran. Goran is pushing the pace hard as he approaches. Yes, Fernando have. Surrendered for none and is in trouble. Justin Jr. on the wheel of um, Goran as he slows. There is Shankar coming back to the wheel. Um, and Ferdinand have paid for his effort. Ferdinand, a gap have opened up. Ferdinand have paid for that. Let us see if we hang in and if these guys will slow and he will come back. Here comes Greg Lovell. Here comes Greg Lovell. As a gap have been opened up, Ferdinand Rosado will crawl his way back if these guys feel. But it's um, Justin on the front driving it, pulling off as we just pass the Frosa. Uh, factory heading towards the city folks come out folks come out at the finishing line if you want to see an exciting conclusion I hope you guys are enjoying this thing I hope I'm bringing it live into your living room and to you Fernando Rosada have made it back as the guys have lol Fernand have Ros uh, made it back Baron won't help so Baron is speaking to his his teammate let me see um if he's coming and on the front again is no other than Jocelyn Jr. on the front followed by Sean Card here is Rosado on the wheel of Jocelyn um Baron tell him right up front right up front so the gap the last time was 35 minutes. I don't think these guys will come back. That will be difficult. We are approaching mile seven. We are approaching mile seven. So it's about six miles. And the gap is very, I can, I can see the riders. So last time it was 35 seconds, 35 seconds to the gap. Here are the seven riders up front. <laughs> seven riders up front as they are trying to make their way over to, towards, head towards the city. I see Shankar. Dancing on his pedal is Young Goran Gable on the front again. Young Goran Gable on the front. My driver has slowed up a bit. I guess he's waiting to see where the, the back crew who is chasing. But I know Alicia supposed to be back here. Oh, they have shed. They have shed. Yeah, and Young Young um, Young Dijan Hyde was shed in that attack. But Dijan is trying to ride his way across. Dijan Dijan Hyde coming coming back trying to ride his way across to the the riders up front. Young Dijan Hyde wears number 91. He was dropped. And then that's vicious um, piercing by young, by young Bohr and Gabriel as we head towards mile seven. When uh, young Richard Hyde is trying to ride back to the stop. One was 
106 is the new gap 106. I don't think they will make it back. 106, 106, we only have some five miles remaining. And on the front, Justin driving it. On the wheel of Justin is no other than Byron Pope. Here is Sean Cut. Here is uh, Fernando Rosado, Young Goran Gabriel, Emmanuel, and Lisa Barrage of hard piercing just now, putting guys in trouble, tuning up and them spinning out. Sean Cut using a monster gear as he jogs out of his saddle. Goran, um, um, Sean Cut on the front, riding for G Flow. Um, and I think Palace are happy with how Sean ride today. Um, because you have two G, um, two West Truck, I'm a free wheel, they make a West Truck, they have to win it. So Sean, the Sean is talking, eh? Sean is telling something. If I had a Sean, I'd sit in and talk, eh? <laughs> I'm just a commentator though, so um, we're just talking race strategy of you know being cyclists. Um, I I would um, Byron Pope ride very smart. I um, really they, they pay attention because whenever any guy go, he have two riders himself and um, and Fernando and Young Dijon Hard have made it across. Young Dijon Hard shaking his head, he have made it across. Yeah, yeah. Man says something palace, but Young Dijon Hard have ride across. You have caught up back to the lead group here on the George Price Highway in the fifth annual Jamaican Mount Cope Cycling Classic, 120 miles of pain and suffering right now. Their legs are screaming, their lungs are screaming, their heart rate is through the roof, folks. I know, you know, you guys are watching on your TV, probably drink a beer. And here goes Young Gore and Gabriel again. Young Gore and Gabriel picking up the pace and leashing a mad pace. And a small gap have opened to Young, young um, Dijan. Dijan is trying to hold that gap. And the gap have opened up again, and Young Goran Geba driving it like crazy. He's doing some 29 miles an hour. He slows. The Baron Pope is right on his wheel with um, Jocelyn Jr. Here comes Sean Card. Here comes Fernando Rosado, Greg Lovell, and, and um, Young Dijon Hyde, who, who caught back, and he was stretched out a little again, but he's making his, his way, he's riding his way back. Folks, we are approaching the Burton Creek Bridge here at mile six. So after that, it's only five miles to the finish. It's only five miles to the finish. Who will it be, folks? Who will it be? Will, will there be a repeat? Will there be a repeat of um, Baron Pope winning back-to-back -back races? Or will it be get a surprise from some other? But Baron Pope looks extremely strong, folks. He does look extremely strong. And he has a, 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 a faithful lieutenant in the young, the young upcoming superstar, young Fernando Rosado, doing his thing out here in the break earlier this morning, still here, doing excellent. So, huge, Mr. Rosado, kudos to your son, Fernando. He's definitely doing his thing out here, showing that he's maturing, becoming a serious elite rider as we just passed mile six here, the bridge, heading towards the city, folks. Come out, come out, come out, come out at the Leslie's Impulse to witness the conclusion. Of the or will the bullet surprise him? The bullet, the sprinter is here in the likes of Greg Lovell, Belize and Bullet is here. He is the big sprinter. So let us see if the Bullet will out sprint Baron Pope in today's event. The Bullet rode across himself. So he's feeling good. He's representing his brother, Giovanni, who seems to have some kind of issue today. I'm not sure if he had a stomach issue. He had a mechanical, but he was way at the back heading into where he didn't reach Bonfan. I saw him at the back and he, there was a grimace on his face. So I'm not sure what was happening to, to Giovanni. Probably I get a little interview with him if he's at the finishing of race to find out what happened. On the front again is no other than Sean Card. Uh, people will question why Sean Card is on the front, knowing that his teammate at the back is only Sean Card on the front, and he waves his hand. Uh, if I was Sean, like I said, he'll sit in, make the, uh, make the, the West Truck rider ride. But Pope is right there, riding smart like a, like a shark or like a, uh, a hawk, looking to pounce on his prey. Young Guran on the PS, Young Guran on the PS, Young Guran Gabriel on the PS, doing some 22 miles an hour. One minute, one minute is the gap. One minute is the gap. One minute is the gap. Yes, we are approaching all Belize. We are approaching all Belize. And the Sean on the front again, Sean Card on the front driving it. Sean Card on the front driving it. Followed by Fernando Rosado. There is the bullet in third place. Young Goran Gable and, um, and Justin Jr. side by side. Baron Pope sitting there, shaking his legs, ready, getting ready for the sprint. Baron Pope looking good. I uh, wonder if Baron Pope would hit them hard just before the thing here is the young Dijon Hyde who have rode back. A small gap have been opened up, but he have rode back to the front of the race. Sean can pull off the pace. We just about to pass in front of the old Belize compound folks. And it's the bullet on the front, Baron Pope sitting in paying keen attention. He will not go on the front. Um, he's riding smart. 
the guys made for attack, but uh, Byron is a very smart rider. He just won the West Truck Mapan Cycling Classic just a week ago, and he's right here again in the mix of things. There's my, there's um, Dem Mayak, my, um, my school teacher has spoke about. As you pass, all Belize heading into the city, folks. We just some four miles from the conclusion of this exciting event. I hope you had a ball today. Some hunt. I oh. So <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think if it was intentional. And yeah, Justin Chavaria, Justin Chavaria Jr. is attacking Justin Chavaria Jr. and immediately. Uh, immediately, uh, Fernand Rosado and the wheel of Justin Chavria. Here comes Young Goran Gebal. Three, a gap have been opened up. A gap have been opened up. The three riders just up front. Goran, um, Goran Gebal, Justin Jr. and Fernando Rosado. Goran looking back and stepping on the pierce. Doing, Goran stepping on the pierce. Yeah, open a little, he's looking to open a gap. Goran on the pierce. Doing some 28 miles an hour. Go, um, uh, Fernando fighting to, to reach the wheel. He's open a small gap about two by six lengths. And Fernando has to surrender that. So, um, have surrendered. Goran looking back to see where these guys are, and he continues to fell away. And Ferdinand is continuing to try to close it back. Goran Gable stretching these guys, hitting them hard with the baseball bat. Yes, Goran Gable, young Goran Gable out of the Syria camp. And um, Chav and Ferdinand is trying to ride back to his wheel. They are looking back, Justin out of his saddle, out of his saddle, trying to close the gap to Fernando, Ros um, um, to Goran Gable, Rosado, a small gap. Here comes Baron Pope. Baron Pope coming over with a balls of flame. He's going straight over Baron Pope, where he's on the heading over straight to the wheel of um, Chav and Goran Gable, Baron Pope going over. He's looked the strongest. There is Shankar, there is um, Greg Lovell, and they have opened a gap on young um, Dijan Hyde and Fernando Rosado. Baron Pope on the front now, Baron Pope passed on the front. There is uh, Goran Gable. He gave that last burst of energy. Or oh, let us see if he have more in the bag as we see fans lying the highway as the guys are slowing. They are, they are playing cat and mouse, like uh, Mr. Gonza said, they play cat and mouse. Shankar and the pace. Baron Pope immediately jumped on the wheel of Shankar. Here is um, <clears throat> Justin Jr. Justin Jr. Here is Fernando. He has made it back. Here is Goran Gebel. They are coming back. They are coming back. The seven riders up front have all come back. Look at the line of legal and the tarmac as they wave the cyclists, the fans on the side. As, as they. So. They are waving through traffic, they are waving through traffic, we are out in front of these guys, these guys play cat and mouse, those guys can close that gap to the finish. We are not too far, we are approaching the checkpoint here at mile four, four the entrance to the Coast Guard, and it's still the, the riders up front, we are making our way towards the city. Here comes the riders, here comes the riders. We stay by their side as we go into the city. We are approaching mile four. We are just some uh, three miles away from the finishing of this annual classic, the Jamaican Monk Hope Cycling Classic, some, 20 some 120 miles of pain and suffering. On the front is no other than Fernando Rosado, and these guys are riding pretty slow let me see if the gap is closed and we can see riders in the distance let me see somebody is coming across yes riders are coming across riders are coming across i'm trying to see who the riders are riders are coming across riders are about to hitch up to the to this um lead group and it's cello it's no other than cello no other than angel zippers he blew past the group he, Immediately, um, Bob Gable, Bob Gable have come across and Cello with a burst of speed blow across the, the field. Cello stomping on his pedal. There is Bob Gable, there is um, Justin Jr. out of his saddle trying to reach the wheel of um, Cello. And he has it. There is uh, Fernando Rosado, Pops in the back here, Shankar. Shankar um, have to make a choice to chase it. Um, young Dijan Hyde right there on the wheel of Shankar. There is Baron Pope, there is um, Goran Gable and Greg Lovell. As um, cello free wheels and um, the only right to stay on the wheel. Poor Pena. So, um, poor the Halata, um, when you don't pierce, don't pierce, don't pierce because you're right up front. Yes, um, Baron is on the wheel of young um, Dijan Hyde. The up front is Jocelyn Jr. and cello. Jocelyn Jr. and cello. I believe Pope is playing a, a teammate today. 
he won't go across. He's lowing um, Cello to ride up front along with Jocelyn Junior to give him a chance to win that race. But Byron sitting right on the wheel. Let us see who Sean Cad have decided. It's getting dangerous. The gap, the gap is opening. And Sean Cad again coming up to the front to chase down the two riders, um, Jocelyn Junior and Cello as uh, Sean Cad um, on the pace. He's been followed by Fernando Rosado. There is um, young Dijon Hyde. The Bullet have decided to jump across. We just passed the old Belize um, Cisco Construction entrance. We are drawing close at the finish, folks. We are just some two miles to away from the finishing line. Here is Bob Gable, Byron Pope, paying keen attention, folks. Yes, he's paying keen attention as the two riders just up front, just a few bicycle lengths. There is young Dijon Hyde, young Dijon Hyde, well, number 91, pushing it hard, closing the gap, and those steely riders. And there is Byron Pope sitting like a half, looking at his prayer. There is the bullet. He's right behind the bullet. There is Sean Cut. Who will it be, folks? Who will you have your money on? Who will it be in this exciting finish here? Uh, in the fifth running of the Ernest Main Mount Cup Classic, they are closing the gap, Sean Cad, closing the gap to the two lead riders. We are almost at the mile three post. And it's Justin giving his all. Justin Javier giving his all. Justin Javier Jr. giving his all. He's been followed by Cello. There is Sean Cad closing the gap with every pedal stroke. As they look back where they realize that these guys are right on their wheel. Justin dancing out of pedal trying to make it cross, but it's still cello on the front and he will give it all. Byron um, William is asking for help, but there's no help. There's no help. As Sean Cad is asking for help and and Byron is balling, he's healing. He said, no, Fernando, Fernando, feel it. And he said, Fernando, you don't chase, you don't chase. Your teammate is up there. Let us see if they will attack. See, Byron is telling him something. Let us see if we are approaching the far road on the boat. Byron Pope is allowing the gap to pry open again. He has come on the front and free wheel. He's playing the role of super domestic. Let us see. Bob Gable decide. Bob Gable have decided that he will ride across. Bob Gable in a monster gear. Byron Pope immediately respond. Immediately, young boy and Gable respond. Um, the bullet respond. And um, here comes, here comes, look at the teeth. And Sean Cad is back. And Bob Gable is riding his way across. Byron Pope and the wheel of Byron Cad, of, um, of Bob Gable. Folks, is, is getting exciting as we are approaching the roundabout. We are just about a mile or so from the finishing. Who will it be, folks? As Bob Gable is riding out himself across to the two lead riders and Justin Jr. and Cello Angel Zib. We are passing the Fabas Road on about. The fans are out looking on as they are closing the gap to the two lead riders. It's six riders up front, six lead riders up front, six riders up front as they have caught. Bob Gable have caught the lights. They have opened the gap. Here comes Sean Card. Um, when you have paid the price, um, young Fernando have paid the price. They have come to a lull. They have come to a lull. They have caught the two riders. It's Bob Gable on the other side pushing it. We are just about a mile away from the finishes, folks. I hope you are out at the um, when Bob Gable digging in deep, digging deep. And Baron Pope, Baron Pope, after the wheel of um, Bob Gable, Bob, um, Baron Pope chasing on wheel with easy style. And Justin Jr. is there. Baron Pope with the fittest of all right now. Who will it be, folks? Who will it be? Will be Baron Pope win a back to back race. And as young as uh, there's Cello, there's young Dijon Hyde, his mouth is he's sucking for air. There is Sean Card as they come to a lull. There is um Justin on the front. No, the cat and mouse start, the cat and mouse start to the finish. The cat and mouse will start to the finish. And um, the young Fernando will ride will try to ride across as Pope, Pope is looking back to see where his teammates are. Pope is right here, sitting in like a half paying attention. Riders are riding all around the cycle. There's an attack by Cello again. Cello is attacking as we are approaching the we're not too far. It's just about a half mile from the finish. Byron Pope right there. Let us see who will it be, folks. Who will it be as we are heading towards the finish? We are just, we can see the finishing line as we go over this bump. It's Shell on the front, followed by Justin Jr., followed by Byron Pope, followed by young Goran Gable, folks. We are heading towards the finishing line. This will be an all-out sprint by these guys. Yes, it will be an all-out sprint. Goran Gable, and Bob, yes, Bob Gable giving his all. Byron, um, Bob Gable giving his all. Byron Pope out of his all. The bullet out of his saddle. They are chasing the wheel of Bob Gable. Bob Gable, wind up in the big chair. Bob Gable, Byron Pope, the bullet. Byron Pope, Byron Pope, Byron Pope, Byron Pope, Byron Pope, Byron Pope, Byron Pope will win back to back race. Followed by, by, um, by Greg Shankard. Byron Pope, back to back champion. Back to back champion. Byron Pope, back to back champion in the. Byron Pope, back to back champion. In the Jamian, the Ernest Mian Memorial Race, here comes, here comes Fernando. Today, an exciting race. Baron Pope back to back champion last week and this week. Like I said, Baron Pope looked pretty strong. We await other riders as they come in.
we have and we await other riders coming in. Let me see who the rider that is coming there. Byron Pope, the back to back champion, Matthew Cruz, good morning. Here comes that the seems seamster the riding style of Wasani Kasho. Wasani Kasho coming in the distance. Wasani Kasho coming in to finish his race. We can see a mad dash for the line, a group of riders coming in. We get who the names of those riders. Here comes Wasani Kasho as he passes the finishing line. Wasani Kasho. So I tell you on paper, the West Rock sighting team is the best right now. Here comes Smokes Gun. Here comes Smokes Gun. Here comes another West Rock rider, Carlton Robinson. Here comes Javin Gonzalez, Richard Santiago, Henry Lee, B. Wade, B12. Liam Stewart, Giovanni, oh, it's jo Giovanni Lovell, I made it back there, it's Giovanni Lovell and Eric Trapp. So, Giovanni did a hell of a ride, he did make it back, he did make it back to that main field of riders, folks. OMG, um, out of breath, but that was exciting, like I said, the West Rock really rode awesome today. We still await other riders coming, I can see young, young Rain and Card coming in, there comes young um, Wendell Williams Jr. Here comes Rain and Card, who was in the break earlier in the morning. Oh. <clears throat> we are here out here at Old Belize. The fans are lining the side of the highway, cheering on the riders as they come to finish this event, the fifth annual morning, the fifth annual. Jamin Monko Classic, 120 miles. This is a big test. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Andrew Gab. Um, remember what I said? Time management, you know, see? Hope they're smart, then, guys. They make sure they manage that gap perfect. And, you know, had that, that chance to come across and Byron rode across um, along with um, what the other rider and came to, to capture the finish. He was riding like a general today again paying attention yeah gian hansen out of breath but enjoy the every moment of the race enjoy every the moment of the race as we can see the fans will get interviews in a while yeah just wait for see if other riders to come in then i get interviews with byron more riders are coming in there's no one i can see in the site so i'll try to get interview with um the wash truck rider the cycling team i want to get um, interviewed with the champion of the day byron pope all right over to byron pope the champion of the day Looking for Baron Pope. Where where Baron? Where Baron? Where Baron? Come back, sir. I'm going to take a look at interview. Man, he's going to take a look at and it's very, 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 very hot out here. Um, I look for Sebastian Byron, but I see Giovanni. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Yes, man. Yes, man. Anytime. You know, I'm going to go to the house. 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 The bullet, I want to talk to the bullet too, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but I, uh, no, I want to ask, um, I want to ask Giovanni. Giovanni, I said, like, wrong mal for the two, like, so you had some issues on it, the mechanical, if the, you had some kind of pain or what, what, what was it? 
I problem I feel like my real ones. Um, okay. Okay. Um, mechanical problem. Mechanical problem. Okay. Because I, 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 I swap like and then step long to get on the bike and then swap again to step long and there was playing too much. Yeah. So I had a hell of a chasing back there, me and uh, Wendell. Mm. And, uh, he told me how he could and gave my last by, by, by my gate bridge and a bridge mm. drive. So I must say thanks to my um, sponsors them out there. Um, um, he is Steve Benedict and Son, um, Giselle, Connor Road Ridge, and um, Global Cycling. All right. Thanks very much. All right. Good ride there, my dear. Um, bye. Hmm. It's now rough. Um, the bullet, you're back. Greg Lovell, Greg, Greg, I see you rode across all by yourself. You rode across to the, the guys up front. And I said, man, if the bullet coin the man have good a good chance because he's um, one of the best sprinter believes um used to have in the days, but I know that Byron was riding smart. So um you rode across, you rode excellent. I see you're, you're spending the energy, you sprint for the prize. I think at the mass, but it was a closing zone, it was not the um the, the uh, prize. But how how you how you feel today? Yeah, I feel very good. Let's make sure um, when I say I'm sure you can do it properly. Because when you raise it, it's in French. 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 It's in I make sure I do a couple of long rides before this race because the last race I never liked the results of that one. So I make sure I put in the work on get it up race. And the race is uh, very easy because the way all these guys ride, they like to uh, free wheel and they make it much easier for me, you know. And uh, yeah, here's the time to try to get to the cars I know Giovanni never run again. So uh, my father tell me I'm the only one left, so I have to try to win the race. Yeah. So um, I know that anything possible, I learned from the um, international cyclists and especially Jamin. When he was a sprinter, uh, one break go down the road, he intend to be, um, bridge across. That's why he have the name Bridget, no? So I don't say. Um, I just remember Jamie, no? As, as, as I'm riding, Greg, well, keep up the um, The next big test is the annual whole Saturday Cross Country race. So, yeah, where I tell you, Mr. Um, the. the um, the um the honorable Anton Mala came by the shop yesterday and he said there's a ten thousand dollars first place and five one thousand dollars per um, um, station price on the highway so you know that the foreign invaders will come in they want those prices those are so huge prices giving up for the upcoming whole set across country yes yes um the um, believer um, cyclists need to work together whenever we get into break and stuff like that um we can't wait and hold back whenever we see far go down the road we have to try to um, uh, at least don't let them go too far because the gap will open up and uh, these foreigners are used to those um, fast crits and they are fast so they know how to get away very easily so we can't underestimate the foreigners especially the guys that ride the pro crit all right yeah. so so um those guys ride where there's altitude the race is short but um they ride equivalent to our, our um, type of ride no yeah, uh, well, good good luck on the upcoming uh, whole Saturday cross country race, you and your, your entire team, right? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's like um, big up the Coast Guard, no? Okay, good. Um, Mr. Bennett, that gave us the time to uh, work out, no? And part of this is work. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck again, right? So, speaking to... To, um, to Greg there, let me see. I want to get some more interviews. I want to see, I look for other riders. What's I look for? I want to go and give a when, when, when we are finishing, guys, and scatter like skittles. Uh, looking for Baron Pope. Oh, I guess I'm going to walk up by the, the West Truck. Um, the West Truck. Walk up to the West Truck team. Team uh, vehicle. There's some more interviews in this fifth annual. Jamin Mong, uh, Mong Po Classic, 120 miles, like I said, this was a monster. I mean, this is a test for the riders for the upcoming whole Saturday cross-country race coming up in three. Yes, sir, good morning. Good afternoon or morning or whatever. 
trying to go over to the West Rock, see if I get an interview with the team West Rock there. They, they did an awesome job. No traffic? All right. Somebody have a lead drone up there, so. So, oh, yes, I have to talk to the young man, Rosado. All right, good man, awesome. Who, 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 who control it? Who control it? Oh, the young man, all right, good. Yes, man. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So I walk over to the West Rock. I think I need to get an interview with this young man, Fernando Rosado, who is making a hit on the cycling scene. This kid is growing into, is maturing or half Gorian, so I want to see Gorian, I have to talk to Gorian. Uh, so I have a lot of interviews. Guys, not going to wear, I need some interviews. Young Gorian Gabriel, Gorian. Where you got a angel from? And then you made a hit song, 30 miles, or you, you, you made a tune out, um, spin out like, um, like chewing gum. Um, well, you may try, you may try um, see who you can separate and come to the city all alone. Yeah, I know I can't really be four in a sprint because it's be really far, so the only way I know I come in the window is if I come with other people. So mm. I just may try to talk and separate. Right. Yeah. So. yeah, you wrote, uh, you wrote uh, some because I think you one spell you, you and who come across? I remember you and somebody come across, and I seen Poppy come across to the um. To the gap when yeah, front, yes, yeah, Poppy wrote yeah, right there, but of course, Poppy, might help you. So, you, you wrote, yeah. So when you when you when you when you come across when you come across um I mean Pop now assist you because you have a team up there and you rode across by yourself so it's sure that you're in great farm, you are a tall rider, so you know rider so riders like riders like you because they could sit down and get a lot of shelter at you, but you showing that you are not afraid you will go there and do um all you can uh, to try to win this race. Yeah. yeah. So you're looking forward to the upcoming whole such cross country race? Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. Well let me tell you. Uh, the uh, the um, the honourable um, um, Anthony um, Mala, along with the BTB, they give a ten thousand dollars cash prize for the first place and five one thousand dollars prize along the, the course. So that's a huge prize already. Along the way. We hope to um, we hope to see you there you know, winning some of those prizes, right? All right, good going. Yeah, we we're talking to going. Which I hear me say something about them, but they're not ready for cross country. Why, why, me say? Say, boy. Say, boy, that Liam the best for them, Mr. Liam the best for them. Come on, we're not here, sir, but when you look for it, we're not here, sir. What are you doing, Rich? Yeah, but then when cross country comes, you don't know the truth, only like five or four divisions are coming out of the afternoon. Well, 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 Poppy went back to back, so he showed that Poppy is in great form, and he rides smart. They have a whole team about them. Uh, I think I seven, seven riders. Seven? Yeah, uh, I think I seven. Well, okay, well, it shows that, that they are um, making yeah, it. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, good luck, right? Yes, yes man. I'll see you then. But, what about what about one gun? All right, I'll come in now. now. Young Fernando Rosado, my brother. I, when you go, if you go back watching, you see all the big up. You are definitely a rising star. You the out front, you cover so much attack. You pierce, you know, they, they drop you, you come back. It shows that you are coming in from you are mature. How old are you? 22? 20. 20 years old. By you and being champion soon, man. I mean, the way you ride, you are definitely, you know, raising the bar. I mean, I, I watch you in the past races and you are definitely showing consistency. You're showing that you can you can ride up front, you can ride in break, you can recover because you guys were running all morning when the crowd come cross and attack you were in that break again. Uh, how do you feel, um, Fernando, going into this big hole such as the race? Well, I feel that with the camp we are in, um, I believe it's paying off for all of us, and I have to thank everybody because all the teammates because they really motivate me. I have a problem and that are my confidence when I race, mm -hmm. and each and every one of my teammates really, really tell me. No be afraid, no be afraid, and mm -hmm. that will help me put that here in my head because I always feel like I don't have that confidence in myself to push. I feel like I have it in my legs, but I'm not confident enough. But um, with the help of everybody, Mr. Banegas, Mr. Plum, Mr. Garbutt, um, the whole team, it's one was struck, Mark. Um, in the camp, we, we train hard, and it's, 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 a, it's a sacrifice, but we are out here, and we, we show that it is paying off. 
And I want to thank you for bringing life to us. Well, I want to tell all of them once God give me life, whatever I have fun, I enjoy it. I know it's a long sitting, a long oh, lot of hours sitting in that um, uh, and motorcycle, but I know it's even rougher for you guys pending out there because, like I explained to people, when I say I don't have to, eat, you know, what, um, I say, um, what meals and wheels when you don't have to eat, you know, so I see the stuff and big sandwich down your mouth, you yeah. take, you take on water, you take on juice. Um, Bye, give me a juice, please, though, if you don't have any more left. Uh, I mean, um, you, I mean, awesome, keep up the awesome job and, you know, I love how the team. Um, um you do well. And then, uh, like I mentioned to the rest of the guys, uh, so Mr. The Honorable um, Anthony Mala visited me at the shop and he said, first place at 10000 that way um, uh, Anthony Mala and the BTB is giving $10,000 cash for the winner and he have five $1,000 prize. So that's when he, then my nephew, the son of Tosa, we have for the Erdunas and the, um, the, 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 the family uh, Watla and um, um, Venero family, we they have four two fifty four hundred and um, four two hundred and fifty dollars price. So so nice prices will be out there. So we're looking to see West Rock full up the basket, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, congrats again. Keep up the awesome job. Thanks, Mr. Yes, Mr. Vanegas. Yes, uh, yes, um, Fernando, Baron Pope, um, Eric Trap. I need the whole team. I like when the team is so good. The West Rock team seems like the number one. Where, where's Baron? Oh. oh. Baron, what's happening? Young Jaff, Jaff just come out on stretchy legs. Uh, Minister Castro. Hey, hey, princess. And Jai, Jai, the number one one. Huh? He didn't want to interview Jaff. Jai, I don't know how we did. Who win? Who win? Who win? Who win the race? Uh, West Track. He win the race? West Track win. Race, West Track win. West Track win. All right, okay. Yeah. That broke your bike? Oh, I broke my bike too? Oh, okay, you see, this baby is so smart. He said, Daddy broke his bike. You said, Daddy, man, you're right there, right? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. He win, all right. Uh, so I'm going to speak to Baron Pope. Baron, back to back champion. I mean, I. um. I on the live I was saying that um, that how smart the team is riding you are you are the general order because you give um, you you give the others you pay attention um, more than once you came across when other riders you allowed it seems that you were you were you were like today you wanted to be a domestic to, to let one of your riders win but whenever you know, chase along back you send them as rabbit and when they chase along back you had the opportunity on the end to um to to win a back to back um, classic you won the, the um, West Rock Belmont Pan Classic you no know, you can't win the German Classic how do you feel I mean I watch all this so and I could see in your face there's no there's no um signs of suffering and you the commander I see the other guys try to tell you, forget on your mind and you tell them no it's it's um uh, this is a um, game plan we have yeah uh, tell yes, the fans let's go next I got real real deep again today because I uh, I was the domestic I was doing a lot of riding early in the race for the team um but unfortunately the guys who we had designated for the win today um missed the split in the last and i said man i i'm kind of doubt myself because i was attacking i was piercing early so i said man i doubt myself but i started this our road where I've, I've trained a lot going out to mount top and coming back to the city i always do a good sprint on, on after a five to six hours ride so i know i, I pack a punch only one guy I was concerned with in the sprint was, was Greg Lovell because Greg Lovell has a really good pick too. And I had a little mess up with my shoes. The, the cable kind of slipped on the, the ratchet, so I couldn't tighten it to how I want. And, and Bob attacked with about uh, 500 meters to go, and he opened a gap for me. I said, I got to go now. And when I get up, I noticed nobody respond to my attack. And I just said, if I get, get him to Bob 16, I'm going to pass him and take it. So that's why I'm big up the team. Now the team really, really the right good. Well, we're not even get break to go nowhere with a park in a camp mm -hmm. for the next two or three weeks. And it really pay off with all the guys. We got a good understanding of each other. We good communication. Thanks to West Rock. One back battery is poor guard. Thanks to the fans. Thanks to the person who always motivates me. Boy, well, I'll tell you something. Earlier in the race, uh, it's a, it's a way up before we reach Bang on the way back, I asked the fans, who you think I win? And your good body there, Fitzgerald Palace, you always say he have poor people to win. So it's a poor pass. So 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 um so Fitzgerald Palace Joseph called it and he said that, that you will win the race and you eventually won the race. Um that's an old one I want to pick up my coach. Um uh, so Carl, for where I take the time off to work uh, with me, Carl. Uh,
I'm putting a lot of work. Yeah. It's been months after months that I remember when we first started in August. The guys were hitting us, calling us, bar builder, calling us this, calling us that, and now it's paying off. Mm -hmm. um, we got my team now. Fernando Rosado, big respect. Yeah. Eric Trapp, Wasan Castro, Jafari Castro, Sheehan Jones, Angel Zip, Carlton Robinson. All those guys are very important. The service team, Mr. Vanegas, Junior. Um, Kurt, um, Nardell, Mr. Plum, they put up our nice day to have we really the right wood right now. Um, what Shaka always have behind me to support you, get us what we need. And yeah. Thanks again, no? thanks to the fans who support the race, thanks to the sponsors, Mr. G Flow. Big up on yourself, man. Keep the sport alive, man. Uh, I must tell you before I go down, I don't know if you listen to it yet, but the Honorable Anthony Mala, along with the BTB, the first place is $10,000 cash. For the cross country? Yes, and he's given away five $1,000 station prizes along the highway. So it's a $15,000 cash that will be given away. So I, I, I want him on exchange that I'll tell the man give a house. Give a house better. <laughs> yeah. So you know, something ten thousand dollars, we have to spend it for one of the value house and things. Well, I, 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 <laughs> well, I guess the man I hear this, so yeah, hopefully, well, thanks, yeah, we appreciate yeah. everything. Yes, yeah, yeah, so, you know, so you know that the sport needed. You know that the highway will definitely be under fire. I can't. Yes, and once again, the far, the far, the far invaders are coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm mostly jam jam public for the dusty lead time. Now while we're out there train right now, putting the work for the cross country. Please bear with us and give us a few seconds. Uh, time now. And the, the guys, there, yeah, a lot of guys in the park this morning, maybe they suspect me, I just want my cool and cussing up and that kind of thing. And I was doing Sometimes I, I sit down and I say, why guys hit me? And I don't know why I do today. I don't know about nothing. I just stay humble. I stay far from what is when you listen. I come over the side of my boss. I don't want to feel them. You just need to stop. Yeah. Well, congrats again, Byron, um, on your second big victory. Um, you know, continue, and in three weeks' time, the big whole set across country. We are speaking to Byron Pope. Uh, interview. We have some more riders to go interview. Um, I want to see Dijon Hyde. All right, Pope. Thanks. I uh, head up the side. Oh, I want to interview that young, young Alana Will Jr. So we leave here with the West Rock crew. <laughs> Oh, Jivin Gonzalez is here. Jivin Gonzalez. Let me say a few of the Jivin. Yeah. He's congratulating the West Truck team. That's real sportsmanship. Jivin Gonzalez just back from the US. Jivin. Uh, uh, Jivin. So, Jivin Gonzalez, being a sportsman, congratulating the West Truck riders on their awesome ride. But I have a few words with him. Yeah. 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 The buck, silver buck is back in the city. Um, you had a fall castle like a jersey. How many dirt money did you fall? Yeah, yeah. You had a crash by him. Oh, crash by God. I see, yeah, I see, I see your, your machine where you had punctured or what, what happened? The salary made a drop down. Oh, salary made a drop down. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're, you're just back in the country. You're getting up for climatized back. You would ask some, um, I tell I the live, I say, you like security, you. Yeah, I can't pull us off our face now that um, you, you don't have no flight risk, so you just can't jump on the plane without getting um, authorities, right? So I tell you that today you don't you, you made a hold that, that position there, but a few men get away for you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, a tough race, you know, I have to give respect to the, um, the West Rock team. Hey guys, it's solid, so I accept defeat, you know, we just have to go back on and try and go on, you know. Do it over again, you know, cross country at a big dance, and we still, still have a lot of work to do. And really can't do much in a three weeks, but we try to put in something then. Had fun, race me hard, you know, like, you know, like, you don't know which break one go for, no go. Find the race start, you know, I'm a straight, straight wire to the, until the end, you know. Yeah. No, but it is what it is, and yeah. yeah. Uh, have to be better. Yeah. Have to shout out me, the team, you know, Sean Carroll, excellent. My, also, my team, my friend, and the police, 
uh, Chris Christopher, the entire team, you know. The young, um, the young Renan, middle of the floor. Yeah, Renan, Renan. Renan really helped me a lot, you know. But uh, I wait too late to him. Um, I take too long to my gym, like, so I'm ready to come back. Okay. Good. I know it's you, you know. Yeah. I want to know anything, you know, like I tell all the riders. Uh, the um, Honorable Anthony Mala, they give uh, with the BTV, they give one ten thousand dollars first place cash prize for the person who win across country, and they also give five one thousand dollars prize along the um, station prize along the way. So they, they race and have a lot of money for putting in the basket. So I know we will have to go 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 in check and see which prize you want to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's good, you know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, show to me, uncle, you know, the entire family, you know, they're behind me. Continue to do this thing, you know, uh, very tough sports, you know, you know, anybody who come out and ride on biking at the seat, especially the breeze, we get breeze two way, yeah. that, that, that make the race even harder, yeah. you know, show the uh, new levels barbershop in LA, you know, show the PMA crowd in LA, everybody show me some nice routes, you know, and I'm in LA, putting some, putting some okay. good training, you know. if I miss anybody, very sorry about that, I was tired, you know, so I don't right. think I don't think I did what I'm doing, you know, yeah, all right, make the legs, make the legs yes, cool, long, you know, but big respect to everybody, one love, congrats to Pope also, and the, the entire peloton, they're on, a, they're on a good level, you know, I think, if we ride it smart on Belize and Cook, um, yeah, man. win the cross country and all right. Yeah, see how you go for there, you know. All right, cool, dive in well, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Huh? I believe so, yes. So, Jerome, buy anybody have anything cool for a drink or run out of Papa. I don't know why we're skiing. I don't know why we're skiing. We tried to pick up. Oh, where are you? Go ahead, go, 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 drink, no, Mr. Donis, tired, where you are, red chocolate, go, go, drink, tell us, Mr. Donis, where are you, red chocolate, yeah, tell the way down, what, the way today, okay, so, I try to get more interviews, until then, hello for me, for the, um, for the, um, Prize giving ceremonies. I want to write that to give an interview with Nisha Nisigiri. Yeah, and right there. Hi. Huh? Sean Cad. Why? You're back. Looking good. Yeah. I see uh, you, 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 you do uh, your, your try some attacks. Um, you cover a lot of break. You came across. Um, you brought the whole moving cross. When you come across, um, you are somebody come across. I can't remember who you come across. Oh. Oh, no, you come across by yourself. To, to to the, the lead um, the lead seven or something I saw remember um, somewhere yeah, away, yeah, uh, when, yeah you come cross when we get by uh -huh. I come cross by myself by yourself right by right myself. by yourself by yourself you come cross after that after when they catch me back I sit in and I try to recover and try to see him like towards the finish line for them got more legs to yeah. finish but overall eh, remember that bad yeah up and then and we just have to go home and do a little homework and put in some more work, okay. and we should come up on top. Well, I don't know if you're here, but um, you know that the Honorable Anthony Mala, along with the BTV, they gave one $10,000 cash prize for the first place, and five $1,000 prize along the road. So I know you like jump out and run, so you have to try to capture some of the prizes for your team. Well, I we'll have to try to go out and do some labor for the team, eh? Yes, man. Yeah. The plan? Yes, I... Uh, well, keep up the awesome job and you just return, but then you know, I'll keep the awesome job. Well, I want to pick up my sponsor too. Well, Sakhalin always, he always did it for you. He always makes things come true. We are just trying to give the man big thanks and to everybody who supports the flow. And especially to you, Mr. Sado. You always out there to make this thing happen and make it hype, make everybody enjoy themselves home. Yes, man. Yes, yeah. sir. Mr. Sakhalin, look at me now. All right, cool. Yes, sir. Yes, Sean. Yes, man. Awesome job. Nation is together, you're okay with the back, but I think somebody took your back and show it. Where are we going on? Yeah, eventually I run dead to the, to the end. Well, I did mention that the Amonka attacks you the fella. I say you're you pay for it down the stretch. Um, early, you the you fella almost every break of the early Halloween. I'm watching that. You know, the first break. I'm watching them, but they work out. Nothing stick to them. Mm -hmm. That's why I go sometimes in the racing, yeah. but I yeah, go work out. Yeah. Cross country that I go out. Okay. Yeah. Let's get some questions. Huh? Some cool. questions. Uh, anything cool for you? But I'm um, awesome job. We look forward to the uh, big one such a cross country race. Hopefully, uh, 
Yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to get it. Well, here we are, just until um, Sean, right? $10,000 last cash prize. First place from the um, uh, Honorable Anthony Mala yeah, and the BTB. Yeah, yeah Sean, can go to run. Yeah, for that? Okay, all right, good, yeah. <laughs> well, good job, man, good job. Keep up the awesome job, right? Yeah. Boys, you have to send the money. Boy, G, G Floyd, have a new jersey. Mr. Baptist, nice race, yeah. Nice race, yeah. Young Dijan Hyde, Dijan, young coming up, young superstar. I mean, <laughs> um, Dijan, you rode well today. I mean, you have to you help me about the corner because you get from the front and pull back up. But, um, awesome ride. You you rode across one spell. I see you come across the way, come across with you. No, we come across. Um, at mile 12? 12, yeah, yeah. I believe I came across myself. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure. But I, I think there was four of us in the break, then Warren and someone else joined us. Uh, that I'm a Popey, I think I'm going to Popey come across. Yes, sir. Sure. Then I, I believe um, at four miles back and Angel Zip joined us at the end. Mm. So, it, so nine of us came down to the line. And I guess I didn't have it at the end. Um, I, I was cramping up at the end, so I didn't have it. I didn't have it to participate in the sprint. So I was, I came in. Yes, I believe today. I was I felt good because the past two races I wasn't really doing good. I feel good to be back in the top ten. Awesome man. Um, yes, sir. Well, big up anybody? Yes, sir. I would like to big up my my dad David Hyde who always support me. My mom who always give me give me the time out for race. I always cheer for me on the live. Also, Mr. Gary Bennett who is the sponsor of the team. Big thanks to him. He just recently got me that for which I really enjoy. Yeah. And to my coach, Mr. D. Wade, for always supporting me and motivating me and giving me the right instructions. So well, thank you. Awesome. Well, we'll definitely see you in the upcoming Paul yeah. Saturday cross country race. Yeah. D. Wade and Dwight Lopez, two masters, guys. Young man rode well. Uh, Dwight, you rode well. I, I say that. I mean, you all you guys were. Um, were up in the because you had a big split, right? Yeah. Um, and then I say, I see, I see Dwight, I see you, and um, and then somebody else, so somebody else, sorry, we'll just a minute. Dishan and um, Henry. Uh, Henry, um, and Henry, four Henry. of us were in the split. Okay, uh, uh -huh. yeah, and yeah. then and then um, three of us, so that four um came to the basically um was in a deciding group, no? Okay. Um, right again. So I think I think we wrote a good race for the team. We had um, opportunities. Um, that's all you could ask for is opportunities. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So sooner or later. Now we're gonna get on the, the podium. On the podium, yeah. um, looking at that top step, yeah. but it's hard. It's yeah. hard. It was a hard race. 120 miles. Yeah. The conditions are rough. Exactly. Well, that was it. Yeah, these, these, <laughs> these guys are in. These guys are in, in mad shape, man, yeah. because they they're attacking the whole race from start to finish. Exactly. Exactly. From exactly. start to finish, 120 miles. Oh. Fireworks. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, so, so um, you know, we 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 do the best we can. Um, and the guys are riding well. That's the main thing, everybody. Morale is high. The spirits yeah. are high. It's good to see. It's good to see Deshaun up there back in the top ten. You know, we got uh, got a lot, a lot of uh, plans for Deshaun. Okay. For uh, three weeks away, so we're back to the drawing board. All right. Back to putting in the work, yeah. and we'll uh, represent again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do, do I? How much? How much? Yeah. How much? Yeah. You, 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 you know something? So you, you, you the ride. Um, I, I, yeah, you, I can, you brave. You, you yeah. can't come, right? No. Brave, but for the right so with the young boy, with the fire. The missiles, uh, you know, I, I did kudos, man. I couldn't do that. <laughs> uh, you know, I mind over matter, you know. Yeah. So, just come out, put in the work, and you know what? See all the chips, see all the chips in the fall. Yeah, man. Yeah. But for that, I'm a more, but at least for me, I'm a more stick than lick. So, yeah. it is what it is, man. Yeah, man. So, man. still have time. So, um, the rest of the week or the rest of the month before the race. So. Yeah. Well, you, you hear how the, the um, Honorable Anthony Mala with the BTP race on which prize, right? You hear it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, country? Yes, $10,000 yeah. cash for first place and five one thousand dollars station price along the highway. Seriously? Yes, yes. He stopped by the shop yesterday and he what? said, that's what he, what he, he yeah. So I said, sure, one side. Yeah, he said, yes, go ahead and say it um, on the live. Yeah, that yeah. sounds yeah. good, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have we have some some good representation from cross country. Quite a few of us gonna ride, um, so perhaps we we attack some station prizes. So station yeah, exactly, prizes. man. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So there it is. yeah. All right, guys. Well, go rest and um, recover for the big one coming up, right? Yeah. Thanks, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah.
So, uh, go back to the um, where, where, where which can with my helmet? So, then we so right as I head over to um, to where the prize will be given in a short while, I guess, um, head over to the podium. You remember? After the camera, lead the ride. <laughs> Big Bob, ah, uh, so, so some right man, I see you hit them a lot. Um, um, you hit them a lot before, Mongkok, and you right up there here. Actually, it's the name Mongkok. Mongkok, right? Mongkok, Mongkok, okay, yeah. Uh, I uh, right down to the wire, you, 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 you were spent out for the first place. Oh, definitely, man. Uh, I like I tell them, by the last week, I'm a dead check and I recuperate. Uh, I stay, I stay up the villages we can put in some some humanity check and once I stay up on my bike I'm more consistent. Yeah. Check so I that mean I, I come out today for have a good race and I think I did exceptionally well. I mean I satisfied with the um, with the result. Mm. You know, sixth place, I think over our second master, but you know. I am leave in it and get ready for the next one. So Yes man, awesome, awesome. But thanks to yeah, right, yes, um, thanks to the sponsors, you know, all my fans out there, my LA crowd. You know, respect everybody who give me that support, my family, and everybody, you know, so yeah. respect that. All right, cool, man, yeah. All right, yes, Mask, pick up yourself, Mask, yeah. I know you're the watch. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I just wait for them when you but I want to interview young Alan Jr. I got a new word with you. I must say, young Alana Will Jr., you were fantastic. I mean, you were right there once, but you the pace, you the up front. How you feel after that grueling 120 miles? Yeah, I felt good up to mile 15, but that's that's when the, the pain started to kick in. Okay. But everything else, my legs, everything was good. Yeah. So I, I felt like I could stay with the pack, but it was yeah. just... How long are you ride back now? Um, less than a year. Less than a year. Uh, eight months. Eight months. So, yeah, more than eight months, but less than a year. So who do you coach? My dad. Who do your dad? Uh, Alan. <laughs> Alan, we have more <laughs> Alan, Alan, this is Alan Manager. I mean, I spoke about you on the live that you were doing so awesome. I, I watched you, you pay attention, yeah, and you were right there. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, awesome job. We are seeing. All right. Good man. Yeah. Good. Good. Good job. Yeah. Right. Young Alan. Which? Which? I don't mind if you see line, but get there when you are moving from here. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, I like, yeah, I think I can hold it there. Thanks. Yes, man, you were awesome, man. Yeah. So we head to the finishing and um, where the prize will be given. I hear the whistle blow. So the prize will be given out in a short while. So let me head in that direction. I want to thank each and everyone who joined the live today. The witness, the fifth running after Ernest Jamin Monkop Classic. The riders are done to move up to the finishing line, so they move up to capture prize giving ceremonies. So, prizes will be given away. Upcoming is the annual whole Saturday cross country in three weeks. Next weekend is the Juna cross country. And then one week later is a female cross country. So every weekend there will be a major race here in Belize. Uh, the cross countries are being held. Morning. So I'm going there. Um, picture of the prizes, the trophies. So we are with Kahida and his shared the put on the setup. Yes, sir.
Oh ja, mange flere. Og oh, oh, en sekund. Kan, kan man have den kurve, det? Ja, jeg har den. Så vi er ude. Prize. Den giver prize nu, right? Den giver prize nu, right? Prize giver vote. Prize giver vote nu, right? Ja, yeah, alright. So we're here. So that's a podium. So we await the um, prize that will be given out. Right. Ten miles Ready? going! Ten miles going! Kenroy! Graden! Riding for SPD! Yo, what happened, guy? We're just coming to 4-5. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Station right prize, come right here. Right here. Ken Rice Smokes Gladden. Ken Rice Smokes Gladden. Riding for SPD. This? Yeah. Ten miles, yeah. Rockville going. Eric Chop. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh Preston. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eric Chop. Eric Chop. Juggers. Juggers, team Juggers. Okay. Where Eric Levi? Eric! No, they are. Hold it once, eh? Yeah, but next thing, no, they're there. He's not here. Next. Sean. Sean Cut riding for G Flow. Sean Cod, my cheers. Why did Sean Cod win the prize at cheers? Ready for G Flow, you know, his prize. Flow quick stop. My father won. At mile 41. $50 donated by Charlie White. Won by Rider number 19, Carlton Robinson. Carlton Robinson. 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 Garbot Puma, that was won by Rider number 82, Hollister Baptist. Yeah. Over the top, Baptist! The prize is a value of digital card, along with a $50 sponsored by Miss Linda Dawson. Miss Linda Dawson, not any match on the money, Miss Linda
We are praying, bro. We are praying. We are Surprise giving someone is for the fifth annual Jamin Mong Hope Cycling Classic, some 120 grueling miles today. The final test, you guys, in the, for the upcoming whole Saturday cross country race. This race is being sponsored by G Flow slash Kyle Cargo. Thank you, Mr. Glenn Flowers. Here comes Jocelyn Jr. to pick up his station prize. What's your prize? Chavaria, fifty dollars worth of digital cards. We have two other prizes that needs to be issued. That is Rockville going and Rockville coming back. You now have that. You know. Rock. Eric Trapp. Eric Trapp, don't get that. And then Rockville on the return is Fernando Rosado. That is funded, sponsored by Mr. Glenn Young. Just give her one. Fernando. Give her anyone and then we are. Going. You win $50 by Glenn Young. All right, make quick. And that's it for the station prizes. We now turn to the finished prizes. In the master's category. The third place finish is for Angel Zib, rider number 18. Angel Zib. Riding for West Trap. Angel Zib. Third place, Masters. Go right now the third place podium right there. 
in second place, riding for Culture SPD, rider number 77, Kent Gabriel. Kent Gabriel, second place. And the Masters winner in today's fifth annual Mount Hope Cycling Classic in memory of Jarmin is Gregory Lovell, rider number two, riding for Team Lovell. Gregory Lovell! Thank you. All right. In Masters four five. Second place. We Plus. only had two finishers. The man Kajaga's finish? No. No, Andrew. Andrew Burgess finish? No. No? No, not that I Okay, know. so two finishers in the Masters for five. Preston Martinez. Preston riding for Martinez. Joggers. Team Joggers. Yeah. Preston Martinez. Riding for Team Joggers. Second place. Masters 4-5. What? You have to take her back the back though. What? No. No, I don't know. Why? You know the bag right there, Put your bag on it. Put the bag right on the bag. Stay right there. And, and, the, the, first and the first place goes to Sherman Thomas, rider number 80, riding for Carnos Road Ridge. Sherman Thomas. Okay. In the elite category, in fifth place, riding for Carnos Road Ridge, rider number 86, Gorian Gabriel. Gorian Gabriel. Fifth place. Yeah. When when the tree get under, then you just come back. In fourth place, riding for fall, Jocelyn Chavaria, rider number twenty-eight. He wins a hundred dollars and a bottle of wine. Why? <laughs> Rider number seven, Sean Codd, riding for G Flow. He wins two hundred dollars and a trophy. In second place, Gregory Lovell, rider number two, riding for Team Lovell. He wins. $400 and a trophy. Greg is back. <laughs> and the winner of the fifth annual Ernest Main Mount Hope Classic, sponsored by G Flow and Kayo Cargo, goes to Byron Pope. He finished the ride in 4 hours, 49 minutes, 57 seconds. He wins $600 and a trophy. He rides for Team Westra.
the next the next two the next two the next two chap chap fourth and fifth fourth and fifth and there are your winners or your finishers of the fifth annual Mount Hope Classic in memory of Ernish Jamin. Thank you to everybody who came out and support the event. The race was hard, I could see that. So, guys, it was a great ride. I want to take this time to thank the sponsors of today's event. Today's sponsors were G Flow, Mr. Glenn Flowers. We had MM Engineering, who assisted us engineering, with the event, who along with Brothers Habit. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you, cyclist fans. Thank you, cyclists. For being a part of this, I believe. A part of this, I believe this is a ride today of truth. Um, these guys, I went, I was out there as the second video camera, and I could see where I saw teeth. I saw all sorts of things out there, and I know they were suffering. So they have time to recover, and I hope they know that foreigners are coming. So they need to be ready and prepared for what's coming. Um, thank you to my family who is always there to support me. Everybody who came out to support the event today. Give me some to give you a break to take a picture. Um, we also had today, um, in terms of sponsorship of station prizes, Mr. Glenn Young. Thank you so much, Mr. Glenn. And then we had a sponsor out here, Miss Linda Dawson. These these are real fans of cycling and they believe they're they should contribute to events like these. And we are grateful to have them a part of um, a part of our family. We want to also thank Mr. Charlie White. He also came on board in assisting us with giving station prizes. Thank you so much. Um, and to all in cycling enthusiasts out there, thank you and we look forward to the upcoming cross countries. We have junior cross countries scheduled for this upcoming weekend, the 26th of March, followed by the women's cross country on April 2nd and the big one, April 8th, the open elite category cross country, the 93rd running of that cross country. So, send in your contributions. I know a lot of people have been trying to get in touch with me, but you can send your email to belizecycling at gmail.com and we will respond to you. Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you, Mr. Donis. Thank you, Roger, a part of the live team, in order for us to bring you coverage of today's event. We look forward to working with everybody who contributes in any way to cycling for the growth and development of it. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I'm sure, um, I was visited by and, a, and he said on behalf of himself and the BTB, um, then he gave out ten thousand dollars cash prize for the first place winner and five one thousand dollars prize. So that that's something huge for the yes. upcoming. Yes, that'll be that'll be huge. Yes. So yeah. Definitely. Um, we will appreciate that. Yeah. And I know the athletes will appreciate that themselves um, with that big prize. That would give them motivation yes, for them to be able to dominate in this year's cross country. That's what we're looking for. Right, yes. um, we also, coming following years and to come, uh, we have been approached by a lot of persons who are interested to bring back cycling in this country to what it was before. So we look forward to working with them um, to see cycling grow. Okay. Thank, oh, thank you, you, everybody. Okay, thank you, Alicia. Alicia Thompson, the president of the CFD. We want to thank each and everyone who made this possible. Senior young ladies and they come out in his balance on heart help. Alicia Son Jalen, the whole Douglas Slum. So we want to thank each and every one of you. I want to thank my family. I want to thank definitely my driver there, Mr. Banks. 
Um, I'm working on a quick interview before I close off with Jocelyn Jr. because I'm really getting a chance for, for Sia. Joss, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to look for your um, great ride today. You're still up front of the whole. You, 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 you try to cover all the attacks. I, I try to be it. as aggressive as possible. I try to be um, contacting all the moves because well, when I hear us, my team man is getting a crash. My team man is uh, getting punctured. You know, I have to big up my whole entire team, it's supporting staff. So, um, I have to say a big kudos to, to um, one of my great super domestic. V12! V12, V12, V12. I mean, super domestic. I have to go down Margan. So, uh, big up Margan. You know, Margan play a huge role. And I say, the team uh, literally they say that you are the man chef, so you have to make sure you're there. Once you're there, they will feel good. And I mean, they the contingency for placing our good. Um, when I'm at the end of the break, I said, I try, I, I try my best, and when the whole crowd reached back, I said, well, I eat milk. <laughs> and I still give myself, I still try to put on the show, and I get forward if that, that this year, well, where, where I get, um, I'm satisfied with it. Well, a great job, Jack. You got to see the prize. Exactly. $10,000 cash prize for the winner of the cross country and five one thousand dollars on the road, so... At least we know I have that and we have some other prizes. So, right. yeah, so. That one yeah. never had. <laughs> Got the foreign invaders now come in. Uh, 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 well, good luck to the team. It's the upcoming cross country. Team, team, well, road, very phenomenal. It was a proceeding at the live. How the team, um, for a lot of the breaks then going up, was to always see a fall member. I appreciate and I thank the team for being the race. That's how we, you know, we end up in the future top five. All right, that's some job, job. See you coming up in three weeks' time, right? Yes, sir. All right, good. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, in closing, like I said, I want to thank all the fans who tune in. I want to thank uh, everybody that uh, gave prizes. <coughs> Definitely want to thank my driver there, Mr. Banks, my immediate family, all my kids, and of course my beautiful wife at home who allows me to come out each and every time. We want to thank God to keep us safe on the tarmac. With that said, have a blessed rest of the Sunday. Relax, enjoy, and see you next week Sunday for the Junior Cross Country. With that said, I'm out.